And uh, meanwhile, if you're a women's basketball aficionado, oh, this very skilled young lady plays out there at USC. Juju. Juju. Juju Watkins. And she had another big game, and that, that uh, squad has moved on. I think what would be best for basketball on, on the women's stage, E.T.? And I give you a Final Four that would catch interest. It would be very uh, watchable. It would have be just ripe with storylines. But the best thing for women's college basketball that could happen would be Iowa and Caitlin Clark, USC and Juju, LSU, Kim Mulkey, Angel Reese, and an undefeated South Carolina team. Yeah, That, that would make for an intriguing storyline-filled uh, Final Four for the women's game, which is um, – certainly growing in stature with all of the, in some cases, forced coverage, I would say. I don't think your average sports fan, when they sit down for an hour's worth of sports center, prefers to see an Indiana-Illinois women's highlight before, say, Giannis and the Bucks playing Luka and the Mavs. I don't understand that part of the strategy. Whatever is what it is as its own entity last night. Uh, back to the original point. Best to let them have the stage to themselves. You know, and not try and compete with, with again, do you understand the number of brackets that people put into the men's game? If they're apt to pay attention to college basketball in general for a little slice of, of their uh, sports fandom, it's most likely going to be geared toward that bracket, maybe. A bracket that the fat cat in there just, just looks at us grinning. Oh, I just easy. saw that. You know where they do that that, 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 that? that put the tongue out on one side, those big cats, and <laughs> All the way across the map yeah, to the other. Yeah. Suck it in that side. That's you right now. Feathers. Dead on a swivel. Everyone's alive. Nobody's dead yet. All three of us could be in first if our brackets play out the right way. We'll give you the dirty details. You can have some sweats this weekend there, Chief. You got to get Creighton through to the championship that's, yeah, game. That's the one. We all got like one particular like just, team, mo- right? Yeah, most, most, that's why. That's why each of us can win if our little brack ups, like the, the, the games that matter this weekend, um, you have Bama beating North Carolina. Uh, so Dan and I both have Carolina winning that game. Dan has Illinois beating Iowa State. We both have Iowa State winning that game. You have Creighton beating Tennessee. We both have Tennessee winning that game. Oh, man. So there's still a lot. And then once you get to the championship, I'm the only one with Houston. Y'all both have UConn, which if I could change my bet right now, I would change it to UConn, but we'll see. But you got Creighton, you know, you got Creighton in the championship. You need Creighton, man. Oh, man. Blue Jay fly. What's that? You're so chalky, your whole bracket. And then there's Creighton. Who has a three seat, by the way? It's not like they're a 10, but where where does Creighton love come from? Oh, I saw some on Instagram, man. And uh, <laughs> of course, of course yeah. you did. Like yeah. they all got like some custom shoes. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go with Creighton. He's going with Creighton. Yeah. <laughs> he goes with, hey, listen, it's not a terrible pick. No. <laughs> I mean, they're into the Sweet 16. They could certainly uh, Tennessee's an up and down basketball team, man. When they're right and good, they can beat anybody. But if they're not, you, they they can get got. Look at the SEC tournament where Mississippi State put a number on them. So. Um, but uh, for Dan and I's sake, it probably is going to come down to me and Hick battling, to be honest with you. You got a nice fat lead. You got 49 points. Dan's got 43. I got 37. Well, we each, we all have seven of the eight remaining in our bracket. We all have our four intact, and we all have our championship matches intact. So it's how do these Sweet 16, Elite 8, and Final Four games, who wins those games? Does Purdue, does Tennessee, does Creighton, does North Carolina, does Arizona? All those things are different in our uh, – uh, forecast. Let's just put it that way. Yes. All right. Let me go ahead and be the bearer of bad news. Let me set the scene. Oh, gosh. I, I could set it for just a classic Monday morning Prosser rant about a Jaguars game. In this case, it's not against the Jaguars per se. Let me set the scene for you. The Jaguars open the season at home against the Houston Texans. Protecting a 23-20 to lead with four minutes to go in the fourth, the Texans have it at the Jags' 34-yard line. It's second and 14. Okay? You follow me? The Jags are up three. Texans have it at the 34. It's second and 14. They throw a little screen pass out to Joe Mixon. He's in the left flat. 
it's shut down. He reverses field. He cuts back. Joe Mixon is now circling back around through the backfield. He's back to about the 40-yard line. Oh, Foyer Luke has got an angle. And as Joe Mixon is trying to turn the corner, Foyer is tracking him down from behind. Oh, Foyer grabs him at the 39, grabs him by the waist, finishes the tackle. It's third and 19 from the 40. Let's go, Jags. Flag. Personal foul, illegal hip drop tackle, number 33, defense, 10 yards, automatic first down. And we are going to lose our flipping minds. The worst rule change adjustment that these 57-year-old eyes have ever seen. This is not going to end well. Eh, look, you, you, you certainly want to do the very most that you can to protect the health of your athlete. I, no one would deny that. It is especially important, though, right above the neck, right? It's the head. If we are going to try to legislate football to the point that we expect no injuries, then J.J. Watt is right in his reaction on Twitter yesterday. And other players follow suit. J.J. Watt, in response to the uh, tweet sent out by one of the NFL reporters that read, the NFL has banned the hip drop tackle, source said. The competition committee was unanimous on it. J.J. Watt immediately responded, just fast forward to the belts with the flags on them. T.J. Ward, attention all defensive players. When out there on the field, try your best not to harm the offensive players. Even if you have to put their well-being above your own. These rules are a joke. Don't wonder why every offensive record is being broke. Javon Holland, breaking news, tackling band. Uh, That new rule, BS. (laughs) Sometimes you just get right to the point. The NFLPA issued a statement last week opposing the proposed ban. The players oppose any attempt by the NFL to implement a rule prohibiting a, quote, swivel hip drop tackle. While the NFLPA remains committed to improvements to our game with health and safety in mind, we cannot support a rule change that causes confusion for us as players, for coaches, for officials, and especially for fans. We call on the NFL again to reconsider implementing this rule. So what did the suits do yesterday? <laughs> Passed. It's in. <sighs> So we'll now watch a league where if my man has dreads and he's busting free down the sideline, it's fine just to go grab him by the ponytails and rip him off his head. Don't grab him by the waist, though, and slide him to the ground. It, NFL Executive Vice President of Football Operations Troy Vincent said, it's unlikely the ban will result in many on-field penalties. The enforcement will most likely come via warnings and fines following games. Well, that's different. Uh, perhaps there's something we uh, call in the business burying the lead. What was some of the, uh, they had a couple others, E, that just didn't make this. Remember they were, they were they, they kind of intimated with one of those rules changes that if you were the offensive player and you lowered your head and shoulder, you were going to get penalized. Like they've tried to slide some of the, some of these things in. If you're telling me this is a play that can just be you can be warned for, well, how many warnings in? What does that mean? That's from the NFL side. Troy Vincent said it's unlikely the ban will result in many on-field penalties. The enforcement will most often come via warnings and fines following a game. What is this like socks over the calf stuff? Um, I guess a part of this morning will be searching for perhaps a better uh, explanation than that. A rules change that doesn't lead to a penalty flag is like a tree falling in the forest. No. 
Uh, CBS uh, Sports has done something interesting. I around you know remember last year ET it was going to be the awesome off season of lists. Yeah, every list we got on was going to be great. It was uh, arrow pointing up on our quarterback, on our team, on our uh-huh. co- coach combo. Uh, Balky had to, you know jumped eight ten spots in the GM rankings. It was going to be a beautiful off season where just about any prism you looked at, at our Jaguars, it was uh, more than glass half full. Uh, CBS Sports. As a, a column out this morning. Of course, it is Hickens' guy from the sweatshop. I, I'll call him by his proper Christian name, Chris Trapasso. Oh, Christopher. Yeah. But H- Hicken, I, I apparently, like some other people whose names come up on the show, doesn't know his real name, I mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't think. But he's ranking the, the, the quarterback classes from 2020 to 2024 which would obviously uh, include our guy, right? It is safe to say that Chris, what does Hicken call him? Damaso. Yeah. I don't want to use such salty language each Uh and every uh time that I have to reference Chris, what they call him. Damaso. Yeah. But when I tell you this list, Okay, of quarterbacks who have been drafted in the first round from twenty to uh, from twenty twenty to twenty four, the last name uh, or, or you know it, it it's twenty one deep, twenty one deep of guys who have been drafted since twenty twenty. I get that, man. There's some reticence on Trevor Lawrence after the way he played through injury in the second half of last year, but this list. By Chris. Dumb asshole. Um, would, would seem even strong for the naysayer. Oh, dear. Uh, I mean, some of the dudes that he's got. Look, if you want to put Trevor rightfully behind, you know, uh, Burrow and Tua and maybe even and, and C.J. Stroud, okay, after one year, okay. But, buddy, this list by Chris. Dumb asshole. Oof. This is all timer. Meanwhile, Doug Peterson, while we were on the air yesterday, we told you, and we played some of his comments for you later in the show, but we got it all packaged up nice and tidy for you. We'll go inside what the coach had to say at the NFL owners' meetings yesterday. A football fix is a little more robust this morning because at said owners' meetings, all the coaches are meeting and talking to the media. It was a Interesting sports metaphor that Mike Tomlin used to describe his quarterback situation. We'll get to that a little bit later on this morning. Um, I have a great uh, personal Shazam spotlight when we come back on the other side. Uh, Just a fantastic, it it has put me in a terrific mood to start the show today. And I can just bust right out with that when we come back. Also, uh, we'll hear from Doug Peterson and this a list uh, compiled there in the sweatshop. Apparently, fans slowly whirring. That's W H I R R I N G whirring. Who put out the list again? What's his name? Chris. Dumbass. Back with more on a Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. In your car or out of your car. Get me out of this car. Take 1010XL with you wherever you go. We're online and ready. By downloading our free 1010XL app. Available for all smartphones and tablets. At Randy Marion Cadillac in Jacksonville, we have over 40 2024 all-electric Cadillac lyrics in stock. Take advantage today of two awesome incentives. First, a $7,500 rebate applied to the purchase price directly at sign. That's a $7,500 rebate with no need to wait for tax time. And second, a $1,500 credit for a high-speed in-home charger. Over $9,000 in savings. Now's the time to drive away in luxury in a brand new all-electric Cadillac lyric. Randy Marion Cadillac, Southside Boulevard, Jacksonville, plus tax tech title 899 admin fee and resist all. Tell them Jennifer sent ya. Dave Binion here with my son, Ammon, who is the air duct cleaning manager at Zero Res. So, Ammon, you may notice a little rattle in my voice and some puffiness in my eyes. That's because allergy season is coming on. Can Zero Res help? 
Yes, your health has a lot to do with the air you breathe. A clean and healthy home begins with clean air. At Zero Res, we can help clean the air in your home by cleaning your air ducts, cleaning the coils in your HVAC units, and fogging the system with a powerful antimicrobial that helps kill and control the growth of microorganisms in your air. We also have options for maintaining your clean air with our excellent inline air purifier and UV lights that will help keep your system clean and healthy. At Zero Res, we are more than just air duct cleaners. We're a clean air specialist. Have Zero Res air duct specialists out and right now we'll give you $50 off your air duct cleaning and while we're at it we'll give you $50 off your dryer vent cleaning. Zero res. Spelled forward or backwards it's the right way to clean. Picking here. You know at Zero Res they love rugs. Fine oil rugs need to be cleaned with the right equipment and careful training. My guy at Zero Res Gerard is a certified master rug cleaner and has been cleaning rugs for more than five years. Don't trust your fine rugs to anyone. Call Zero Res right now. They are offering a BOGO on rug cleaning. Have Zero Res clean one rug, get a second rug for free. What a great time to get your rugs cleaned. Zero Res, man, spell it forward, spell it backwards. Zero Res, it's the right way to clean. Zero Res. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMINUTE. Every weekend is a Stone Cold Sports Weekend. Hey, Dan Hicken here. Watch for the weekend with Dan on YouTube and Facebook, and I'll help you put together your sports weekend. Weekend with Dan brought to you by Stone Core. We do the outdoors better. You don't have to be a football star to get a signing bonus. The team at Republic Services needs your skills, and they're paying up to $5,000 for you to join the roster. You'll be joining a winner. As an essential business, the Republic Services trucks have not stopped rolling with hourly and weekly pay and better benefits and vacation packages than the rest of the league. Driver trainees, $1,000 sign-on bonus. CDL drivers, $3,000. Diesel mechanics, $5,000 bonus. Join the winning team at Republic Services today. Visit republicservices.com. Equal opportunity and this is Dr. George Bari inviting you to look online at bariorthopedics.com for the latest in medical advancements when it comes to getting you back to full joint health. After studying under Dr. James Andrews, I know proper diagnosis is the first key to treatment and educating the patient is the fastest path to recovery. Whether it's chronic back pain, nagging arthritis, or necessary joint replacement, we're here to serve you in the best possible way. We are Bari Orthopedics and online at bariorthopedics.com. Find out more at bariorthopedics.com. That's B-A-H-R-I orthopedics.com. Mia here, and let me tell you about one of our area's best resorts, the Sawgrass Marriott Golf Resort and Spa. The Sawgrass Marriott is not only a great destination for a vacation, but it is also a great destination for dining on the Florida's first coast. 1912 Ocean Bar and Rooftop is now open on Ponte Vedra Boulevard, featuring Ponte Vedra's only oceanfront rooftop bar and lounge. Serving finely crafted cocktails and delectable eats, it's open daily from 4 to 10 with complimentary valet parking. Did you know Prime Roofing manufactures, fabricates, and installs their metal roofs? If you're thinking about a metal roof, think Prime Roofing. Schedule an estimate today at primeroofingfl.com. That's primeroofingfl.com. Let me get this thing unwrapped here. Duval! Pros, pros, what in the world are you doing working on your Duval? That's right, Dan. I really identify with Duval. You live in St. John's County, knucklehead. I mean the Duval sub, the Daily's Dash Duval. Turkey, ham, melted cheddar, and habanero jack cheeses. Lettuce, tomato, crispy and fresh, you know, like me. I'm sure there's a Daily's Dash sub that sums you up. The boss. Because, of course. Oven roasted beef, monster cheese, roasted mushrooms, caramelized onions. It's the boss of all subs. Only available for me. That's just not true. What do you mean? I walked in the other day, screamed, you know it, and said, a boss for a boss. Well, no matter who you are, there is a Daily's Dash sandwich or sub for you. Go find yours. They may even make you a boss. I'm sure they will, because it is Daily's Dash. Where more is better. And you got that right. Your AC's broke. It ain't no joke. Call Florida Home AC. Florida Home AC. Florida Home AC. Florida Home AC. 
FloridaHomeAC.com. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396 5555. Jacksonville. All right, we're back with a Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. Going to groove into a Tuesday morning. Going to get warmer out there today, huh? Nice. Uh, so, Shohei, quote, air quotes, met the media yesterday out in uh, L.A. Basically, uh, I will give credit for this, for the endurance. Not often you get a 12-minute written uh, uh, verbal statement with no questions. 12 minutes? I, what show I pull an all-nighter to write that bad boy? Uh, who are we kidding? Uh, the, part, part of his, his his shield here, quite frankly, is a language barrier. He can stand there and talk for 12 minutes. Don't none of us know what the hell he's saying. Our trust right now interpreters isn't, in interpreters isn't real high. <laughs> he could be singing, you know, Mickey Mouse went to the moon for all I know. But said he was just shocked, um, you know, saddened to find out that his interpreter stole funds and told lies. And meanwhile, the interpreter, I'm guessing, has been given this 15, 20 million, go told to live in the mountains of Osaki somewhere and call it a day. That's what I'm guessing. Beer mountains. Um, but uh, to his point, uh, Otani says he had no knowledge of anything. I, I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. Can't prove anything. I don't have uh, any uh, ties to sports gambling. I've never gambled on sports and on down the line. So it's just a narrative that that, that kind of clashes with what the appearance of, of the bond and friendship between these dudes seemed to be, where they were called like brothers. Like one of the angels said, "It's it's you wouldn't even believe it. I just, I've never seen anything like it. So, you know. Have no knowledge. Dudes run up four million. And buddy, I don't care how good of friends we are. I mean, we ain't married. Dude ain't got my checkbook. What do you mean you don't know it's missing? It's a lot of money, man. I don't care how much you're making. The interpreter's probably like, man, you're making seventy million a year, and you're just gonna take a million a year. You got that much money? Um, I'll take man you for two mil, bookie. That's what got him to the bookie. Old school, man. Get you through the book. I mean, who uses a bookie anymore? Come on, gang. Let's go. You live in Florida. It's all just legit and legal. Just throw it right there in that hard rock, baby. Spend all your hard money. Legal in Florida. Legal in Florida. Yeah, right? Oh, God, those commercials are terrible. (laughs) They should do an accurate sports bet. Maybe we should go to the 1010XL parody studio. We should do a parody of what what, what hard rock... Commercial really should look and sound like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Right? This, it'd be, don't, 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 don't sweat coming out in your head. Don't, 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 don't. Shot goes up through the air. The look on your face of agony. Your, your room's a strewn mess. You used to have a wife and kids. But you messed that all up, didn't you? <laughs> Shot clanks off. Man stands up. Pizza stained shirt. Hurls his half-filled beer bottle into his plasma television. Ends up on YouTube. That idiot who spider webs his brand new TV. Stone Cold Stunner that thing. Uh, <laughs> that's what it should look like. I mean, these jokers are dancing around with flags like it's Gasparilla. What is that? What audience do you have there? This P's all excited, you know. He, you're damn straight. She got that hard rock app sometime back around football season. I was like, what are you doing? Put in tournament games. She's all happy. She said, she, I had a five team parlay. I go, wow, really? Oh, nice. I said, how much did you win? She said, nine bucks. Oh, no. no. Nine. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I said, nine bucks. I said, you can't hit a five team parlay and win nine bucks until I see she's played all the heavy favorites on the money line. <laughs> <laughs> right? She's got UConn, Purdue, and, and all the. So the odds are so bad that she basically got one to, you know, two to one money to have to hit five. She up $4, but man. But no, she hit a bunch of those, though. She's up like 11, you know, 12 bucks, man. High times, high finance there on the uh, on the hard rock out. Five team parlay, uh, just throwing it off. 
I need Creighton to win this, she says to me. What? Shout out, Miss P. Uh, She's into the bracket. She's got the whole thing going there. Don't kid yourself. Um, I distracted myself from Otani and just firing on the baseball. We can fire on baseball soon enough, I guess. Um, I have my Shazam spotlight that has just filled my cockles with joy this morning. Oh. The Shazam spotlight brought to you by Truck Guy, ShazamAuto.com. Man, trust my my dudes at Murray Ford. And they are just so down to earth. These, 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 you know, these spots you hear tail run. They're they're right, right. You know, from from, you know, golf clubs to bathtubs, they'll trade anything. You deal with my boys down there, either in Stark or drive up uh, the short drive to Kingsland. Either way, they've got another Murray Superstore in Stark that's got other brands: Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram. They have got you hooked and covered from the start from the from from the start of your car buying process. Until the last day you own your vehicle. I say car. In most cases, truck. Truck guy. Perfect here on a Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. That's where I ended up. Anywho, I digress. Um, so how how rare is this? Sometimes the Shazam Spotlight like hits different when it comes to the, the historical nature of it. In other words, when something happens that I mean like never, ever, ever happens. Um in the last 20 years, E.T., mm-hmm. basketball teams in the NBA have had a 30-point lead at some point of the game 2,614 times. Okay. Okay? <laughs> in the last 25 years, 2,625 times. So basically... Ten times a year, it's very rare that it even happens, a team gets a 30-point lead in an NBA game. Last night, the Celtics in Atlanta had a 30-point lead over the Hawks. This Shazam should shine even a little bit brighter because the Celtics are the best team in basketball and by record one of the best teams that, that the NBA has seen in the last 20 years. They were 57 and 14 going into the game. The Hawks stink. They're going to be the 10 seed. They're going to lose the play in game one at Chicago. If you're not an NBA fan, Trey Young's not even playing, hasn't been playing. They have another injury. Maybe, you know, one of their second best up and coming players also out. The Hawks are down 30 at home. I've seen this book. They're about to lose by 50 until they didn't. Hawks come from 30 down. They beat the, the the Celtics 120 to 118, and yeah, that makes me feel great. But now, E, in those 2,614 games, here's the record for teams that fell behind by 30. They've won six times. They've lost 2,608. Shazam. Yeah, before yesterday, NBA teams in that situation down 30 had won five games. And I lost 2,608. And to me, it's just magnified by the fact of where these teams are. Look, you got two bad teams at the bottom and they blow a 30 or two good teams even at the top. But when one of the, the, when the best team in the NBA blows 30 to a shoddy outfit like the Atlanta Hawks, it's even bigger. It's the first 30-point uh, blown lead by the Celtics in the last 25 years. It's the first 30-point comeback win by the Hawks over the last 25 years, and it's today's Shazam Spotlight. I'm not going to spend much time on this. I'm not opening the floor today for some referendum on Trevor Lawrence. I know where everyone stands. Dubious is is fair after a step back last year. Hopefully, uh, year four is going to bring more consistent play and, and I think put on trajectory where we're in a window where we can win a Super Bowl in the next 10 years. I mean, that's so my vision of Trevor Lawrence and and this football team and and our championship hopes is framed a lot more outside the the game at Tampa last December. And I'm thinking a much longer view. I have sat and watched this team stumble through mediocrity at the quarterback position since they erroneously got rid of Mark Brunel too early. So be that as it may and we can agree to disagree on that and be on the same page as wanting everyone to succeed and wanting the football team to win. Well, I mean, come on, man. 
ranking the top quarterbacks from the 2020 to 2024 draft classes. So that'd be the year before Trevor was selected to the guys that are coming out this year. Number one at the top. Here's what he writes first, Chris. Dumbasso. Based on what we've seen in the first four years in the NFL from the famed 2020 quarterback group, the first three seasons from the 2021, the down 2022 collection, the rookies from Stroud and company, and projecting the 2024 class forward, below is how I would rank the passers from 2020 all the way to 2024. So, if Chris Dumbasso. was running your football team, this is the priority, I guess, he would select quarterbacks to run the team. And at the top, it's hard to take issue. Joe Burrow. Okay. Burrow's been fantastic. He's gone to a Super Bowl already. If he would avoid injury, who knows what we would, perhaps Patrick Mahomes would have a more timely rival if Burrow was healthy. He hasn't been. But he's number one. Okay. Two. Dude had a nice year and all. Got to probably see a little more to put him over maybe a more established quarterback, like in my mind, a Justin Herbert or a Tua. Listen, I understand Trevor's stats, his turnovers of the football. I get it. He's not going to go as high as I think he'll end up in anybody's ranking right now. So I won't even put him now this year. Last offseason, I would. Not going to put Trevor in the Herbert and Tua category right now. He's got to step back into that. That's fine. Jordan Love, number two. We've yeah, seen enough. Wilder. Yeah, you wilder. You want Jordan Love to start your team right now, or you want Justin Herbert? Yeah. Number three, C.J. Stroud. Kid was awesome last year. I, I you know, I got to see. I, I believe in him. I, you know, that's that's an unfortunate development for us here in the NFC South. And when last year we were so optimistic and telling you, oh man, we we got the stranglehold here. Nobody saw this. He can certainly fluctuate. We saw Trevor probably number three on this list last year. Then it starts to get absolutely, Chris. Dumbass. I mean, to the Chris. Dumbass. I, I can't describe the level of stupidity that this cat navigates life through. The fact that my guy Chris Tomaso. can get up, tie his damn shoes, get to the store and back, and not get hit by a car or insult somebody to get killed. Number four, from twenty to twenty-four, with Justin Herbert on the board and 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 Trevor and Tua and some other names I'm going to get to. Drake May, North Carolina boys. <laughs> I dare to be different, I guess, there, Chris. The mass of. Yeah, Drake May, number four. Oh, by the way, did you hear Caleb Williams' name? First, that means he's got Drake May over Caleb Williams for uh-huh, this year. But uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, Number five, Justin Herbert. Oh, nice, nice. You recognize he's still in the league. You ready? Number six, Caleb Williams. Another rookie. Never played it down. Okay. <laughs> number seven, Jaden Daniels. Okay, still seven. All right, now my boy is being really disrespected. Look up in three years and tell me that Drake May, Caleb Williams, and Jaden Daniels are all, uh, you'd rather have them than Trevor. Tell me in two, three years. Okay, anyway. Numbers. Uh, eight, Tua shows up. I mean, all he was an NFL Pro Bowler. Sure, put the three rookies over him. Number nine. My guy, Chris. I'm an asshole. Thinks that Will Levis is better than Trevor Lawrence. Number nine, Will Levis. Number 10, Jalen Hurts. Hurts apparently not as good as Jaden Daniels. <clears throat> apparently, apparently the Eagles should be working the phones and see if they can't pry Will Levis from the Titans for Jalen Hurts. Uh, number 11, Trevor Lawrence. I, I'm not going to write what Chris. I'm not going to write what Chris. Dumbasso. Has to say about Trevor Lawrence, but for the love of Pete, man. I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, he buddy tripping. 21 Trey Lance. 
20 Bryce Young, 19 Zach Wilson, 18 Kenny Pickett, 17 Mac Jones, 16 Michael Penix, 15 Bo Nix, 14 Justin Fields, 13 J.J. McCarthy, 12 Anthony Richardson, 11 Trevor Lawrence. A, a top 10 that finds Jalen Hurts at 10 and Will Levis at 9. A top 10 that has Tua at 8 and Drake May at th- 4. Ladies and gentlemen, our boy, Chris. Dumbass. All right, Doug Peterson got to speak yesterday, was uh, asked a variety of questions, uh, some some things that you can glean from what he said. Looks like they are going to run a 4-3, you know, for sure. He talked about the, the defensive personnel. They want Darnell Savage, it appears, to be their nickelback. Antonio Johnson expects to step into Rayshon Jenkins' spot in the secondary. They like the versatility. They like the, the ball on-ball skill of Darnell Savage, so... The, quote, safety who came over from the Packers will be the nickelback here in Jacksonville. They love what Eric Armstead brings just as a a player on that defensive line. In in addition to what his his leadership is, remember how I talked about something to note where they get in their players? Winning organizations, right, from the Niners, from the Packers, from the Ravens, from the Bills. The majority of the free agent class, if not the exclusively the free agent class, is coming from, from, from in many cases, captains on winning teams. He said he wanted to do that. Doug Peterson, he said it's important. Never easy to, to move, you know, to move on from certain guys, but they have expectations. So just a couple of uh, comments from, from Peterson, since we just talked about a list. That has uh, Drake May uh, seven spots higher than Trevor Lawrence. Cut 24 ET. Doug Peterson talks about the state of his quarterback as he gets set into a very important year four. He's disappointed. He's frustrated, you know, like like we are. Um, he, he, knows, he knows that, you know, he has to play better. He knows that. Uh, we help him as a staff. We help him play better. You know, and and then, but his his availability, right? His his health to the team. You know, that's the that's the most important thing. And and it just at the quarterback position, when you miss a Wednesday practice, a Thursday practice, and maybe kind of go through some individual work early, and then you don't take many team reps. It, that's going to affect you on game day. It, it just it, it it does. You know, and and so we got to make sure that that you know he's taking every snap every day. You know, uh, out there at practice, and um, um, if he does that, then then more more good things are going to happen. I told you yesterday, my my insight, you know, you know, shy of just some uber prospect falling to seventeen, is is that the Jags are going to take a cornerback and a receiver in those first two rounds. P- Peterson talked yesterday about the comfort of the receiver room using Evan Ingram more as a deep threat, um, and that's all fine and dandy. But that is also interesting from this standpoint. If Brock Bowers falls to seventeen, the Georgia tight end. And you're already talking about what you can, how you can implement Evan Ingram, you know, as more split out, deep threat in a lot of cases. I I feel strongly that if Brock Bowers is there at 17, the Jaguars will take him, despite it not being the need, him being that overwhelming a potential dominant player. And and hallelujah to that kind of thinking. If this cat is is Kelsey, if this cat is one of those, you know, 12, 14 year stalwarts at the position in, in in today's day and age of, of football? Yeah. Can you imagine adding him? to? You still got Ingram. And now with Gabe Davis, Christian Kirk, Zay Jones, and you add Bowers to Ingram? Yeah, if he falls there, I think that could happen. But outside of that, I think corner, you know, corner and receiver are going to have to be addressed. All right, just one more all-encompassing comment. We haven't heard from Doug Peterson since this year's free agency uh, class was put together. I mean, you, you would hope so, right? I mean, obviously, you, you, we haven't played a game yet, so um, we don't really know. But I, I feel like we've added some pieces through free agency that are going to help us. They give us depth. Um, you know, we got some experienced guys in, like, Eric Armstead, Mitch Morse, who can really add some, uh, one, the competition you're looking for, but, two, I think a veteran presence at those positions. You know, um a guy like Mac Jones to come in and, and solidify and really give us three quarterbacks that that 
you're going to need, you know, um, as, as we've seen, uh, as history would say. You know, our number one thing, though, is to keep Trevor healthy. Our best chance of winning games is keeping Trevor healthy. You know, so I, I feel like we've – and then re-signing guys, you know, like the the, the, the DTs, right, um, Daniel Thomas and, and Caleb Johnson and, and restructuring Brandon and, you know, getting Ezra Cleveland back and just being able to kind of work through your roster that way and, and um, you know, getting the guys that, that are going to help us win football games moving forward. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. This is Brian Musburger's Visa in Action Update on 1010XL. Brought to you by Duck Duck Rooter Plumbing and Septic Services. A proud partner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, here are the latest lines from my guys in the desert. Number 6 Florida and number 12 Florida State men's baseball teams battle it out tonight on the diamond. The Gators lost to the Seminoles 12-8 back on March 12th. This is the second of three meetings this year. Both teams are minus 115 to win. We're on to the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament. All four number ones and number twos are still alive and all are favored to win their respective games. UConn will take on San Diego State as 10.5 point favorites. Purdue will face off against Gonzaga with a minus 5.5 point spread. North Carolina is a 3.5 point favorite over Alabama. And Houston will meet up with Duke as 4.5 point favorites. I'm Ron Culver with your VSIN action update on 1010XL. Hey there, Jacksonville. With scorching temperatures just around the corner, it's crucial to ensure your AC is blowing nice and cool. Duck Duck Air Conditioning is here to keep you comfortable all summer long. But don't wait until the heat gets here. Our service techs are ready right now to handle any cooling issues you may have at your home or business. Call Duck Duck AC today at 904-862-6769 to schedule. That's 904-862-6769. Duck Duck Air Conditioning, online at duckduckac.com. What makes a Honda certified pre-owned vehicle so special? 182-point inspection, 24-7 roadside assistance, first-year free oil changes, and a 7-year, 100,000-mile warranty for carefree driving backed by American Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today. When you step into a courtroom, you're stepping into a fight. Someone wins, someone loses. I'm attorney Brett Hastings, and at Hastings Injury Law, we've got the experience you want in your corner if you or a loved one suffer a personal injury or a wrongful death. We're here to fight for you. So if you get hit, hit back with Hastings Injury Law, Offices Jacksonville. Find us on the web at 904hitback.com or call our 24-hour helpline, 904-HITBACK. Race into gate for big offers. By big, we mean great deals on Red Bull and a chance to win tickets to the big race coming to Miami May 3rd through 5th. Buy two 8.4-ounce cans of Red Bull, get one free. And if you're a MyGate Rewards member, you are automatically entered for a chance to win race tickets. Not a member? Download the Gate app and sign up today. See store for details. Go from good to gate. This is Frank Franchi. Join Dan Hickett and me for All Things Gators, our podcast presented by Southeast Orthopedic Specialists with new episodes every Monday. Subscribe and listen by searching for 1010XL Florida Gators Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or TuneIn. Get ready to rock your evening with the band Be Easy at Players Grill Mandarin, a high-energy, multi-genre cover band from classic hits to chart toppers. See you at Players Grill Mandarin Friday, April 5th at 8 p.m. Players Grill, where the neighborhood meets. It's the Guggen Open. I gotta learn how to play golf. For a chance for you and a partner to play in this year's Coastal Equipment Guggen Golf Open, April 15th at Hidden Hills Golf Club, listen to Dan and Jeff on the drill. Enjoy a Chick-fil-A breakfast and a Dandy Foods lunch. Put the ball in a hole. Score a hole in one and you could win $500 cash from Lucas Honda. Yeah! You could also win a Bernie Grill from Stone Core. Pictures from Jack Sports Photography. Thanks to our sponsors, Southeast Orthopedic Specialists, Ahead, and Ackerman Urology. Let's go! A night of excitement and fun with the Jacksonville Sharks is here. Next Saturday, April 6th, 7 p.m. at the Star Veterans Memorial Arena. Cheer the Sharks on to victory as they take on the Bay Area Panthers. With tickets as low as $15, you can't find this kind of family affordable fun anywhere else. Call 904-621-0700 or jacksharks.com. Let's go! 
This game is Western Night. Dust off your boots and cowboy hats. The first 2,500 fans receive a replica championship rally towel. Hey, it's Sharks head coach Jason Gibson. Come out to our first game against the defending IFL champions, the Bay Area Panthers. Show them how life is in the Shark Tank. Let's go. Don't miss the fun next Saturday, April 6th, 7 p.m. at the Vistar Veterans Memorial Arena. For tickets, call 904-621-0700. 621-0700. Or jacksharks.com. Let's go. Again, 904-621-0700. David Lane here again for Southeast Orthopedic Specials. After several surgeries for age-old issues, mainly my back and shoulders, there's no doubt that Southeast Orthopedic Specialist is my sustaining resource for living pain-free. Take it from me, and I'm being really honest here, there's no better orthopedic facility here in Jacksonville. Relieve pain and get back to life. Southeast Orthopedic Specialist. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited-time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20-volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20-volt max power stack battery two-pack free, a $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of Deck Plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last. Selection varies by location. Yo, it's your boy E.T., and if you're still in the market for a sports book to call home, bet that nonstop action of the madness with my bookie. My bookie is your one stop for all your sports betting and casino needs, complete with real life Vegas experience right from that cellular device of yours. Take your viewing experience to the next level with real time live betting that lets you stream and bet the games right from the comfort of the crib. Sign up now and take advantage of the generous welcome bonus on your first deposit, all the way up to $1,000. Put in 200, get three. Ready to play instantly using promo code 1010XL. And the fun don't stop there. You'll get up to the minute odds, props, and this week's expert predictions to help you dictate where to put that cash at. And the best part about my bookie, you can bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Come on, somebody. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. All right. We're back for the football fix. The hip drop tackle. Banned. NFL owners approved that. Players not happy a bit. Listen, and they don't push back against every rule. This one really does seem to make it tough for a defender. I go watch a YouTube video to explain it exactly. I'm telling you, they say it doesn't happen that often. It's not going to result. Man, I see that play all the time, don't you? And the yeah, difference, the anytime you're chasing a guy down from yes. the side or behind, that's how you tackle him. The only time you don't see it is a head-on tackle. But other than that, when For a the DB most is chasing part. somebody down, it's just like you're, that. Correct. I just And the, so the players, you know, um, understandably are like, what the hey? Uh, by the way, we have another iteration of the power ranking, so we'll get hectic a little bit. Ooh. A bit later um, uh, this morning. Uh, but for now, we'll... We'll save that. We'll put it aside. Uh, Giants ownership say they've given the okay to draft a quarterback. I mean, makes sense after they paid Daniel Jones all that money just last offseason. Boy, a lot of parallels between Daniel Jones, the success that the, the, the Giants had with him, the way you could massage the numbers and the analytics to make you believe. It's a big correlation with Blake Bortles there, isn't there? Blake Bortles and Daniel Jones, real similar. At the end of their rookie deals, are nearing them. They they get hot. They take their teams to a playoff. They win playoff game. You know, you can make the numbers look better or feel better maybe than 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 they do as they're piled up. So and now are the Giants thinking about a, a quarterback if they can get one. A lot of, a lot of talk and chatter because the teams are at the NFL owners meetings. That includes the owners, the GMs. I'm sure we'll hear from Trent Balky probably today. But so they're asking owners some questions and some interesting answers yesterday. Arthur Blank says uh, he doesn't believe they tampered for Kirk Cousins. The Falcons uh, and one other squad 
have, are being looked at by the NFL by, uh, for potential. I mean, that's a joke, man. You can't call that on one and not call it on the whole league, can you? I mean, those those deals are rolling in just right after the, quote, tampering period. They all know what's happening. Nod, nod, wink, wink. Uh, the Vikings, Ziggy Wilf, say they're still trying to stay in playoff contention even with the quarterback change. Uh, we shall see. To go from Kirk Cousins to a rookie is uh, certainly going to be a bit of a culture shock. Uh, the owner vows, uh, the owners of the Jets, Johnson's vow to keep Zach Wilson if there's no trade. Good for you. With this vow, I the dread. Uh, the 49ers say, what do you mean? Oh, Brandon Ayuk's not available for trade. And kind of a rare admission. Mike McDaniel, the head coach down there in Miami, says, yeah, the Dolphins have, a, have an offer out to OBJ. We'll see how that plays out. That's Football Fix. You're welcome. Brought to you by the Jacksonville Sharks. Tough road loss. Adjustments will be made there at uh, Las Vegas this week. Home opener April 6th. Get your tickets right now at jacksharks.com and by the home course, the Julian Creek Golf Club. Pick and arrival and more coming your way next on a Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. The drill from the studios at Republic Services. We'll handle it from here. The fire which burns inside us. It's essential to understand that battles are won primarily in the hearts of men. And once you have won their hearts, they'll follow you anywhere. 1010XL. Attention men and women. If you would like to get your hair back, then you need to listen to some of our clients. John in Orange Park. IHRS showed me what was causing my hair loss and helped stop it. Call IHRS now at 904-777-IHRS. Find out how to grow your hair back with a free hair and scalp examination. Mike from Bay Meadows. I finally found the most experienced company who could restore my hair. Now I have hair where I had none before. Results guaranteed. Diane from Ponte Vedra. Now I have what lotions couldn't give me. Thick, beautiful hair. Find out why you're losing your hair and how to grow your hair back. Call 904-777-IHRS for a limited time free hair and scalp examination. Now my hair will grow for the rest of my life. Thanks, IHRS. Thank you, IHRS. Thanks, IHRS, for giving me my hair back. Hurry, this free examination, normally $199, is yours for free and good only through Sunday. For your free examination, call IHRS at 904-777-IHRS. That's 904-777-4477. Call now. Hey, when it comes to insurance, folks like us think like this. Man, we pay a lot of money monthly, right? Those premiums. So if something happens and we need you, we need you. And that's what the Kaprowskis do for us. This husband and wife team from Goosehead team up to take care of all of our insurance needs. And when I say take care, I mean it. If something happens, you call the Kaprowskis, they answer. If they don't, they call you right back. It's called customer service, something the Kaprowskis simply don't take lightly. Homeowners, auto, flood, boat insurance, small business. The Kaprowskis are always there for you at your time of need. How do I know? Because they've done that for me, my daughter, my son, my family. Get an insurance checkup today. Easy to get a hold of Craig.Kaprosky at Goosehead.com. Craig.Kaprosky, K-O-P-R-O-S-K-I at Goosehead.com. Or call 478-8422, 478-8422. Craig and Chris Kaprosky are part of the Goosehead insurance family and part of our family as well. Here's Linda Beaver. Did you hear what's happening? Beaver Toyota and Beaver Chevrolet are spring cleaning. New inventory on the ground means we need to make more room. Take advantage of huge savings on thousands of vehicles priced to sell. New and pre-owned prices have been reduced and all sales associates have been instructed to give maximum value on all trades. But you better hurry, the best deals go first. Head to Beaver Toyota in St. Augustine. Beaver Chevrolet in Jacksonville to take advantage of our spring cleaning sale. We're here to wow you. Home of the Jacksonville Jaguars, WJXL AM Jacksonville Beach, WJXL FM Jacksonville Beach. Attention veterans, if you have a VA loan, you need to listen to this, especially if your current rate is higher than 6.5%. Now is the time to take advantage of the federal government's VA Streamline Refinance Program. With my friends at Loan Pronto, you can. Go to LoanPronto.com. Prosser here, and Loan Pronto has fixed rate APRs in the five. You can drop your rate now. Lower your payment with no income documentation and no appraisal. Do it at LoanPronto.com. Their all digital platform makes it easy. They can even cover your closing costs. If you need cash now, Loan Pronto can get you up to 100% of your home value. You can pay off all your credit cards or other debt and save as much as $1,000 a month. Call Loan Pronto now at 904-999-1508. 
or get a 30-second rate quote at LoanPronto.com. Ask about streamlined VA loans. No income doc and no appraisal. Loan Pronto, 999-1508 or LoanPronto.com. Equal housing lender, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval. There are only a few things the government does well, and processing passports is not one of them. Hello, it's Congressman Aaron Bean, and taking care of constituents in Northeast Florida is a top priority. If you need help with that passport, the VA, Social Security, or any federal agency, call my office, 904 904- Five five seven nine five five zero, or visit bean.house.gov. I'm Congressman Aaron Bean, and serving you is what we do. Paid for by official funds authorized by the House of Representatives. When it comes to towing products, your safety on the road is the priority at Cannons of Jacksonville. Whether it's a heavy-duty tow hitch, trailer frame, wiring, gooseneck, tow bar, or any other towing accessory, Cannons has decades of experience to ensure your towing setup is installed with precision and reliability. Visit cannonsofjacks.com to explore a range of products and schedule your installation. Cannons of Jacksonville, your trusted partner for a smoother tow. Hey gang, Hicken here. March is Workplace Eye Wellness Awareness Month. Here's a tip for those in front of a computer all day. Follow the 2020 rule. Set a timer as a reminder to look 20 feet away every 20 minutes for 20 seconds. This can be as simple as looking away from your computer screen or out the window. If virtual meetings keep you in your seat for extended time, shut your eyes for 20 seconds. Call or visit Bowdenai.com today to schedule your consultation. Bowdenai, keeping the first coast focused. Lamb of God and Mastodon live. Celebrating 20 years of Ashes of the Wake and Leviathan. July 23rd, Daly's Place. With special guests, Carrie King and Malevolence. Lamb of God and Mastodon's Ashes of Leviathan Tour. Tickets on sale now at LiveNation.com. It's March basketball. That means a host of top teams will be competing for the NCAA title. When it comes to commercial painters, there's also some healthy competition out there. Jason Parker with Performance Painting. To help you know the right questions to ask any painter competing for your business this year, visit performancepaintingjacks.com. Or if you're ready for a friendly quote, give us a call and ask about our free pressure wash promotion for your next project. Performance Painting, quality coatings applied with pride. Performance Painting. Here's your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update sponsored by Southern Oak Insurance. The NFL annual meetings are taking place in Orlando. Jaguar head coach Doug Peterson acknowledged he and QB Trevor Lawrence were frustrated. He's disappointed. He's frustrated, you know, like like we are. He knows that he has to play better. Spring camp for Gator football is demonstrating some standout play. One is linebacker Manny Nunnery that is impressing head coach Billy Napier. Just talked about how, man, he's just so much more comfortable, knows the routine, knows where everything at. Many expect Gator basketball guard Walter Clayton Jr. to enter the NBA draft. Following the loss to Colorado, he has hopes for the program following the NCAA tournament appearance. I hope it means a lot to everybody. I think it do, you know, just coming back trying to build something here, you know, this kind of a stepping stone, you know, to keep on moving forward. And that's your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update. I'm Sam Nelson. It's 7.04 and it's 65 degrees. Your time and your temp is brought to you by Bueller Air Conditioning. Stay cooler with Bueller. 10XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396 5555. Jacksonville. Ladies and gents, please put your hands together as Dan Hicken enters the studio. He literally is walking to the mic every morning during this part of the broadcast. He, he makes us. Start the intro while he stands in the doorway, and now he's taking his seat. You know it! There he is. Yes, sir! Woo! Yeah. Super Tuesday! Man, there is some serious breaking news to start this program. Uh, that Baltimore? Oh, Francis Scott Key Bridge has just collapsed because of ship hit it yeah cargo ship good gracious man the thing that I mean, happened they missed i mean the thing went down like a how, how do you how i mean look is this your first cars in the water chief? and 
All kinds of stuff. How do you run into a bridge? I what kind know. of dolt of a captain are you? Are you Captain Crunch? There's going to be a loss of life, though, here. I mean, these I know. cars. You're of driving course. over the bridge. You're having oh, a bad Tuesday. Oh, man. my. Ooh, I didn't gosh. even think about that. I'm just thinking about the the. Oh, no. There's, they're pulling people out damage. of the water right Good now. Good Lord. Well, we got the wrong channel on in here. They got a couple. Uh, I guess it's the Patapsco River. It is the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland, crosses the Patapsco River. It says here. As it show, has reportedly collapsed. There's no reportedly, man. You're looking at the video. It collapsed. Yeah, that thing collapsed, man. Dang, man. Crazy. So, anyway, uh, oof. not a good way to start start your day, for sure. I don't, I don't even know if that bridge could get, get that bridge, if that ship was going to get under that bridge. I mean, they make a bad turn did, on the did Patapsco? It happen, did it happen overnight or yesterday afternoon or when no, did it, it happen? happened overnight, like 1 a.m.? Yeah. A 1 a.m. Yeah. So there probably was not, like, I'm, obviously you're saying they're pulling people out, but I mean, it, it's it said far it, as, The ship had lost power a couple of times before it hit, hit so I don't know. Yeah, it's don't, probably out of control ooh. then, you know. But I'm just thinking at that time, though, you've got the, probably the least amount of traffic that you would have. Right. Right? Yeah. I mean, imagine that happens at 4 ooh. in the oh, afternoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. How do you not even know that there's a bridge that you can't get through before you go that no, way? No, I think he could have got through if he was in, in the middle. Oh, he hey. just, oh. Oh, you're saying the ship lost power. He, like, lost his steering. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Sure he did. And no, Tiny didn't know about the gambling. Oh, dear. Best meme I, I saw yesterday. We should have a meme of the day. Meme of the day. People <laughs> forward me this stuff all the time. But did you, have you seen the one where it's uh, Pete Rose, the hit king, and he's standing there? Remember when he had that one period of uh, Pete's journey where he had that, that uh, Asian masseuse girlfriend, remember her, Dan? He married her. Are they married still? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. I know he married Yeah, her. I don't know if they're still married. Okay, well, anyway, it's a picture with him from back in the day. And then it says under it says, Pete should have told him about his, should have blamed it on his translator. Yeah. He <laughs> he was, I don't know where he is, if he's in Vegas or card show, wherever he may be, with a big fat guy. The big fat guy introduced. Now, Pete is old now. Pete yeah, is, oh, yeah. Probably 80. And so, this, they legit it, legitimately sat there yesterday and uh, the fat guy introduced him and said, Pete's got something to say about, and all he said is, I wish I had an interpreter. Yeah. He's 82. 80, yeah, I'm old. The hit king. So, anyway. Pete uh, strikes me as he'd be a grumpy old man. Yeah, the Shohei thing is fascinating. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's what beyond, it looks uh, like is if you take it, Again, without investigation or whatever, and you want to presume innocence, that's fine. It looks like they all threw the the guy under the bus. Yeah. Jeff, if... If... You monitor... You, you, you let Mrs. P take care of your... Yeah. Bank stuff. But if you were missing, I don't know, 4500 bucks, would you I would figure not. that out? You would not know? I would not. Yeah. So, Mrs. P, if you're listening this morning, honey... <laughs> Knock yourself out. <laughs> you've got to, you've got to, the Trevor Trove. Yeah. If I was missing forty five hundred dollars, I'd be. I like, don't look at my bank. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. What's no, going on? I would here? have no idea. But yeah. that Mrs. P, she's my wife, damn my confidant, show, my, my trust. I, I show trust doesn't her. have a wife either. Well, but I mean, these wait, dudes, didn't show her just get married? Well, hold on now, too. I'm not just gonna, recently. I'm yeah. not. I'm not going to equate his show a and his bro ship with this dude for three or four years with you know the trust that you get after being married for thirty, right? Yeah. But so to your point, if if I can come up with a scenario that will fit what you're trying to say. Yeah. Either Shohei is not telling the truth or he's got the worst best friend interpreter. Or, or, or worst accountant. Somebody's accountant, got to be watching it. Bank. No, with that kind of money, it's like <laughs> somebody's got to be monitoring it day to day. If you're smart, it should be Shohei's money people so they can be making money on that money. Hey, uh, Shohei, we're missing four and a half million. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and Ipe were out yeah, gambling. Gave it to Ipe. Bit. Ipe, uh, Ipe went cold this weekend, boys. Ipe's missing. Ipe will be back. Somebody yeah. get, you know, Rocco on the phone. Tell him we're coming with his cash. Oof. No, it sounds like Shohei did know. And now, again, Ipe right now is sitting on a beach in the, you know, in Tahiti, dude. He got his $20 million. You'll never see him again. I don't know. I think Ipe was paying stuff off. But yeah, you're no, saying but I'm just saying, more. yeah, they're going to pay him to take the fall, get out. We'll let oh, you pay. Oh, oh. And by the way, the, the best shield that he has is to stand for 12 minutes and speak a language that no one understands. 
All right, there's no second. You can't. We don't parse it. Like, if, if Roger Clemens or Barry Bonds stood there for 12 minutes, we could spend an hour to, to, dissecting pep- every word. Yeah, they're getting peppered, yeah. By the yeah. way, and the trust right now in the interpreter game isn't real strong. So what, whatever they're saying, he's saying, Shohei could be sitting there saying this, Dan. I just really wanted to come before you humbly today and admit that I made a terrible mistake. I, I didn't know that we were gambling. I didn't understand the rules. Um, I'm going to take whatever punishment. I'm sorry for my friend and my brother, Ipe, for throwing me under the bus. That's not really what happened. The interpreter says, <laughs> I'm shocked and saddened by what I've learned. I had never had any idea that there was betting going Shohei's on. nodding. I've never humbly. bet on sports myself. I, I, I have no clue Buddy was taking money. Go. From so how do I know that's not what just happened there, yeah. huh? Oh, show hey. <laughs> what a mess. Um, then we got the NBA guy who nobody cares about doing prop bets like crazy. <laughs> what happened? I didn't even see that one. It's some guy, Toronto, the, the Raptors guy, right? Is it Toronto? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, he's a, not a player. Yeah, he's a player. Oh, yeah, a player. <laughs> doing like a little doing prop bets where I'm. I got to get ten rebounds. Uh, I'll bet the himself? under. <laughs> It was Michael Porter Jr.'s brother. Dude, these guys make so much money. What they think was going to happen, dude. I mean, but what do you think? I mean, you <laughs> you go full out into gambling, which is fine. If uh-huh, you're going to embrace so it, that's, you know, okay. But, you know, you can't. Yeah. So, anyway, here we are with what we have and get ready. But, again, nobody cares about the The, the bookie, NBA guy. apparently. But there are reports out there, by the way. I've, I've seen different things that, you know, I haven't to uh, corroborated with four sources yes but the bookie says otani was the client now look the otani can say well ipe must be telling him that i'm the client i don't yeah. know who this guy is yeah hey, i think it's right the first one they they came out in agreement in the beginning ipe had the gambling losses otani's handler said if it said otani paid it off and then they learned that oh that makes me complicit never mind ipe stole it ipe changed his story to they didn't know and then that was it they pulled a fast one. Ipe has been stealing money from my account and has told lies. Listen, Ipe, Ipe, Ipe uh, I'll say this too. Take you inside the walls of the bookie game. Mm-hmm. Bookies don't let Ipe carry four and a half million in, in debt. That part. Yeah. Ipe yeah. ain't got four and a half million. Right. Hey, Ipe, we're going to have to cut you off at 100 G. Right, yeah. Yeah. So they've been down this road before, back and forth. So yeah, the whole thing and and, and uh-huh. Major League Baseball again has taken the complete ostrich approach, and they just that head is down neck deep in that sand, boy. Let us know when this. Well, let us know when it's over, and we'll never know the entire story. We'll never know the full story. Let somebody uh, write a book in a couple of years. Again, he's got a great shield in the language barrier. My man gave a twelve minute statement. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah no. It pay. I saw the uh, way too early power rankings are out for the Jags and the NFL. Yeah. Did you peek at those? No, well, I didn't. I thought we'd get hectic. I thought that's what we did around oh. here. Oh, well, okay. We'll do that Did in a Mel Kuyper put out a, new, a 3.02? Then let me go ahead and give you our Dream Finders oh, Holmes nice. poll question of the day. Where CDP, you want to tell everybody who that is, please? CDP. Who? CDP. CVP? CDP. Said he will never get over the collapse of last season. Coach Doug Peterson. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's hard to write it out. You only have so many damn I, characters I, I, on I, Twitter. That's a that's kind of a that's kind of a yeah, I, I know what yeah, that 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 common moniker. You put it on all coaches, but some of your Googles may be like, what the hell is this? What loss bothered Dan's you the most? Dan's into the C B D. What <laughs> loss bothered you the most? Okay. Down the stretch. All right. And I thought back to these. I think about the Bengals prime time. That's all, that that was that a was bad was, one. Mm-hmm. Uh my mini explosion on TV was after the Bucks game. It's Christmas time. Such a poor effort in that game. Remember, I never did. in it. Twenty to nothing. Thirty to twelve. I did. Trevor gets hurt at the end. I was furious. Yeah. Uh, the Ravens, and that was another prime timer where they scored a whopping seven points, and then we unearthed the stat that against the Super Bowl teams they had scored like fifteen points. <laughs> or Tennessee, the last game. Here we are, chance to win the division, and we just. <laughs> Ourselves. Those are the three? Four. Four. The Ravens game, too. All right. Well, the disappointments range in different ways. The most egregious is the Bengals game. Uh-huh. 
You got a lead right out of Back the gate. Backup quarterback. You 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 scored first. You got the ball again in their territory, and you fiddle and fumble around and go go for it. And give them the game. They tie. Yeah. yeah. It just that was embarrassing. So that that. But the one the most disappointing is even through it all, just go beat a terrible Tennessee team. Yeah. That everybody other than the Dolphins is beating, and you're in anyway. And so to let your 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 rival who was just stuck it in you so many times do it again to me is the worst. Well, Dream Finders Homes, uh, the official home builder of the PGA Tour, the Gators, and the Jags. And right now, with more than 300 votes in, uh, you are correct. Tennessee, the last game, 52.2. The Bengals in primetime, 30.7. The Bucks poor effort, 14.9. And the seven points against the Ravens, only 2.2% uh, percent as the loss that really bothered you the most. Tennessee was on the road, too. The Bucks are on the road. The Bengals and the Ravens were both at home. Uh, uh, what with was the, the Titans number? Watching. 52 points. It was 50. Yeah, I'm it's very saying. high. It's very high. For a limited time on select Move-In Ready Homes, Dream Finders Homes offering an amazing 3.99% interest rate in year one of your mortgage. Go to dreamfindershomes.com for more details. But you can vote at Dan Hicken. Uh, e will post it as well. E, we only have one question as you have now sort of redefined what a cushion day is. Okay, okay. So uh, at any point yesterday, uh-huh. were your toes in the sand? Keep it real. Be honest. Hey, I, 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 I can't lie to to the OGs, to the goats. Thank you. My, my toes were definitely in the sand. Okay. Yesterday. All right. All right. <laughs> However, it wasn't planned. It was not as, while we're here, as long as I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I was tuned in, listening, feet in the sand. Cocktails. I, I heard y'all talking about I was dancing with somebody else. Toes in the sand. <laughs> you got your it. toes in the water and your ass in the sand. You know is what you got. I heard not all a, of it. Not a worry in the not world. Not a worry in the I, world. I, I heard Coach Gibbs. I had to give him the. I, I, I text uh, uh, pockets. Didn't he mark. told us. Yeah. yeah. He told you know us. What I'm saying? Yeah, I'd take was, care of us. I was frustrated. He, we, could, we he were couldn't n- find the um, the Frank Sinatra. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, come on. It's yeah. on the wall. It's yeah. on the wall. Yeah. There you I, go. I was listening, man. But Well, thank you. It was unforced. I was. I was unforced, but not unfortunate. <laughs> I was much nicer to you than y'all are to me. You got that for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you would have been buried yesterday. That would have been great. Uh, I, w- oh, I would man. take it. I, ne- I, it's a great idea. In fact, my next vacation, my travel plans are also going to quote fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I wish. Does this count against me? <laughs> I know this sounds crazy. <laughs> I don't think it's – I'm going to go ahead and write this up. I don't think this day off should count against my totals. <laughs> well, that's good. And congratulations on leading the uh, 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 yeah, pool. Yeah. yeah, we're not happy with that either. Uh-huh. I don't know how you did. But 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 this, this Tennessee Creighton – uh, uh, Purdue bracket is going to define. Yeah, that's gonna talk to you. Yeah, yeah that's volume. gonna that's gonna that's gonna either put you in the winner's circle. No, oh, man, I think I'm too far to be in the losers' hole, man. I don't think so. Do you think he is can still lose? Yeah, yeah, I he do can, too. Yeah, he can. Oh, I, I, are you asking? Do I think he will, or can yeah, he mathematically? No, mathematically, he hundred percent, he can. Yeah, 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 that's not an opinion. That's a yeah, fact. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to lose Creighton because. Let me tell you something. Uh-huh. If you uh-huh. lose Creighton it's tough. and Prosser gets Tennessee to the Final Four, he will pass you because the next ga- the next game they play, that's three points. That would be three, four, five for Pross, and you'd get none. That's 12 points. He would be right there with you. Yeah, I'd be tied. So, and then yeah, and then he's got Creighton beating Houston. If Houston then beats Tennessee. Yeah. So, and then, and then, but then he has UConn winning it all. So, if UConn gets there, I need UConn to lose, quite frankly. No. Y'all, y'all both have UConn. Yeah, you do. You know, we and I Houston have Houston, and Houston looks, looks, looks shaky, and UConn looks dominant. So, yeah. but Houston's, I'm looking now on Houston's path, and I, I feel pretty good about it, right? I saw the most, you ready for this stat? I've already done a Shazam. Does, everything doesn't have to be a Shazam, does it, E? No. They don't got to be. But you can if you'd like. No, this, this stat, though, is real, it's a really cool. I mean, the Shazam is a ship barreling into this bridge. I mean, oh. my God. Gosh, I thought you said something else there for a second. <laughs> I thought you shipped your pants for a second. Um, Listen up, Shit's Creek. Ship's Creek, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Um, oh, my gosh, I got to find it here. Now I'm annoyed. I'll get there. So you guys continue to carry it. In- I mean, this guy hit this. This What do you call the thing with the bridge that, you know, that goes up to the bridge and is mounted in the water? Whatever that is. 
Mm-hmm. You hit that sucker. The dead stanchion, on. is that what they call it? Was, well, that's what I was yeah, thinking about. It could go as a stanchion. But, and then the way the whole thing collapsed like that, man. Oof. I mean, you, you're a Coast Guard guy. Uh huh. The ship appeared to have lost power twice before impact. The ship's lights are on and off. They come back on and they lose power one more time. But it was too late and they just hit it bang and the, that bridge went down, okay. man, like a, some cars. <clears throat> Here's a crazy, here, here was the crazy stat. Duke has not beaten a higher seeded team since 1994. Are you talking higher seed like, uh, like ahead of them? Two, yeah, yeah. Uh, like yeah, yeah. In other words, there are four. Houston's a one. Yes, they have not won as as the lower seed. Although they oftentimes a one or a two. So that well, that's the reason. Yeah. But here, here's what has happened. Yeah. On a March, and then they get knocked in, off. In March of 1994, Grant Hill led number two seed Duke. To a win over Glenn Robinson and number one seed Purdue in the Elite Eight. It's the last time Duke has beaten a higher seeded team. Since then, Duke is 0 and 6 against higher seeded teams. Um, they play number just think about that though. Only six times in their twenty seven trips have they have they played higher seeded right. teams. Right. Seventeen losses to lower seeded teams. Um They've been a one seed 12 times out of 27 trips. They have 17 losses to lower seeded teams in that same time frame. Mm. Wow. Mm. Uh, so that gives me hope with Houston. And like I said, the, 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 you know, I guess Marquette, you know, I, I, I didn't believe in Marquette. So probably need to listen to them. I watched uh, Roadhouse. Okay. Um, it was okay. Yeah. It was all right. It was enter- entertaining. I thought it was fine. Yeah. That's basically what I said. Yeah. That McGre- worth, worth the watch compared to some of the nonsense that I well, get and stuck if you, in. If you like the old order, you it's want It's the watch. same thing. Yeah. It's the same real similar concept. I yeah. thought it, I thought they'd get a good job updating. Didn't you think Conor McGregor was fantastic? <laughs> just a goof, isn't he? Yeah, like a, he's like a possessed leprechaun. Just, just, just um, mangling his way through. It's your typical trope. You set up the bad guy, you know, yeah. you pull for the underdog. And they then... didn't make the – the bad guy wasn't bad enough. Like the the, the, su- the, the son young, of yeah. the – yeah, he wasn't, yeah. like, yeah. bad enough. They turned it more on Conor McGregor yeah. and his hunting down yeah. uh, than – because in the old one, it was the behind this – the puppet yeah. master behind. You're yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But same cartoonish type of violence, but this one the special effects were better. It was a lot more action, yeah. violent action. It was good. I, it was. It's, I thought know. it was fine. It's one of those. That if you'll... you liked Roadhouse, you'd like this one. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's do this. We'll... Not saying it should win the Oscar. Not what we're saying. Again, Ricky th- R- Ricky Stanicki, fantastic. I thought Charlie has a chance as best supporting actress. Little Charlie, the little, girl. Char- little Charlie. Yeah, she yeah. was. She was good. She was terrific. <laughs> Charlie. Uh, let's come back uh, with a 10-minute drill. You're listening to The Drill on a Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. Now, Downtime with Dan. Brought to you by Ameris Bank. Voted a top place to work in Jacksonville. Whether you need help with business, personal, or mortgage banking, we're with you. Ameris Bank is an equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Alright, uh, listen, NBA last night, uh, and I'm sure Jeff talked about it in the 6 o'clock hour, but boy, you want to talk about I didn't see that coming. The Atlanta Hawks down 30 to the Celtics, who, like, never lose. Going to win, like, 65 games. The Hawks, no disrespect, are horrible. They don't have Trey Young. Uh, it's – it's. I don't know what happened. I don't know if, like, the Celtics went and had a smoke break during the third period and said, hey, guys – Let's go out and have a smoke break, and we'll come back, and the game will keep going. All of a sudden, they walk back in, and they were only up two. I don't know. But somehow, some way, they blew a 30-point lead and lost to Atlanta. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. You love free, and at Ameris Bank, so do we. That's why we're proud to offer worry-free, hassle-free Ameris Bank free checking. Manage your money your way with convenient access to digital, mobile, and telephone banking, all with no monthly service fee or minimum balance requirements. At Ameris Bank, we're with you. For more information or to open an account, visit our local bankers in person or online at amerisbank.com slash free checking. Other fees such as overdraft fees may apply. Ameris Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hey, it's one of life's most important decisions. If you're 18 years or older, you just got married, just got divorced, 
you have children, you likely want to take care of your family. That's why I'm telling you about Matt Henson and the Henson Law Firm. I'm not the attorney Maddie is, but I have a question for you. And if you're listening, please pay attention. Have you done your last will? And the answer you're, think, you're answering right now is, no, Hick, I haven't done that. Well, listen, you need to. Because you decide where your assets go to the people that you choose. Planning also helps minimize income, gift, and estate taxes as well. Something you got to take care of. And Matt Henson's your guy. He's going to listen. He's going to help you with some tough decisions. He's going to provide you info needed so you are at ease with your choice. It's a Henson Law Firm. You got questions, Matt. He's got the answers. Reach out. 904-527-1700. That's 904-527-1700. Office is Jacksonville, Florida. Gang, don't let the state decide your fate. Attention men and women. If you would like to get your hair back, then you need to listen to some of our clients. John in Orange Park. IHRS showed me what was causing my hair loss and helped stop it. Call IHRS now at 904-777-IHRS. Find out how to grow your hair back with a free hair and scalp examination. Mike from Bay Meadows. I finally found the most experienced company who could restore my hair. Now I have hair where I had none before. Results guaranteed. Diane from Ponte Vedra. Now I have what lotions couldn't give me. Thick, beautiful hair. Find out why you're losing your hair and how to grow your hair back. Call 904-777-IHRS for a limited time free hair and scalp examination. Now my hair will grow for the rest of my life. Thanks, IHRS. Thank you, IHRS. Thanks, IHRS, for giving me my hair back. Hurry, this free examination, normally $199, is yours for free and good only through Sunday. For your free examination, call IHRS at 904-777-IHRS. That's 904-777-4477. Call now. Hi, this is Dale Murray with Murray Automotive Group in Stark and Kingsland. Save yourself from those big city dealers and their fast-talking flim-flam tactics. No matter what your automotive need is, we've got you covered. Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Nobody beats our prices, and I mean nobody. Shazam! Plus our exclusive 15-year, 150,000-mile warranty included on every qualified vehicle. And we'll trade anything from AirPods to fishing rods. Compare our prices online at ShazamAuto.com. Then come see me, Dale Murray. I'll be waiting for you. Shazam! At Edwin Watts Golf Shops by Worldwide Golf, there's something that binds us all. The collective goal to transcend the ordinary. Introducing the all-new Ping G730 and I-530 irons. The G730 irons are Ping's longest and most forgiving irons, while the I-530s fit golfers who want more distance in a player's design and are engineered for higher launch and more. Visit us in-store at Edwin Watts Golf Shops or online at WorldwideGolf.com. Get there. Get fishing tips and stories from Captain Kevin. Bite's going to pick up pretty soon. On the Ring Power Fishing Forecast Show. Brought to you by Awaken 180 Weight Loss. Whoa! Thursday nights at 6. On 1010XL AM. A lot of companies will tell you they're the best. At Custom Tree Surgeons, they show you every time. Custom Tree Surgeons has built an all-pro team. Every tree service professional has years of experience, continually trained and certified. They know what, when, and how to handle any job. It gets done efficiently and quickly by a team of experts. So for tree trimming, removal, stump grinding, and emergency services, forget any name other than Custom Tree Surgeons. There is no job they can't do better. Go to website customtreesurgeons.com. That's customtreesurgeons.com. And let them show you how the job is supposed to get done. Divorce. Menonly.com. This is Kenny Lay of Kenny Lay & Associates. Our firm specializes in representing men in family law. That's all we do. That's our only focus. We can help with all of your family law needs, such as divorce, custody, alimony, and child support. For over a decade, we have helped thousands of men with these types of issues. We even have an appellate division ready to challenge a judge's ruling. If you need a family law attorney, go to DivorceMenOnly.com. DivorceMenOnly.com. Offices, Jacksonville. When my wrist pain was acting up and I needed help, I took Dan Hicken's advice and headed over to see the experts at Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. This is Stuart Moore with the PGA Tour. I highly recommend Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. Whenever you have a need, they took great care of me. They'll take great care of you. This is Dr. Kevin Murphy. The next time you need orthopedic care, you can rely on our team at Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. Relieve pain and get back to life. Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. At DuckDuckRooter, we understand plumbing issues can be a real inconvenience for your building or business, and we're here to help. We can handle all kinds of plumbing jobs, including broken pipes, clogged drains, line jetting, installing water heaters, and full repipes. Need a camera inspection or a smoke test? Yes, DuckDuckRooter does that too. Plus, our lift station services include inspections, monitoring, cleaning, and repairs. 
When you're stuck, call the duck. 904-862-6769. That's 904-862-6769. Leon Sarsa here, Jaguar legend and three-time national champion. Are you ready to elevate your game and dominate on the gridiron? Our elite offensive line camp is designed for young athletes who aspire to push their limits, refine their skills, and become the very best. It's called the Lineman Life. Sunday, April 14th, D1 training on Beach Boulevard. Whether you are aiming to make a starting lineup or a college scholarship, this camp is for you. Spots are limited, so secure your spot now. Go to eventbrite.com, the Lineman Life dash offensive line camp. Enter promo code 1010 and get $25 off. Greatness awaits. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Now, the 10-minute drill. This is a big one. On 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right, we got sports concepts and rationalizations coming your way. We call it the 10-minute drill. At the end of the drill... At the end of the drill, we love to give out a prize pack. E refers to that as razzle dazzle. E, what are we razzle dazzling them with today? Oh, I got a pair of tickets for Lamb of God live at Daly's Place on July 23rd. Tickets on sale now at Live Nation. But also, we're giving them a chance. We're giving winner a chance to enter a uh, a poll, a pool, like a drawing to get oh. into the Gugans oh. golf tournament. Oh, nice. Winner will be selected April 10th. Every time I hear Lamb of God, I think you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. I don't know what this is in particular. Yeah. Yeah. Sports concepts and rationalizations. We call it the 10-minute drill. All kinds of things going on in the... Lamb of God's an American heavy battle man. Heavy, is it? heavy metal band well, formed in 1994 is Burn the Priest. Oh Oops. Whoa. What are we doing? Who have we aligned ourselves? Oh, I can't because we care. All right, go ahead. <laughs> threw me for a loop. It did throw me for a loop. There you go. It did throw me for the loop. So Doug Peterson <clears throat> spoke to the media yesterday. What did you make of his comments? I, I, I find this interesting, and this is what happens in the offseason. I think you go through this. Especially the way the season ended for the Jags, this collapse that we had and the disappointment. And so you're you're like, good gosh. And so you're blaming everybody. And, 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 and then reality starts to set back in and you start to rebuild and you start start seeing what they're doing and you oh, you convince you build yourself. Build some optimism. Yeah, you build optimism. Optimism is now we're in the optimism building mode as you add new players. The only difference now is you, you base against what you're going to have to beat and it looks a lot different. Yes. The Texans look like a bona fide contending team that's still on the upswing. Mm-hmm, they, mm-hmm. Unlike the Jags, who kind of sat on their progress with what they had, the Texans kept adding. I think that's how you have to keep doing it. I think the big mistake last offseason, Dan, was made not not adding more, not not trying 100%. to get even, even better and, and, and uh, deeper and, and more prepared to, to go 17. So that part of it has changed, but I'm with you on the growing optimism. What I took most out of Peterson – or some more specific plans for either personnel added or, you know, scheme shifts uh, moving forward. Uh, you know, on the defensive side of the ball, basically, you know, Darnell Savage is going to be their nickel corner. That's what they signed him to be, not play Rayshon Jenkins' position. That'll be Antonio Johnson. They're going to put, you know, Savage. Now, Savage has versatility, but, you know, they're going to put him. They're going to play a, a, the 4-3. It seems like Josh Allen, as we talked yesterday, will have his hand on the ground Yeah, in, in that defense. Um that they're going to use Evan Ingram more as a deep threat. What does that line up perfectly with if a certain prospect falls to 17 on draft day? Say what now? I said he talked yesterday using Evan Ingram really more as a split out deep threat. I oh. think we will see more of that, but what would that fit perfectly with a certain prospect if he falls on draft day? And that's Brock Bowers. Mm-hmm. Keeps that door open to, to your total arsenal. They got to run the football better. They hope that, you know, here's the deal. The, the, the reality is this, and this isn't like being – particularly critical or accusatory of, of, you know, how honest they are or pretending to be. But these same two dudes told us they loved Luke Fortner a month ago. Yeah. A month later, they're going to get in his replacement. So, sure. uh, you know, what, what, what a great assault. You take each and everything. Like, he seems to think they're fine at the receiver. Well, no, they're not. They're going to go get a receiver in the first couple of rounds. Right. And they should. And and so you got to play a little bit of poker here, right? The whole mm-hmm. league's there. The mm-hmm. draft's a month away. You they can't just come out and say, oh, yeah, we're going best corner round one, best guard round two, best receiver round. You know, they're going to. I think that the Jags feel that this draft is good enough at the positions of their need that they can sit tight at one and two and get good players. 
Mm. I'll draft the right ones. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, listen, I've got a uh, NBA question for you two knuckleheads. Who has made the most three-pointers in one game in history of the NBA? Okay. I, I said, Jeff, uh, your Clay, answer. It's, it's, and I think it's e, Clay Thompson. Answer. Yes, sir, I was going to go with Clay Thompson. Both say Clay Thompson? Uh-huh. And how many do you think that is? What would the number oh, be? Was it 14? I was going to say 13. Okay. Uh, Jeff, dead on 14 three-pointers okay. in a game in 2018. Clay Thompson made 14 three-pointers. I say this because... Dante v- Vincenzo. That's a really Vincenzo. nice pull, by the way. Just then that thrown cold at us. Uh-huh. This makes up yeah. somewhat for the brain splatted, terrible uh-huh. 20 uh-huh. questions that I did yesterday. Yeah, he missed 20 questions. My, another did you hear that one? Oh, I was listening. Yeah. I didn't hear who the celeb was. It was Herbs. It was Herbs. Yeah. I, I yeah. mentioned him. I just didn't say it. I should have pulled yeah. the trigger. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I digress. Three players have made 13. I'd like you to tell me the three players who have made 13 three points. Dante v- D- Vincenzo set a Knicks record last 11. night. 11. With 11. Yeah. Um, All right, thirteen. I, I mean, I think uh, Steph's up there. I, I, I would think that he did. I think Dennis Scott had thirteen. Oh, D three. I mean, that, he had the record at one point. Maybe his was twelve or eleven. And so I'm, 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 mis- I would have. To, I think Clay may have thirteen. Also, to be honest, uh. mm-hmm. I'm gonna go. Uh, let's go, Steph with thirteen. Do you want to give me the all three, or do you want to just go? One All right, well, let's go. The- I'm going to go Steph, Clay, Dennis Scott. Okay, Steph, Clay, Dennis it Scott. It could be. Yeah, how many of the three is that? Okay. E, do you have any that you want to do different? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm going to just It could be Dame. I had something telling me Dame may have done 13, too. But I'm going to go Steph, okay. Clay, Clay, Dennis Scott. That's All what right. I'm going. Keep I'm one, take two out. Okay. Okay. I'm going to keep Steph? Keep Steph. Okay. Okay. Steph had 13. Da- okay, I'm going to go Steph, Dame Lillard, mm-hmm. Um, oh, one of the, um, <clears throat> who hit 13 threes? Um, and James Harden. Okay. Keep Dame Lillard and give me one more. Okay. So it's Steph and Dame. Steph and Dame. And the, uh, uh and the third is, um. Kobe, by the way, at 12 in a game. Is this guy, um, is he, is he active? Yes. Okay. okay. Steph had, Steph's all over it and so is Dame. Yeah. Hey, Clay Thompson's not also. I know he's had some some doubles. I thought he did at least. All right. Um Yeah, Clay's Clay's had twelve twice. How about oh I, I, is it Devin Booker? Ooh, I like that guess, but he's not uh I thought he had one of those games. Him. It's not Trey Young. Um Uh how, it, This guy's a little thirteen. I don't think you'd think of this guy as a shooter. You might. But I don't. Oh, is it um, is it Carl Anthony Towns? Ah, uh, that's a, that's a nice he guess. He went off because he's good in the three point shooting yeah. contest. He did, and he went crazy one time. Uh, it's not D'Angelo Russell. He said some big names. I once bought a shirt for a friend of ours for this guy. Vince Carter? No. Oh. Yes. Um, a shirt for a friend of ours. Yes. With this guy on it. DeRozan. Nope. No, he's not a three-point shooter. No, I know. Well, that's I'm, He's uh, telling me we don't think of him as a three-point shooter. Well, it's got to be for... He uh, might have been one of his teammates, though. DeRozan. Oh, Bradley Beal? Nope. No, no, no. Um, They never played together. What are you talking about? Not L- Laurie? Nope. So I guess you don't think of him as a shooter. Oh, oh no. It's uh, Yeah, it's uh, Zach Levine. Zach Levine. Yeah. Oh. No, I, I would not have gotten that. I don't yeah. remember him doing that. Not yeah. 13. Made 13 in a... a Was it that against Atlanta by any chance? No, Charlotte. <laughs> Right, Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan have just shoved it in our eye sockets a few times through the yeah. years. We'll, and, and will again when the Hawks limp in as the 10 seed and lose the play-in game, game one, against Billy Donovan and the Bulls. I don't know if the Hawks get healthy. Watch out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was, uh, as they say, that was cute. Uh, but, um, yeah, the Hawks coming back from 30 last night. I, I was thinking about the, you. You hit on one thing yesterday that, that – that They've made a mistake on the women's game should be kept as much as possible separate from the men's because it allows a spotlight and an opportunity for some exposure that's hard to get. If it's not Caitlin Clark going at Saturday at eight o'clock, people are going to watch North Carolina Duke. Jeff, I was torn last night. I was back at work uh, doing the television part of my day, the late show, and I arrived to the news from my son's. GF girlfriend that the younger son that I had options options going on 
the greatest 10 minutes in reality TV were on last night, and oh. I missed it. Oh, no. I was so disappointed. Oh, he missed his Bachelor finale. Oh. Dang. Is it a girl choosing a guy or a guy choosing God, a girl? I, I knew nothing about it, but apparently I was told a couple of times that this was big stuff, <laughs> and so I, I got it, and I only got to see the – when I flipped it on, I had I had Caitlin on, and I was – I thought, boy, she's not playing very well. They might lose. So I moved over to The Bachelor on the other television in the uh, in the news in the TV room, of which I where I work. It's called the sports office. That's Go ahead. good. And I only got to replay the engagement part, which I don't. That's no fun. I yeah. like the breakup. Yeah, the you breakup. Like to see the heartbreak. But then in the I watched the beginning of the. It was the beginning of the after the rose. And by the way, Jesse James Palmer, you have fleeced America. Good, for, clap it up for Jesse James. Palmer. Yeah, how do you go from <laughs> this guy, <laughs> part time quarterback, backup damn Florida. quarterback, making millions of dollars at the worst? <clears throat> yeah, he has the greatest, but yet the least impactful shows. Ever. Yeah, Jeff, was it difficult picking Stacy over <laughs> Irma? Irma, <laughs> Hurricane Irma. <laughs> Irma, it's very brave of you to be here tonight to tell your side of the story. What what happened with Jeff? <laughs> Dang. So so he gets he has he has a brunette and a blonde. To he choose went, from? He went with a brunette. Okay. Um I only that's how I'm differentiating them. I don't know how else to differentiate. I mean no no, no ill will any either I way. I don't think that's offensive in any okay. way, but go ahead. Just making sure. I don't want to get yeah. The blondes, man, I mean, because uh-huh, she uh-huh. didn't get chosen. Uh-huh. Blondes have more fun. I'm a big blonde fan. I'm married to a blonde. All right, so. <laughs> just, the need to explain. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, anyway, the, the blonde hair girl who did not get picked is sitting there, and she could have been sweeter. Mm-hmm. And I immediately lost interest in the program. Oh, because she's, she's not getting it's after, the, it's after the rose. She's sitting there, and she's like, you know what? You found your true love. I watched it back. Uh, you're with the right girl. I want. I just want. I. I in other the, words, she, and by the way, she that means I got what I needed. I got all the publicity. I have a much hotter guy that's after me now than you. So you yeah. guys do you understand this about the Bachelor? And I'll just make this quick. I won't delve too long into it. But the there's nothing better than the greatest twenty minutes in reality TV of the two girls or two guys. It doesn't matter. It's it's the guys it's, will cry like babies. Oh, too. it's more embarrassing for yeah. the dude. I mean, yeah. but the two girls. Uh, and, and they both wake up, and they're both so in love. And today's the day. Today's the day. It's going to be magical. I'm going to get a ring, and I'm going to live my happily ever after with my Prince Charming. I have loved him for two and a half I weeks. I have loved him and made sweet love to him for the last two weeks in the gondola. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so they, they're, they're so excited. They, they're, they're, they, they, they've been basically on a honeymoon before... Any courting is done. And so it's kind of like our Jags off season last year. Right. So Jeff, you know, then calls Irma in. Yeah. And hey, Irma. And, and Irma. It's been real. It's you're so beautiful. I remember the first time we met and we connected, didn't we? I mean, and that connection has been there. And I have thought so much of you. They're always careful maybe not to say the L word. That's your first clue that it's going bad. Irma's there just waiting. Go to bended knee. Go to bended knee. Drop to bended <laughs> Tell knee. Me you Tell Drop me you love me. Drop to bended knee. And then he he utters the one word. But. W- no! <laughs> no! He drops the butt in, and yeah. it's over. Yeah, here it comes. It's, and then she gets in the car She doesn't sobbing. hear anything else. Yeah. Yeah. You can see the stun yeah, in her face. Word. The eyes start to water. He shoves her into the limo. Yeah. Shoves her. He can't wait he to turns get her around. out of there. Now he's crying. Yeah. And then poor Irma yeah. is stuck in a pit of despair yeah. in the back of the limo for yeah. God knows how long. So she goes from crushed to hate yeah. in about... A minute and a half. And he goes from slightly sad to, whoa, boy, yeah, yeah. back to the one that he's chosen. And then here comes beautiful Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and now you can say everything that you really, it's its so bad, it's great. And so, but it was disappointing because the blonde girl was just fine with everything. So anyway, mm. that was on while I was watching Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hoops team sort of, sort of, uh, uh, well, start to fall apart at home. And West Virginia Mountain Mama, I was thinking, are we going to be singing Country Roads here in a minute or what? Mm. But unfortunately, they got the uh, or West, West Virginia got the Gator treatment. Somebody sent me oh. the foul calls. Oh. Were like twenty-seven I, to five or I, something. I, well, I don't know what it was. I, you should look at that because I texted uh, this. There ain't no way 
they're going to let Caitlin Clark lose a round two game to West Virginia at home when they got to get her to at least the at least playing for the Final Four. Yeah. So anyway, that was uh, that was the story there. But it was well. I I, I would say this for the game. To, back to your point, because you said yesterday, like they shouldn't play it Saturday Sunday against the men. No. I mean, you you can try and speak something into existence. It's just not. But all those dudes with all their brackets in front of them, they're going to be watching those games that they're programmed to watch it by putting it last night. You have no competition, and you can watch Caitlin Clark at, at quick, eight o'clock if you quick want. Quick women's basketball question, because as you know, I'm a degenerate, and I was in Vegas. Okay, and one of my tried and true. Slam dunk, I'm going to make some money, 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 money. Mm-hmm. And Okay, so take this with a grain of salt because it doesn't work, but we always stumble upon these, you know, I'm great at college football I got a formula. I've got to figure it out with baseball, you know, these types of things. He's degenerate Dan, and like through the first yes. two weeks of the five-pack, he's like yes. the hottest guy in Vegas, yes. and then he spins the wheel in three months. Yes, so keep the, take this all. But, so I, and I didn't have time. I, I, I only went to the sports book late to try to save the money. You know, to get the money back. The slot yeah. vixen had had the her slot way. slot vixen just yeah. de- destroyed us. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so I went and made a couple bets to get some money back. Sure. Use um, your knowledge of that. But them. my tried and true <clears throat> slam dunk, Jeff, okay. in women's basketball okay. is the first round one seed against 16. They beat those teams by 50. Yeah. And the spreads are usually like 31. Okay. I mean, it's check it out. But, Jeff... I went into the sports book because you and Joe, you have told me how women's college basketball is more popular than men's. Yeah, that's what I've said. I couldn't find the odds. What's wrong with you? Why would you say Where the were the opposite? odds, Jeff? I'm sure they're in there. I don't know. I they no have idea. to be care. in there, right? Yeah, I don't know. When we went, I wasn't looking for them. I couldn't find the odds. Yeah. I was going to make some quick quick cash. What What's best for women's basketball? But So, first of all, put your games on outside of, this yes. is a reality, outside of Caitlin Clark may snag a few eyeballs up against North Carol, uh, Duke, Houston. Yeah, but that's it. No other. You know, you're you're just drowning away in the forest if you're playing up against them. And the second thing is, there's a particular Final Four that uh, women's basketball could really use. And I'd actually put a fifth team in. But if women's basketball could give you this Final Four standalone in one of their Friday Mondays or however they do it, right? That's separate, different from the uh, uh, different. That's off schedule from the men. But if they get Caitlin Clark in Iowa, mm-hmm. uh, LSU, that wrote Coach Mulkey and Angel Reese. <laughs> they got to get Mulkey in there. You, Mulkey's the greatest, dude. You, USC may have the most skilled women. You think you're going to do a hit piece <laughs> yes. on me? Yeah. i tell you one thing. I'll sue your ass. I'll sue your bleep <laughs> off. <laughs> you feel like she would say another uh, part of the anatomy if she could get away with it. Like, that's how Kim Mulkey Mulkey rolls. don't play. Yeah, she so. Don't. So that, I don't think you know who I am down here. I know people. You'll be dead. <laughs> you know who you're dealing with. You thought Joe Exotic and all them were crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Go, okay. Come okay. On. Come you know on. who likes okay. the look okay. of you? Come get some. Let me tell you who likes the look of you. <laughs> Krusty the Crocodile lives in my pond. Um, it, so that's your second second Final Four. And then the two USC's, undefeated South Carolina. Yeah. And this girl, Juju Watkins, is probably yeah. the most skilled girl playing. Yes. You know, yeah. again, they these girls. You know Juju? <laughs> These Juju girls earn beat. the ultimate compliments from us dudes kicking around sports, yeah. okay? And if you're a really good, skilled Juju or Caitlin Clark, you get the best compliment from us. Yeah. She plays like a dude. All right, 641-1010, come kind, come, come correct. E, <sighs> tell them what they're going to see. Oh, they're going to get a pair of tickets to Lamb of God live at Daly's Place on July 23rd. Tickets on sale now at Live Nation. But also, winner will also be entered for a chance to participate in the annual Tintin XL Guggen Golf Tournament, winner selected April 10th. The Drill on 1010 XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. Cruise to victory lane with 1010 XL this Sunday at Richmond. He's on it now and he's pulling away. Brought to you by the Plumbers and Pipefitters Local Union 234 on Jacksonville's NASCAR station. 1010 XL time for some spring fever March specials going on now at Arlington Toyota Pre-Owned. Mia here, and how does this sound? Just $500 down and $288 per month gets you a pre-owned 2021 Toyota Corolla. Or you choose a pre-owned 2021 Camry, RAV4, or Tacoma for just $500 down and $388 per month. Plus, Arlington's Credit for Everyone program and 30-day exchange. Don't wait. Save thousands and shop ArlingtonToyota.com today. 
Hey gang, Hicken here. March is Workplace Eye Wellness Awareness Month. Here's a tip for those in front of the computer all day. We call it the 2020 rule. Set a timer as a reminder and look 20 feet away every 20 minutes for 20 seconds. It can be as simple as looking away from a computer screen or out the window. If virtual meetings keep you in the seat for an extended time, shut those eyes for 20 seconds. Call or visit Bowdenye.com today. Schedule your consultation. Bowdenye, keep it the first coast focus. Hey, sports fans, this is Hayes Carlion for QC Kinetics. This is the time of year to enjoy life. Stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you love to do this spring. Call QC Kinetics now. Set up a free consultation. Call them at 904-274-5522. They've got two great locations, Mandarin and Ponte Vedra Beach. Go see them. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. It's a fact. QC Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your own body's ability to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, but now this life-changing treatment is available for you. So you can walk and run and climb stairs and play golf and move again pain-free. 904-274-5522. That's QC Kinetics. Call them today. Transmission troubles? I'm Robin Sidbury, owner of Action Transmission Specialist on Merrill Road. So come in and see how we can help solve your transmission troubles. We service all makes and models. Remember, get traction. Call Action at 744-0755. Hey, Hicken here. You know I'm a hometown guy. There's nothing like home in Jacksonville, Florida. What a great place to live. Spring is here and everything is green and blooming. But that means I'll have to cut the lawn soon. It also means that we'll need to do some deep cleaning inside the house. That's where Zero Res comes in. Zero Res can clean your telegraph, the carpets, your area rug, furniture, and more. Right now, they're offering 25% off telegraph cleaning. Zero Res, man, spelling forwards or backwards, the right way to clean. Zero Res. They know their sports. So let's go out there and play our best. And so do you. Most of all, let's have fun. Lauren, Taylor, and Mia. Helmets and heels. Brightened by First Coast Lighting and Fans. And presented by Underwood Jewelers. Tuesday nights at 6 on 1010XL. Slacker Palmin. Yeah, hey, listen, I need a plumber over here right now. Yeah, well, we don't have any openings for about two weeks. Two weeks? Yep. I was just changing the shower head and the water line broke and it's flying everywhere. All right, one week. Uh, what if I... Throw you an extra hundred bucks to come now. What's the address? It's Oh, I guess he changed his mind. If you've got a leak that can't wait a week, call Roland Reese Plumbing and fix your plumbing problems fast. PlumbingJacksonville.com. I'm here with Danny Van Sickle, director of the Electrical Training Alliance. Danny, tell me about your program. Hey, Rick. We're a five-year electrical apprenticeship. Our students start out making over $40,000 a year and right now graduate making over $90,000 a year, including benefits. There is no tuition or no student debt. You just have to apply and get accepted. Did you say no tuition and no student debt? You heard that right, Rick. Once you're accepted to the program, your only cost are the books and the course fees. About $800 a year. That sounds like an amazing opportunity. How can I learn more? Just go to ETAJAX.org and you can apply there. Apply by May 23rd. You don't have to be a football star to get a signing bonus. The team at Republic Services needs your skills, and they're paying up to $5,000 for you to join the roster. You'll be joining a winner. As an essential business, the Republic Services trucks have not stopped rolling with hourly and weekly pay and better benefits and vacation packages than the rest of the league. Driver trainees, $1,000 sign-on bonus. CDL drivers, $3,000. Diesel mechanics, $5,000 bonus. Join the winning team at Republic Services today. Visit republicservices.com. Equal opportunity employee. Hi, I'm Sean Monahan from Monahan Jewelers in Atlantic Beach. Since 1977, we've been Jacksonville's local family jeweler with a beautiful selection of fine jewelry and certified diamonds. But we're also Jacksonville's leading buyer of gold and silver and diamonds from the public. Gold has recently hit an all-time high at over $2,100 per ounce and hasn't been at this level in 13 years. Pay bills, buy something fun. Now is the time to sell your gold for cash and get top dollar at Monahan Jewelers in Atlantic Beach or book online at monahanjewelry.com. When you think about a metal roof, think Prime Roofing. Prime Roofing is Jacksonville's local contractor that manufactures, fabricates, and installs metal roofs. Schedule today at primeroofingfl.com. That's primeroofingfl.com. Jumbo Shrimp Baseball presented by FIS with tickets starting at just 5 bucks returns this month to 121 Financial Ballpark. 
Opening weekend is set for March 29th through the 31st. Come early for the opening day street carnival and stay for the fireworks. Tickets for all 75 home games are on sale now. JackShrimp.com, Jumbo Shrimp Baseball, affordable, family fun. Ten Ten XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars, protecting you and your family. Call three nine six fifty five fifty five Jacksonville. A little smooth music right here this morning on a Tuesday. Good to be here with you, hanging out on the drill. Boys are back together from different locations across this great land of ours. <clears throat> the Jacksonville Jaguars have been 9-8 and eight the last two years, which to me is kind of middle of the road. Like two good years. I, mean, I don't know what team y'all been watching for yeah. the last 30. Well, so if that's going to make it, we're going to accept that then? We just, oh, well, I'm they're no good. I'm going to accept where so. we are to, to, yeah. as to what we got to do to get there versus mm-hmm. where we – have been for ninety percent of the time. That's all I mean. Yeah, I would say when you're eight and three, and you have opportunity when you're a slam dunk to be in the postseason, nine and eight two straight years ain't good enough. But if you want to keep it in perspective, that will be fine. With all that said, it's time to get hectic. The NFL. Power poll is some, out. You know, we got to do some guessing here. What teams improved in free agency? Um, I, well, uh, I, clap it up uh, for the power poll. They finally had the Kansas City Chiefs won, which is where you should be. Are we doing the Jacks guess chance. or we're not doing that anymore? Yeah, go ahead. Guess away. I'm going to say uh, 18. 18, E. All right. You know what? We, uh... What were we the first time? Do we know? Does anyone remember? Was it 20-something? No one knows. It's been a while, so. I think Houston's going to keep rising. They're going to be even higher than they were before free agency. Rising. I'm going to go 15. All right. Well, you know what we're going to do? Because Jeff's started at 18. We're going to go backwards forwards. Let's run it. Depressing. Uh-huh. Carolina is awful. Oof. Big year for Bryce, huh? They let Brian Burns go. So, good luck to them. The Patriots are 31. The Arizona Cardinals are 30. Commanders are 29. The Giants are 28. The Broncos are 27. The Chargers are 26. They've lost a lot. Yeah, let me tell you what's going to happen, though. Harbaugh is going to get the best out of Justin Herbert. That's one thing that guy is good at, man. Well, he's been good, really. Yeah, but he's going to get them to win. He pounds those shoulder pads, and off they go, and they play good football. All right. I don't disagree. I, I'm they bullish. Kept, I thought it was interesting that they kept the, the the Chargers kept their defense together as best they could, and they let those offensive pieces go. Keenan Allen, uh, the, the the Austin Eckler, Mike yeah. Williams. I mean, that's yeah. a complete overall. I understand. But some guys kind of stepped up, and it's all about if Herbert, Gerald Everett gone. If Herbert doesn't get hurt, yeah, they they would have hung around that Jaguar territory probably a lot of last year, and they got rid of the biggest problem. The biggest anchor was that that. Very poor math skilled head coach of theirs. Yes, hundred percent agree. I th- I think if anybody can stop the Chargers from Charger Ring, yeah, it's Harbaugh. I, th- I by I, the way, I'm a, he he was a winner in the 49ers. Uh, somebody stole our bit yesterday, which tells you that we do great work here on the uh, drill. We really should be national, but Thank we're you. not begging for it. We don't care. But they. Uh, 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 did a whole article on dissecting the coaches and their positioning and such like we did here oh, on the program. Okay. I was yeah. like, hey, there you go. what were they listening? All right. The t- I saw someone just steal our bit where they did. We did it on TV years ago where we did the 32 coaches if they got in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> we that's, had, that's, Jack was big on yeah, our we had, we had a Jack. We had Jack then, so that was a fun bit to have. Yeah. We got him to the Final Four. I'm, oh, big old Mike Tice may have beat him. I don't remember. Yeah, who became an assistant for Jack. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, the Titans are 25, the Raiders are 24, the Vikings are 23, the Saints are 22, the Chicago Bears are 21, the Hawks are 20, the Falcons are 19. Kirk Cousins is a big deal. All big right, deal. I, I had what, 18? 18. Said? Uh-huh. The New York Jets. 
The New York Jets are 18. Wow. The Bucks are 17. Wow. There's 14 playoff teams, gang, so uh, your pessimism out there is not being matched right now by the Power Bowl. The Colts are 16. Oh, okay. he, he, he got it. You looked, didn't you? I don't even know where All to that look. time on the sand yesterday, you are deep <laughs> in your phone. <laughs> yeah. Accusations We're going to do a Power Bowl tomorrow. I'm going to get it right on the head. Right on the number. Yeah, I was going to say, we can't be 14, can we? The Jacksonville Jaguars, whose way too early ranking was 14. We went down a spot. Well, that's under tough. the radar move, signing Travis Gibson. He's an upgrade over Chase on and Smoot as a number three so, pass rusher. So is Daniel Hicken if they signed him. I got a sack, Jeff! I could take the best high school defensive end in town and uh-huh. let him play Caleb on Chase on sta- uh, snaps this year uh-huh. and get the same production. Get the same production. Oof. All right, from the top down, you got Kansas City at one. Um, Detroit, two. Their best under the radar moves, keeping their both coordinators, which was a, a bit surprising. Most thought one of them would for sure go. Both were interviewing, neither went. Does anybody think Detroit? Uh, well, I, guess, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, they're they're a position. I They've like gone Detroit. One step yeah. Each year, boy, they they had a shot at beating San Fran. They did, and they beat Kansas City in the opener. They're yeah. up there. They, if they can 100%. accept themselves as a good football team, yeah, I was, now they seem you're like right. they can. The key is to not take a step back. Well, and, they're good. and that's Their a challenge. Their quarterbacks aging. They're not riding the wave of an of, of Burrow or no, Mahomes but, but, or Allen. But they've gotten a little better each with Campbell, yeah. right? Um, San Fran, San Fran is down to three, which is, you know, releasing, releasing defensive end Eric Armstead was difficult for the Niners. He's a very good player. But they found and a way. By the to, way, could Armstead be that guy outside that we, and not be inside? Well, he could. He could move around for sure, right? Clay has moved around. Uh, the Ravens are four. Oof. It's hard to believe in the Ravens, man. Yeah. I, they, they just, you know, they have every well, I think, advantage. I think, I think most of us would believe that the Ravens will be in the playoffs. Yeah. But then what do they do in the playoffs? Well, last year they, they lost, right? The AFC got, Championship yeah, game with yeah. the MVP. Who At gets, home. At Lamar, home. Lamar Jackson in the postseason does, is not the MVP. Gang, I'm going to tell you this as a guy who lived through you youngins. Uh, there's nothing worse. I think I nothing worse in NFL football. And I'll say this with the thought about how bad it is to lose a Super Bowl and the teams that disappear when they lose a Super Bowl than losing your conference championship game at home. It is a You bit, are so sky high. This is the day. Mm-hmm. This is the day you all say to your fan friends, this is what we've been waiting for. This is why we spent thousands of dollars. I got this New Jersey for just today. I'm at the stadium at 7 a.m. for the 1 o'clock kick. Uh, well, it's 3 and 6. This is the day that we are going to go to the Super Bowl. Now, we're gonna, we'll are gonna. we think financially we're already breaking it down. Can we do it? Can we get tickets? How do we get there? You know, I'm driving. I don't care, but we're going. This is the day that we finally get to the Super Bowl. We're at home. That place is going to be rocking. You spill your guts for four hours. You scream and yell and rant and rave. And you lose. It is the worst. I think that was here. Yeah. 96, we were on the road. 17 on the road. Those were horrible because we had we had the lead in the 17 game in New England. But but that 99 game will will stay with me forever. For sure. Forever. <clears throat> if you were here then and either in the crowd you know, or in you the town. You know what I'm talking you, about. Th- that place, <clears throat> you, you look at sometimes some of the struggles we've had yeah. attendance-wise to fill the stadium, oh, to, to fill man. it full of Jaguars fans. Oh, so that, good. That Titans game, uh, an hour before the game started, we were doing pregame on the field. It was hard to hear. It was an hour and a half it even was before. Great. It, it was, was so People good, were yeah. in their in their seat, God, lathered up, great. and 45 minutes before kickoff. And that was when the stadium sat 76. 70, yeah, it was, yeah, it was fun. And there yeah, were no were seats available. It'd be nice to make another run like that. Uh, by the way, it does – let's come back on the other side. Kind of, a, you know, kind of quietly. We're not trumpeting each and every yeah. dotting of the I, but, you know uh, – uh, uh, we talked. We we talked about the stadium deal. Mm-hmm. I mean, shoot, when we were on our uh, out in the field, you know, we we we've spoken about it with local Jacksonville councilmen that are very important. We've 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 talked about the Jag side, this side, where we might play. There's stuff going on out there. I think we're yeah. going to get something more official in the next 
month and a half, don't you? Well, you need to. Yeah, well, let's uh, kind of an update on that. Oh, and okay. I am going to look into a crystal ball, Dan, oh. and I'm going to give you I'm going to give you a a, a slice uh-huh. of uh-huh. the season Talk opener this year. Okay. I'm going to give you a an, a, a a guaranteed bird's eye wow. Look into the future of Ooh. a specific oh football play that's going to happen on opening day. <laughs> That's that next. Is. This right. is The Drill. It's a Cat and Truck Accessories Tuesday. The Drill. From the studios at Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. Now, another classic moment in Jags history. Maddox. Intercepted. It's Machine Mathis to win it for Jacksonville. This is the home of your team, 1010XL. Stop paying for exterior paint that does not protect your home or business. Rhino Shield does. Rhino Shield's beautiful, durable coatings never chip, crack, or peel. Never. They backed it up with a 25 year warranty. 25 years! No mold or mildew or algae growth that some of you get on the sides of your home. Water intrusion doesn't happen when you're protected with Rhino Shield. It fights assault, corrosion, Class A fire rating. And it saves you thousands compared to the cost of repainting over and over again. Your home, your business, it's never been easier. With 0% financing, up to 20% off right now, it is so simple to paint your home with Rhino Shield. Here's all you do to get started. Go to rhinoshieldjax.com, rhinoshieldjax.com, book that free estimate today, and make a decision that will change your life. Rhino Shield! Two rock legacies celebrate two iconic albums. Live and Stone Temple Pilots. Very special guest, Soul Asylum. The 30th anniversary of Throwing Copper and Verbal, the Jubilee Tour. Friday, August 30th at Daly's Place. Tickets on sale now at LiveNation.com. Don't miss Live and Stone Temple Pilots. Hey folks, there are trucks, and then there's the truck, the GMC Sierra, with available features like the V8 engine, the ultimate luxury interior, and of course, the available world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. Mimnick Buick GMC has the largest inventory of GMC Sierras in Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia. Now this month, you can save up to $10,000 off select new GMC Sierra 1500s, or enjoy rates as low as 2.9% APR financing. Maybe you're looking for the perfect SUV. Well, you can save thousands on the popular GMC Terrain, plus rates as low as 0.9% APR for well-qualified buyers. And no payments for 90 days. You get it. You want a good SUV or a good truck, you want to head to Nimnik Buick GMC. That's Nimnik, your friends in the car business since 1941. The flagship station of the Jaguars. WJXL AM Jacksonville Beach. WJXL FM Jacksonville Beach. Hey, this is Stevie Beechers of Beechers Plumbing. Growing up in Jacksonville, I was always proud when my dad would point at a building and say, I did the plumbing for that. That's the same kind of pride we instill in every plumber here at Beechers Plumbing. And that's the kind of pride you can expect when you hire Beechers Plumbing for your home or business. Right now, we're doing New Year's specials to get your project going. To find out how we can help you, visit BeatrosPlumbing.com. B-E-T-R-O-S Plumbing.com. Beatrice Plumbing, here to help. Attention men and women. If you would like to get your hair back, then you need to listen to some of our clients. John in Orange Park. IHRS showed me what was causing my hair loss and helped stop it. Call IHRS now at 904-777-IHRS. Find out how to grow your hair back with a free hair and scalp examination. Mike from Bay Meadows. I finally found the most experienced company who could restore my hair. Now I have hair where I had none before. Results guaranteed. Diane from Ponte Vedra. Now I have what lotions couldn't give me. Thick, beautiful hair. Find out why you're losing your hair and how to grow your hair back. Call 904-777-IHRS for a limited time free hair and scalp examination. Now my hair will grow for the rest of my life. Thanks, IHRS. Thank you, IHRS. Thanks, IHRS, for giving me my hair back. Hurry, this free examination, normally $199, is yours for free and good only through Sunday. For your free examination, call IHRS at 904-777-IHRS. That's 904-777-4477. Call now. 
Hey, Hicken here. You know I'm a hometown guy. Nothing like home in Jacksonville, FLA. Greatest place in the country to live. And spring is here. And everything is green and blooming. It also means we need to do some deep cleaning inside the house. Spring cleaning, we call it. That's where Zero Res comes in. Zero Res to clean your tile and grout, your carpet, your area rugs, furniture, and more. Right now, gang, Zero Res is offering 25% off tile and grout cleaning. That's 25% off tile and grout cleaning. Zero Res, you spell it forward. Zero Res, you spell it backward. It's the right way to clean. Yo, E to the T here, and if you're still in the market for a sports book to call home, bet that non-stop action of the madness with my bookie. My bookie is your one-stop shop for all your sports betting and casino needs, complete with that Vegas life experience right from that cellular device of yours, my boy. Take your viewing experience to the next level with real-time live betting that lets you stream and bet the games right from the website. Sign up now and take advantage of the generous welcome bonus on your first deposit all the way up to $1,000. Put in two, get back three. Ready to play instantly using promo code 1010XL. And the fun, don't stop there. You'll get up-to-the-minute odds, props, and this week's expert predictions to help you decide where to put that cash at. And the best part about my bookie, you can bet anything, anytime, anywhere. And don't forget that promo code 1010XL. Come on, somebody. PRP treatment is kind of the thing these days. And in many cases, it eliminates the need for surgery. This is Sheridan Tootin, and my experience with PRP from Southeast Orthopedic Specialist has been nothing short of great. I'm really feeling much better now. Ask your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist doctor about PRP treatment. This is Dr. Kevin Murphy with Southeast Orthopedic Specialist, where athletes are treated like pros. Relieve pain and get back to life. Southeast Orthopedic Specialist. Here's your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update sponsored by Awaken 180 Weight Loss. NFL annual meetings are going on in Orlando. Head coach of the Jaguars, Doug Peterson, commented on the team acquiring Jacksonville native and former Patriot quarterback Mac Jones. He knows the expectation coming in and, and what we're, as a staff, what we're, what we're looking for. As the Knowles go about spring camp looking for a replacement for QB Jordan Davis, head coach Mike Norvell commented on his QB's vying for the position. Uh, I've been pleased, man. Yeah. Like, there's been really good work, you know, trying to make those guys hurt. It's, it's, a, it's a good group. The Sunshine State baseball rivals come to Jacksonville for the Sunshine Showdown. Florida and Florida State square off on the college baseball diamond this evening, renewing Jacksonville's annual tradition at one-to-one financial ballpark. First pitch is set for 6 p.m. That's your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update. I'm Sam Nelson. Currently, it's 8, 12, and it's 66 degrees. Time and temp brought to you by Bueller Air Conditioning. Stay cooler with Bueller. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Uh, uh, Jeff, some breaking news this morning as we learned that Baltimore's Key Bridge, Francis Scott Key Bridge, has collapsed. A ship hit one of the trusses or whatever you call it. Uh, Mark Woods has tweeted this out. I think this is interesting. Imagine waking up and learning the heart bridge is gone. Baltimore's key bridge has the third longest continuous truss span in the world. A main span of 1,200 feet, 110 feet longer than the main span of Jacksonville's heart bridge. Heart bridge is second biggest. Heart bridge is fourth. Huh? Third and fourth. Oh, I wow. did not know that. Isn't that amazing? Aren't the heart and Matthews real, real super similar? You would think. Huh. You would think, but man. I always, I always feel for... Uh... Remember, did a ship hit the Matthews Bridge a few years yeah, back? Yeah, we've had that happen. Bounced into yeah. it, but it didn't It's collapse. been more than a few years now, I think. Yeah. You know who I always uh, felt for? I don't know this guy. Who, Jeffrey? Story. Uh, e, tell me if you know who this is. And uh, You too, uh, Dan. John T. Alsop. You ever heard that name? I know mm-hmm. that name. Yeah, you know that name, right? Yeah. John, John T. Alsop. Uh, you know uh-uh. who John T. Alsop is? Uh-uh. That's why I feel sorry for him, because... I mean, old Matthews, it's the Matthews Bridge. That's it. Heart, it's the Heart Bridge. And Acosta, it's the Acosta Bridge. Old John T. Alsop, nope, it's the Main Street Bridge, buddy. John T. got screwed. Sorry, John T. Hey, John. You're just going to be the Main Street Bridge, my man. Yeah. So, shout out to the Alsop family. We haven't forgotten you. The reason you know that is because you will probably, you've noticed it subconsciously on the side of the bridge as you go up over it. But mm-hmm. John T. Alsop, I would suggest, got screwed. 
He did get kind of screwed on that. I mean, you know, why don't we call that one the Bargeway Bridge or that? Maybe the, we could know. name it the Alsop Stadium in honor of John T. Yeah, but whatever it takes to get the team to stay here. There's not a whole lot of like, uh, I've got a proactive into the future pest of the day that's coming up in a second. But okay. since we are talking about downtown, uh, downtown. construction, it doesn't, it doesn't take much, does it? Um, it listen, we're not going day to day updates, but like the the the. the Mike Weinstein's appeared before the council. Uh, He's up uh, with the negotiations. Uh. They've got these guys are meeting. Everything is in the, in a row. There there are no hiccups. And so it just seems like we could get some sort of formal announcement or vote or whatever that next official step is to get this thing on track. And then you know outside of this, and there'll be some hurt feelings, some pushback, and though somebody will protest this, that, or the yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you can take a second to see into the future to 2028 in this unbelievable facility, we're going to be able to enjoy. Oh yeah. I mean, the dad got to happen. The game day experience. And by the way, everybody, I, I've seen this of late. Other cities now are starting to posture, like Kansas City. We talked about they they're they already threatened, uh, which was weak. But there was just another one yesterday. I saw that they said we can do a who was it? We can do a billion dollar, a two billion dollar new stadium or a billion dollar renovation. It just came out, and I can't think of who it is. Anyway. Uh, so it's 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 uh, it never stops. But we have we have the oldest stadium in the NFL. It's time we all agree with that. And we when we talked to Ron Salem, uh, he said he needs it by May first. And we'll we're, see that we're getting there. We're, we're steaming the along towards that. All right. So Salem, um, yeah, we talked at it at one of our remotes. There, we'll begin meeting with Mike Weinstein, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Jaguars president Mark Lamping, and Council consultant Michael Hugh, which mm-hmm. is smart to get people involved with this that know what how it works, mm-hmm. uh, weekly to receive direct negotiation updates once Weinstein brings a tentative agreement, I'm assuming, to the council in May. He said the council can take as much time as it needs to review it. Salem specifically requested a 6 to 8 day council cycle to amend the deal, and that's where he told us about mm-hmm. being in early May. During that time, the city's going to request some community feedback, so that's where the there will be some contentiousness fired up. And outside of our Johnny, I, I also my- felt like the plan that we're sort of hearing is where they're only – they're going to play in a play away for a year yeah, instead of like, two, and like, then make it the like, second one a little bit. Yeah, I, what I've heard is like playing the tw- like they'll play at home twenty four, twenty five. Mm-hmm. Probably do some pre construction stuff maybe in twenty five right. that doesn't affect the. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then twenty six, they would play at home while renovation was going on and only fit like forty thousand. Right. And then twenty seven, play the complete season away from home, and then open it to uh, you know brand spanking new facility. Twenty seven would be our Super Bowl year. in fifty eight. <laughs> I mean, into 20 yet, right? Oof. <laughs> I and don't then, care. And I'll then, take and it. then it looks like, and I think we've talked about it, right? All ro- all signs point to Orlando. Yeah. There's right? no other real options because I think Gaines was going to be doing some renovations yeah. too. In Orlando, by the way, they're talking about renovating their stadium. Yeah. I, was, I hope they're going to do that in these next two years so yeah. that at least when the, our fan base travels down there, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. it's it's in the best uh, possible condition. All right. Now, Jeff, when you're alone and life is making you lonely, are you, you can always go downtown. <laughs> Okay. When you've got worries, all the noise and the hurry seems to help, I know, downtown. That seems to add to those things. Just listen to the music of the traffic in the city. Linger on the sidewalk where the neon signs are pretty. How can you lose? Noise. E, that's a Petula Clark downtown. You might want to call that up. It's a wonderful song. Go ahead, Jeff. Um, downtown, <laughs> people. Um, Very good. <laughs> I have today's proactive... Um, glimpse into the future. Okay. Pest of the day. Oh. A guarantee this that will a... lead to either a Monday morning um, yeah. rant, yeah. you throwing a foam pillow at yeah. your HDTV, yeah. fans revolting in the studio. Let me set for you, Dan, through a simulated play by play. Yeah. And if, by the way, if you're talking about what I think, yeah. you're right. It's this 100%. Yeah. This will happen week one. Yeah. Okay. First, I'll tell you the pest of the day is brought to you. But no pest problems when you have Mission Pest Solutions. So call 944-PEST. You'll speak directly with the owners at Mission Pest Solutions. That means Jacksonville native Russell Skinner and 10-year Navy pilot Tyler Terranez. These guys have set it up with the best customer service. And when you call 944-PEST, you'll get 50% off your initial pest or termite protection service just for listening to 1010XL. I trust them to protect my home. And you can, too, with Mission Pest Solutions, 944 for pest. All right. <clears throat> Let me work on my play by play. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> oh, wow. I'm going to change the uh, E for a spice of a variety. I will change like the 
particulars and the team and the specific player the first time so I can be versatile. I'll reset a different scenario here in the 8 o'clock hour. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, Dan, let me take you. Mm-hmm. It is Sunday, mm-hmm. September mm-hmm. 9th. Okay. It's a season opener. Mm. The Jacksonville Jaguars. Are, Let's go. Yeah, we are here. It's hot. We are opening the season I ain't against. Never scared. We are opening. I ain't never scared, Bone Crusher. We are opening the season against our division rivals, the hated Tennessee Titans. Yes. Ridley, you suck. Sorry, Junie Bug. Oh my. It is. <laughs> it. We have them backed up. It's fourth and seven. The Jags are protecting a two-point lead. It's fourth and 17. Ridley, we're going to win. You want to bet? It's fourth and 17 (laughs) from the 47-yard line. Okay. The Jaguars trying to protect this lead at home. Can you make it fourth and 14? Okay, fourth and 14. It'll make the story better. All right, right, fourth and 14 from the 47. Yeah. Uh, They got to go for it. Levis back to pass. Yeah. Calvin Ridley comes across the middle. Oh, no. Hits him on the crossing route. Uh-huh. Calvin bows his route out a little bit. He's making a beeline for the sideline. Cisco gets him. Foyer Alua can oh. actually has him in his sights. He's tracking him. Is Calvin going to get it the first down? Alua can slides in, grabs him by the waist, takes him down. Yeah. Three yards short of yeah. the first down. We win. win. Wait, what's that flag? <laughs> what's that flag? Here comes what? the flag. What is that flag? Illegal hip. Tackle, number 33 defense. That's full. 15 yards, first down. You're crazy. <laughs> That's happening. First Hockey week. you're dead. Although I saw the NFL backtracking. Did you see what Troy Vincent said? This doesn't make sense. No. What do he you said, mean? I don't think there'll actually be very many calls. This will be more of like a warning and a fine as a consequence. Well, that's what is that? Are you telling me you're not going to find it like it's uh, like oh, it's horse like penalized? Collar? Good. Well, but I'm just saying then what, maybe that him. should be. That's I'll burying the lead, isn't it? You can't. How, this is a how do you play. tackle? It's terrible. There's no way to yeah, not it's tackle. Terrible. You grab a guy, and sometimes you fall down. How, As, you and by the an way, angle. and by the way, here's what I'll tell my guys: guys, offensive guys, come in here. Meet yeah, him, quick. Turn meet your him. body. Ball, ball, guys. Yeah, teach them. Guys, who get the ball. Teach them. When em. they tackle you, you go down. You stay down. If you feel like it's any way form close to a hip check, you writhe in pain. You lay down. E, yeah. Am I right? Yeah. And that's you what's fake that. Yeah, yeah. You fake that. You lay there. You 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 roll over. You know. You let him slide down you, if you can do it, and and get the flag. It's got to be a flag. I would assume. I don't know for sure, but I would think it would be. But yeah, I I, I that was dumb. That's overreaction. It's well, plus I understand protecting your. Yeah, I keep giving Devin Lloyd's number. You're right. It's 23 for Luke. I keep saying 33. I'm trying to do a lot here. I'm faking news. Oh. Um, I did, though. I did. I, I caught myself doing it earlier, and I did it again. Uh, 23, Luke, and 33, Lloyd. I'm a pretty good uniform. I can mess some stuff up. Uniform numbers, I'm usually decent at. Um, but, yeah, it's it, it doesn't – the players are so opposed, Dan. At some point, you got to let ballers ball. If they right. tell you no on right. this, you got to right. try. And by the way, where is this just this this avalanche of this injury? I saw it happen to Mark Andrews. That's terrible. But I also see, I saw Trevor Lawrence get thrown to the ground and 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 sprain his shoulder. It's going to happen. It's a physical game. This is not such an egregious, dangerous play. It's not a crackback block. It's not a chop. It's not a blow to the head. It's ridiculous. J.J. Watt's right. Go ahead and fast forward to wearing a rope around your west with flags attached to it. Mm. We're going to be two-hand touched. The players are mortified with this decision almost across the board, especially the defensive players. I mean, enough already. I'm telling you, it's, it's not – we will be watching the National Flag Football League in 2050. Mm. Contact will be gone. They will try like the, the might – to, to keep it as in... It, They'll lose the game. There'll then. be some physicality. Yeah. But tackling and throwing people to the ground, I think, I, I'm not sure it's going to last. All right, one more update on the uh, bridge. Uh, 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 one resident, catastrophic for many reasons, and not to mention the loss of life, I think, with the cars that were... There was like an explosion when it hit. It's, it's an incredible video. It's all different views. This is the key bridge in Baltimore. Uh, the harbor's blocked. Uh... You're not going to get any more new car deliveries. Amazon is on the other side of the river, so there's going to be all kinds of the beltways uh, uh, are going to be a parking lot. Tunnels are going to be over jammed now because that bridge is a key bridge that connects. So 
uh, that'll be happening as well. All right, we uh, brunch with the tour. We got that coming up. Yeah. Okay. We got that next. The uh, Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the drill. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. This could be the piebald syndrome. But the piebald syndrome is when the metal in your mouth collects radio signals. You're kidding. It happens quite often, but usually with 1010XL. Certainly facing interesting economic times. I can't speak for all of us. For me, comforting to know my money's in good hands with ITP Partners. Jacksonville guys taking care of my Jacksonville money look gang. You got to find people you trust to invest your money, right? I don't know how to do it. I don't know differences between 401ks and SEP RRAs, but I have experts who help me. And the reason why I know they're experts is because my money's growing, man. And it's been growing since I've been with ITP Partners. That's Reed Wingate. That's Dan Abel. That's Reagan Wright. That's Jeff Hartman. That's Chris Bryan. Those are the ITP Partners. It's from Junibug to Drew Drew. It's three generations of Hickens. It's family. It's friends. They listen. They give us individualized strategies where our goals become the priority. Get in the game, guys. ITP Partners always there to help. You need info? Chris at ITPPartners.com. Chris at ITPPartners.com. Or call 312-9751. 312-9751. ITP Partners, gang. My financial partners for life. Attention, men and women. If you would like to get your hair back, then you need to listen to some of our clients. John in Orange Park. IHRS showed me what was causing my hair loss and helped stop it. Call IHRS now at 904-777-IHRS. Find out how to grow your hair back with a free hair and scalp examination. Mike from Bay Meadows. I finally found the most experienced company who could restore my hair. Now I have hair where I had none before. Results guaranteed. Diane from Ponte Vedra. Now I have what lotions couldn't give me. Thick, beautiful hair. Find out why you're losing your hair and how to grow your hair back. Call 904-777-IHRS for a limited time free hair and scalp examination. Now my hair will grow for the rest of my life. Thanks, IHRS. Thank you, IHRS. Thanks, IHRS, for giving me my hair back. Hurry, this free examination, normally $199, is yours for free and good only through Sunday. For your free examination, call IHRS at 904-777-IHRS. That's 904-777-4477. Call now. A lot of companies will tell you they're the best. At Custom Tree Surgeons, they show you every time. Custom Tree Surgeons has built an all-pro team. Every tree service professional has years of experience, continually trained and certified. They know what, when, and how to handle any job. It gets done efficiently and quickly by a team of experts. So for tree trimming, removal, stump grinding, and emergency services, forget any name other than Custom Tree Surgeons. There is no job they can't do better. Go to website customtreesurgeons.com. That's customtreesurgeons.com. And let them show you how the job is supposed to get done. At Honda, we appreciate all the comparisons to other vehicles. And no matter how many times they compare their vehicles to a Honda, only a Honda is a Honda. Remember, value, quality, safety, there is no substitute. Visit your local Honda dealer now and experience the difference. Ackerman Cancer Center now offers total body MRI, the latest industry-leading technology. Just one non-invasive scan provides a complete picture of your health to detect and monitor cancer with precision at ackermancancercenter.com. Roland Reich Plumbing, there when you need them. Big or small plumbing problem, call Roland Reich Plumbing anytime at 260-7059. 260-7059, where quality and experience count. 1010XL celebrates athletic and academic greatness. Listen for the High School Scholar Athlete Wednesdays on the Frangie Show. Brought to you by Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. And the Plumbers and Pipe Fitters Local Union 234 on 1010XL. Are you 18 years or older, just got married, just got divorced, or have children? Listen up. Have you done your last will and estate planning? If you have questions, call Matt Hinson with the Hinson Law Firm. Reach him at 527-1700, offices Jacksonville, Florida. And don't let the state decide your fate. I'm Taylor Rose with our Remedy Staffing Westside office off of Normandy Boulevard. We are helping great people find great jobs. Remedy has helped some of the best employers in Jacksonville find talented job seekers like you for over 25 years. Our current job openings range from entry-level distribution center pickers to equipment operators. Apply today at RemedyGoodJobs.com. Don't wait. Apply at RemedyGoodJobs.com now. 
Hello, First Coast. I'm sure by now you have seen our bright green GFL trucks and containers throughout the greater Jacksonville area. We're an industry leader in solid waste and would love the opportunity to earn your business. We're committed to customer service, reliability, and have an unwavering focus on safety. Whether commercial or construction, let us haul your waste away. Call 904-760-5880 to get a quote today from GFL Green for Life. Ladies and gentlemen, boaters and landlubbers, friends, four-legged and two, this is Lisa the Boatanista with a huge announcement. Freedom Boat Club is opening a brand new fourth location. That's right, Freedom Boat Club St. Augustine Shipyard is now open. Now members can enjoy unlimited access at Julington Creek, Jacksonville Beach, St. Augustine Comanche Cove, and St. Augustine Shipyard. Freedom Boat Club members also enjoy reciprocal access to over 400 locations across the world. There's never been a better time to join. We are offering our biggest discount ever to celebrate our brand new location. We own and maintain an entire fleet of boats. Join the club and as often as you like, you can do water sports, inshore fishing, offshore fishing, sandbar hopping, dining on the water, or just cruising around town. Visit us at the St. Augustine Shipyard or stop by any of our locations to see what the Boat Sierge experience is all about. Visit us at freedomboatclub.com. This is Keith Catlin for Catlin Truck Accessories, and we are so blessed to be in business for over 100 years. Over 100 years of the best product and customer service means you can count on Catlin. From rolling lock bed covers to Lear toppers to cam locker toolboxes, Catlin Truck Accessories has you covered when it comes to your truck or van. We do those too. Got a fleet of vehicles? We can outfit them all. Who can you count on? Count on Catlin. One name, one location, 100 years. You can count on Catlin. Code 10XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396 5555. Jacksonville. Now, brunch with the tour. Brought to you by Clearwater Irrigation and Drainage 2 and Art of Natural Stone on 1010XL. There he is, the executive vice president of the uh, agronomy in horticulture. <laughs> Horty. Still working on some grass over here. What's going on, guys? What's up, Stuart I'm, Moore? How great. are you, friend? I'm great. Uh, yeah. Coming back up for air. Okay. Shut it down a few days last week. You heard me, Jared. Yeah. A couple days. He off. did. He was leaving here, uh, and he was not answering any questions. Yeah. No apologies. No, oh, really? No explanations. Yeah. I'm 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 going home and go to sleep. He said. I too felt the need to do the same thing. Yeah. After your week at players? After my week at the players, it was a long, arduous yeah. task for me. I came back and did the show by myself for a week. So, you know. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. And we have a winner. <laughs> Good Lord. Did you get your backpack? Are you are you hoarding a couple backpacks? Mm-mm. What are you talking about? So you each got two custom players' championship backpacks. We love our key mm-hmm. media. Mm-hmm. Uh, I gave both to you. So you gave yeah. me two? Yeah. Yeah, if you give it away, my backpack. <laughs> he didn't give me. Is two. that thing on you eBay? Gave it away the backpack. Is she on eBay already? Is eBay still a thing? I'm dating myself. I gifted it. Yeah. On Craigslist. Well, you better be be gifting yours to me then. So it sounds like. <laughs> I gave that one to Brooks. What just happened? Did he seriously give away my backpack? <laughs> <laughs> can you come back? Can you come strong next week? Can you find yeah. a Miranda. straggler there somewhere? Yeah. Maybe Miranda Rossum. Oh. <laughs> You're wow. up. Wow. Another backpack coming to ten ten. Good mean, lord. Well, I'm a Pete. I was looking forward to the backpack it's after he nice told backpack. me. I need a backpack. It's a perfect timing. You, you pay for that backpack off the mm. proverbial street. That's okay. about 140 All right. Well, it's a solid backpack. It's in the truck. Shout out to de- Oh, it's in the truck. Had, there it is. Had a development here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, now that you've sort of let out the secret. and <laughs> See, this is a key mistake by Stewie Moore. What happened? Huh? Well, what did he do? Well, I'm, gonna, I'm going to because he's... Insinuating me on the spot. In case you did give it away. I know you're not Which prepared to talk about I know, I know he does living here. Well, I, I, got I, a key, I got a key valve spark question. Oh. It's the end of an era for a former great golfer who just is no good anymore. Oh, who's but that? We'll get to that in a minute because no, first I, like I want to embarrass Stuart Moore, oh, which no. is even more fun. Perfect. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. Um, you know, I appreciate you calling us key media, but there are other members. And so now everybody in the media is going to come back and go, uh, I didn't get a backpack. <laughs> I did. That, 
That's I did his have punishment. one guy who's a little bit fringe. Who uh-huh. was like, I've seen these backpacks. They're uh-huh. probably in the fan shop, right? And I was like, that's exactly where they are. Uh-huh. No backpacks in the fan shop. Good call. <laughs> you can walk back to 17 and go take a look. Yeah, what? Yeah. Uh, and I only noticed this because I heard that I had him on my squad this week. But uh, JT is toast. Yeah, JT's not playing. I mean, the well. guy's on the leaderboard. He comes in with a 79. Yeah. Is that what he shot? Yeah. Yeah. Saturday? I was yeah. going to be 80 there for a bit. Good gosh, One man. Of the what worst is... displays of putting in recent PGA Tour But it's, all, it's all parts of his game. It's too. all but the putting. was. I mean, it's, the guy literally but that's not the, I mean, could not will it in the hole from outside three feet. But that's not the only reason, right? I mean, there's been other parts. Yeah, like, he's I'm gone sure. out and shot 80. Yeah, flat. I, mean, I mean, he's not, like, flagging again, he it. Should, he, he, he didn't. When was his last win? Do you know? Oh, God. The top of your head, all the He didn't win last it's, year. Right. And, he, and he, bar- he shouldn't have been on the Ryder Cup team, although he played okay there. But Played okay there. Yeah. I think a lot of people thought Keegan should have been that Boy, well, 100%. He'd been off to a pretty good start this year. He had a couple of top tens. Yeah, right. Playing looked better. like he was going to be back. Yeah. He was playing better. And then, you know, last year he, he kind of, you know, he struggled, you know, without getting to the playoffs. And he all won that. the PGA in yeah. 22. Oh, well, got it right. You hear that, Tom yeah. Walter? Got it right. Yeah. He won the players in 21. Um. 20 had a really nice year. That, well, that was a long time ago. I, I, yeah. Listen, I mean. Four years ago. Bro, I mean, what's going on here? The guy's still got 15 tour titles, you know. Two majors. Yeah, he does. How old is Justin Thomas now? Is he 30 already? Yep, he's 30. Yeah. It's so amazing. It's what I told you, Hick. Remember I told you it was the number I said none of them will get to? 40. Oh. No one will ever get 40 again. Now, now maybe Shep. Uh, uh, Scheffler will. Yeah. These guys, though, too many, to, there's too many. They can't. Players. They can't last. Yeah, they don't right. have to stay. But people right. think you. You see, it's this. It's inevitably this happens. You never appreciate the greatness. I mean, you think you're appreciating it. Right. Yeah. But you never really, attri- really appreciate it while it's happening. For sure. You don't. Ju- you don't understand yeah. what Tiger's doing. You just assume that it can be done. It's what makes it hard on guys like Trevor Lawrence. You see Patrick Mahomes. You think it's easy. And you're, right. and That's the greatness. Yeah. That's another level. Guys like Bryce Young. You know, you just. Can't just live up to that kind of <laughs> but the point in golf is no one's going to do what Ooh, Tiger. Right. You know, Tiger does what she- Tiger did. What Scheffler does in his burst. For 15 years. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Never stopped. Anytime he was in the tournament, he was winning it. And would and would revamp his swing every four or five years. Listen to this. Right. You guys ready for this one? I did this I did this earlier. Okay. I did this math, talking to a buddy, talking golf with a buddy. Right. Chef, uh, uh, Scotty's win here at the players, I think that's 11 now in the on PGA Tour. Does that sound right? For Scheffler? Yeah. No. Sounds more than that? Doesn't sound right to me. It sounds, okay. it sounds light or heavy? I guess that sounds heavy. 11 sounds heavy to you. What are you kidding me? He won six a couple of years ago, eight, didn't he? Eight wins. Uh, I think it's 11. Yeah, eight, eight wins on tour. And that counts this year's? Yep. Yeah. What if, What did I see for the – what What are the uh, other three come from? I literally saw the number 11. Because you had – Hero World Challenge. Corn Fairy, maybe? That's an unofficial event. All right, well, never mind. So, we've got – this is even yeah. better. He's got eight. Mm-hmm. We agree. At least I think this. I think Scheffler right now has a game closest to intimidating the other players as anyone else ever had. In other words, I think there are people in the field that say, if that guy plays his best, I ain't going to beat him. And since Tiger, not sure that happened. But my point is this. Tiger won on PGA Tour 82 times. Yep. 82 times. So, 74 short. Scotty Scheffler. Now, this is the as second. As great as he's playing. This is the, not just now. This is the second yep. time we've seen him do this. He had his little run there where yep. he was the most dominant player in the world. He was winning everything. And. It, that was a, a sustained, you know, won a major, won yep. five, six golf tournaments. Um, and now we're seeing him do it again. Okay, Scotty Shuffler would have to win basically five times a year for the next 15 years to catch Tigers yeah. 82. It's not going to happen. Imagine that. What if you if he wants it? Look, it's hard to win three times. We just talked about Justin Thomas has not once. It's hard to win three. Let's say he wins three times a year. He'll have to win three times a year for the next twenty five years right. to 55. get to Tiger. To right. get to Tiger, and that's not even, forget the majors. That's just PGA Tour events. I just don't. Th- these guys are all so good, right? They all start working out. They all have mental coaches, all that good stuff, and, and so the it levels the playing field quickly in the AJGA and top division and Tiger. Just came on and blew everyone out of the water with the way that he prepped and trained. I think the one thing people don't talk enough about is how good. I know we don't talk about Phil Mickelson much. How good Mickelson was during the Tiger era, mm-hmm. and how good VJ Singh was. VJ Singh was. was freaking incredible. I he mean, was. If there's no Tiger. You're possibly talking about VJ being, you know, one of the three or four greatest players of all time. Yeah, he was. He was pretty good. It, it, and it's and this will go against the argument, but 
I don't know. I think I've, I'm enjoying this somewhat on the tour. And that's the Peter Malnati's of the world winning golf tournaments. When my, man in his, yeah. when my man in his bucket hat on the back <laughs> nine Sunday hits his three wood out of like a worm burner. <laughs> that's right. And the guy goes on and wins the tournament. Yeah. Got, got, that was great. I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand golf's rules sometimes. I mean, there are just so many dumb ones. I mean, what do you first, first things first. Here's what I love about golf. Okay. I love the guys that make the golf rules for the yep. PGA Tour. Uh-huh. The guys who decide the standards and practices of the golf tour okay. when they go play their golf the club. SGA, just to clarify, when they go play their golf, it. when they go play yeah. the nicest, most prestigious golf courses in the world this week, whether they're at Pine Valley or Augusta or LA Country Club, oh, yeah. they'll all put their shorts on. They'll go into their pro shops. They'll get their golf carts and they'll go play golf. Yet somehow, the only golfers in the entire world that play golf in pants are the PGA Tour. The whole world. Anyway. Love it. But one of the rules that is just so wrong is what Malnati got the other day. That's just wrong. He was in the thick rough. His stance was on a uh, was on a um, on a on a sprinkler head. They allowed him to find his nearest relief on the closely mown fringe. You ought to have to maintain the condition that your ball's in. That is a terrible rule. He. To his credit, he said, "Are, are we? I just feel wrong doing this, but For this sure, is the yeah. rule, right?" Yeah. That's a dumb rule. You ought to leave it. You gotta. I'm sorry. You go close to the hole if you want. You gotta leave it in this thick, gnarly stuff. You can't put it on the fringe. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a USGA rule. Now, I know replacing di- hitting it in a divot in the fairway. Yeah. Dumb rule. There's still three or four dumb ones yeah. that they won't. I still fix. like us wearing pants though. Let's not. No, I don't. Why? That's the only. Why? That's dumb. It's just. It's a. It's a it's traditional dumb. sport. It's dumb. It's not traditional. It is what? What's more traditional than golf? What's traditional about wearing pants? Because what? What, a what sane person in the, the world? Okay, Listen, should, we're not taking them to Indonesia. Okay, all right. Then you, you know Time what? Out. Time just, out. Then you should, here, be, you should be. You should be wearing about suits. Pants? No, I'm not arguing. I'm all just right. saying there's some things that don't make what any are we sense. Doing? I did the fact say that the PGA Tour are the only golfers in the world doesn't make there sense. There was a, a a rather loud millennial voice at the PGA <clears throat> Tour about six years ago who swore to us up and down in a meeting if these guys wore shorts, more people would watch golf. That's not about. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about comfort. I'm just talking about the silliness of it all. The guys who make the rule will go to Augusta and they'll wear shorts. There's nobody in the world that tells you it's inappropriate to wear shorts playing golf. Nobody. Not the, the snootiest people in the world. Well, listen, you can be one of the seven people that tune into the CW. It's not about that. See, that's the <laughs> that's the that, boy that's that is the, that is security complex attitude. There it is. Hey, the insecurity complex and the defensiveness crops up awful quick, man. <laughs> Act like you've been here for a while. And like every comment that's made has nothing to do with some the upstart member guest. Yes. What are you talking about? So suddenly, if you wear shorts, that's a live thing. We're not. We're, we're not wearing shorts. I'm sorry. I, nor did I say we would. It's a dumb rule. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll keep it dumb rolling. Uh, two segment guys. Two segment guy. went fast. Houston First off, yeah. the Mal Naughty story. I'm sorry. No, I, I, yeah, I know. That's all I want. I digressed. Yeah. I mean, all of a sudden um, we got. Dumb it wouldn't rule. stop. No. He doesn't know. He's bad radio. I'm good radio. I should know better. My bad, Hick. I'm sorry. I'm all sorry. Right. I let him drag Here's me into that. Here's the tough part because I've known Peter Mal Naughty for I know, 15 years. He played our tour. What a great guy. You may have played against him collegiately. No, he's a lot younger than me. But I like. We still need the Peter Malnati's, right? We need Scheffler winning. We need yes. we need the big boys, but like that emotion when you're breaking down on oh, 18 green, terrific. Man, just, yeah. it means something. It's terrific. You know? And he's crazy. kind of a quirky, odd dude, he's, man. He is probably the well, worst ball sits, striker on tour, 100%. He, if and you he, go sits, watch him hit shots. he sits on the, what is it, the tour yeah. board? Yeah. And so yeah. he catches a lot so he, of grief from the well, other he's, dudes. He's kind of the, the everyman Conduit. voice in the room, you know? Yeah. I mean, it can't just all be the top 10 players in the world saying, hey, let's do this. Right. You need someone who represents. Players, whatever. The Joel Damon. Not even. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Did is it a clown move to win a PGA golf tournament with a yellow golf ball? <laughs> yes or no? Does it take you see away it some from... on the Champions Tour? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Is it a clown move to win that a PGA? You, you just won the Valspar with a yellow golf ball. That's great. Uh, Good for him. Is that not a clown move? It, he said his kid loves it. So, yeah. you know, when he sees the ball playing on the golf course, he thinks of his kid. And that's yeah. A happy and that's fine. That's I get all that. I it can't. Is a little, have you ever tried it? I can't. I I one time bought the yellow by mistake. Oh no! And it lured me into after playing with it. It lured me into about a two or three month stretch where I used the yellow, but I've gone you're back to the white. Good and you're like, yeah, just, something yeah. probably like that. Old yeller, right. I call. We'll it. take a break. We'll keep it rolling. Do the picks when we come back. Update the standings next right here on the zero. The drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. I'm putting together a team. 
people with special abilities. Frank Franchi, Hayes Carline, and Lauren Brooks. The Franchi Show. How many of you are there? Not enough. Afternoons on 1010XL. Hi, this is Dale Murray with Murray Automotive Group in Stark and Kingsland. Save yourself from those big city dealers and their fast-talking flim-flam tactics. No matter what your automotive need is, we've got you covered. Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and nobody beats our prices, and I mean nobody. Shazam! Plus our exclusive 15-year, 150,000-mile warranty included on every qualified vehicle. And we'll trade anything from AirPods to fishing rods. Compare our prices online at ShazamAuto.com, then come see me, Dale Murray. I'll be waiting for you. Shazam! Now that's what I call high-quality H2O. If you want high-quality water throughout your home, call your local water boy. We install equipment to solve any water problem. Waterboyjax.com. Jimerson Burr is a full-service Florida-based commercial law firm that has experience and capabilities to handle any legal issue a business is confronted with. Learn more about what they can do for you at Jimerson Firm. Breaking news, Jacksonville. Play it again, sports is back. We are proud to be opening a brand new store on Merrill Road, but we need your help. We are currently stocking up and we need your gently used sports and fitness equipment. Play it again, sports offers cash on the spot for all your youth gear. We buy baseball, softball, football, hockey, lacrosse, golf, water sports. You name it, we buy it. Turn that gear into cash at Play It Again Sports Jacksonville on Merrill Road near 295 in the Merrill Station Shopping Plaza. This date in sports history is brought to you by Southeast Orthopedic Specialists. On March 26, 1979, in the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship, Michigan State beats Indiana, starting the rivalry between Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. Tired of running out of hot water? It's probably time for a new water heater. Call Duck Duck Rooter, the plumbing pros who specialize in water heater installation and service, including tankless water heaters, gas, or electric. Call us today for service. DuckDuckRooter.com. Leon Sursa here, Jaguar legend and three-time national champion. Are you ready to elevate your game and dominate on the gridiron? Our elite offensive line camp is designed for young athletes who aspire to push their limits, refine their skills, and become the very best. It's called the Lineman Life. Sunday, April 14th, D1 training on Beach Boulevard. Whether you are aiming to make a starting lineup or a college scholarship, this camp is for you. Spots are limited, so secure your spot now. Go to eventbrite.com, the Lineman Life, dash, offensive line camp. Enter promo code 1010 and get $25 off. Greatness awaits. Yo, it's your boy E.T. And if you're still in the market for a sports book to call home, bet that nonstop action of the madness with my bookie. My bookie is your one stop for all your sports betting and casino needs, complete with real life Vegas experience right from that cellular device of yours. Take your viewing experience to the next level with real-time live betting that lets you stream and bet the games right from the comfort of the crib. Sign up now and take advantage of the generous welcome bonus on your first deposit, all the way up to $1,000. Put in 200, get three. Ready to play instantly using promo code 1010XL. And the fun don't stop there. You'll get up to the minute odds, props, and this week's expert predictions to help you dictate where to put that cash at. And the best part about my bookie, you can bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Come on, somebody. Hey, you can hear for Lockhart Construction. That's a longtime Jacksonville business. Shane's dad started the company. Shane, his guys, live here taking care of people like me. We use Lockhart Construction not once, not twice, but three different times. And guess what, gang? Now my son Drew Drew's getting ready to use Lockhart Construction. Why? Because their family gives your family a better living experience. And I'm telling you, they got they can do anything. No job too big, no job too small. You unlock better living with Lockhart Construction. So if you have a renovation, a construction need, a construction idea, give Shane a call. He'll call you back. He's 994-3865. Shane Lockhart, Lockhart Construction, 994-3865. your marketing to the next level with 3D Digital, your local video production and digital marketing agency that specializes in ensuring your brand's story is seen, heard, and remembered. Our award-winning team creates professional content that will be launched across multiple platforms to precisely target your audience. Call us at 904-712-4004 or visit 3digital.com to define, design, and deliver exceptional results for your business. 
At Hidden Hills Golf Club, we truly love the game of golf. We invite you to book your next tee time here and enjoy a golfing experience that you might not find at other public facilities. Visit us at HiddenHillsGC.com. You'll be glad you did. Ball four, take your face. The only thing worse than a pitcher running out of gas on the mound is your old phone running out of storage for your photos in the stands. Goodbye, home run. Switch to Verizon and get a great deal on a new iPhone 15 Pro with tons of storage for all the ballpark picks you want. Just trade in your iPhone, any model, in any condition, so you'll feel like you're winning, even when your team's not. Trade in any iPhone in any condition for a great deal on iPhone 15 Pro with Unlimited Ultimate and get iPad and Apple Watch SE with eligible service plan, only on Verizon. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Now, Brunch with the Tour. Brought to you by Clearwater Irrigation and Drainage 2 and Art of Natural Stone on 1010XL. All right, before we get into our Dreamfinders picks, um, Stewie, let me ask you a question. Uh, Scheffler and Clark or the field? <laughs> Which would you take? I'd probably take the field. You know, it's okay. A, the golf Not cor- quite there yet. Yeah, the the golf course is a little bit quirky. Um, okay, it's a it's a city owned course in the middle of Houston. Okay, moving back to the spring. Remember, the Houston Open was always in the spring, right? right. They, they had that great date right before the Masters, where they started, you know, uh, cutting down the rough and making it basically play like Augusta, right? Uh, and then they moved to the fall a few years ago, and then uh, uh, the golf course came in a few years there. So well, I, 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 got, news, I got news for you. In the world of big business, uh, somebody better put a word out to Houston that oh. if we don't get it, if we ain't calling it the Cognizant Classic here in another year, we ain't going to be playing Houston anymore. Why is that? Do we have a, a sponsor, title sponsor? Texas Children's. Huh? Texas Children's. We do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just well, I, I keep seeing Houston open every oh, year. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's well, the you know how you, guys you, you always got, call. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's right. No, no, Here no, no. we go. Johnny you, Honda. Yeah, Johnny yeah. Honda. You guys beat and moaned at us <laughs> if we called it Honda, okay? Uh, well, I it's, mean, a, it's a cognizant classic at, at Palm Beaches. Listen, it's a cognizant classic at the Palm Beaches, Eric. To be fair, like the tournament <laughs> since the tournament was since Shell, Shell pulled out, it, yes. was, it's, it was the Houston Open for two years. The Vivint Houston Open for one year. Yeah. The Hewlett Packard Enterprises Houston Open oh for one God. year. Uh-huh. The Cadence Bank Houston okay. Open for one year wasn't played in twenty three because of the move to the spring, mm-hmm. and now we're Texas Children's. So even is, uh, is, even is a it, tour staffer gets a little okay. Here. Fair. Is it Texas Children's for a long time or is it one year deal? Oh, God, I don't. Where, this, well, these are is, this, qu- is Tom Alter here? I mean, like, I, I didn't read I, the I, press I, release. These questions. I, I mean, listen, is we change man? names every year. I'm telling you, if we don't get a long term sponsor, we're not staying in Houston. I would imagine it's probably not ten years, but it should be more than three. Okay, that's all I'm asking. Boy, <laughs> I so have no touched. idea how long the partnership is. <laughs> oh my lord! With that said, we got a pretty good field, and this is not a coming in hot today, Stuart. I, I'm just I'm Matrix. To, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a a a signature event. Is that yeah, is that the correct term? No, I mean, I think listen the the date. So guys. Which makes the- me very happy because Pross has the first pick and he'll oh, he'll grab uh, you know who and uh, but he'll win 1.5 million yeah. or whatever. Um, <laughs> Just no, I mean news. guys either want to play the week before the Masters so they'll play you know mm-hmm. Valero mm-hmm. or they don't want to take two weeks off so they'll play Houston and take off next week and get ready for Augusta. So, so Augusta is two weeks away. Correct. So next week is San Antonio and then, and then Augusta. Have, yep. Wow. By San Antonio, I mean Valero. Don't text me, people. I get it. I know. We appreciate your partnership. Uh, so, Scotty will be the overwhelming favorite at Augusta. Mm-hmm. Is Scotty not the overwhelming favorite everywhere he I tees it up? Yeah, yeah, he probably should be. Yeah. yeah but I wonder again, how Rom's game is. <laughs> will we get to find out? I don't know. Somebody will watch from Singapore <laughs> oh my, yeah. somewhere. Will yeah. he wear shorts? Um, no, I think that <laughs> John, Memorial he Park can't wear Houston, shorts here. I, I think it's cool what they've done. I mean, this is a city-owned. I don't even know what the equivalent would be. Like, who owns a golf course? Is Brentwood? Like, who owns uh-huh. city-owned Hyde Park? I have no idea. Okay. I don't think – no, they yeah, don't. No one, we might not have it. I, I think I, no at one point, the 103rd, they owned that one for a while. I don't yeah. think they own that one anymore either. The city basically, you know, they, they brought this, I think, with Brooks as a design consultant. Um, they basically turned Memorial Park into a PGA Tour-worthy venue. Still a little quirky, so some guys like it. Some guys are Is still – Is it downtown Houston? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like downtown L.A.? So go, yeah. L.A. Country Club? Uh, I don't know. I've never been to LACC. Yeah, I think that's, like that's right. The, Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Wait, have you played Los Angeles Country Club? I don't like to brag. <laughs> uh, let's do. Let's do. I need, I need a number. And is it? Is it he three digits? Play, he's not played LACC. I've not played LACC. Okay. Oh, the show. Um, 
<laughs> I don't say I don't like to no, brag. No, we are, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, e, speaking of bragging, who's in first place? My dog, the media mogul. Thank you for that. Um, uh, so the total, so after Not last a good week, week, by the way. No, not a good week at all. Bar. After last week, Dan Hickens still holds first place. Who last week Dan took, let's see here, you took JT, <laughs> uh, JT. and Brian Harmon. Okay. Totaling a total of $18,000. <laughs> 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 um, Clap it up, JT. 79 yeah. on Saturday. I took you. Xander and Tony Finau. Xander did his Sunday thing. Yeah, he did his su- Sunday thing, and he got me $298,000. So oh, that's pretty I, good. I, I won the week. It's a big week. Okay. Um, and third place was uh, The Tour, okay. who took Spieth and Nick Taylor. Uh-huh. Got him a whopping $18,000. 18 grand. Y'all are right. Uh, you know Nick Taylor made the cut until right then. <laughs> You're 18000 ahead of your boy. Fantastic. <laughs> Jeff Bagel? And then my, my dog, JP, took Burns and Keegan Bradley. Yeah. He, my dog ain't getting that last week. Yeah, I got nothing. nothing. Uh-huh. Burns fell apart. He was now, there for just a for, bit. Just for clarity's sake, because we know that the loser spins a wheel. Is yeah. Stewart part of the spinning of the wheel? Man, we know Stu ain't spinning the we wheel. We can't make man. him spin the wheel, but if he finishes last, well, we're off the on. hook. Listen, man. I we're off the hook. Yeah, I think yeah, us three fair. spin. That's if fair. he's last, he's got to so do then, something. Thir- he's got to do something. Something for I'm us just or saying, something. I will do the walk to work, but yeah. I live in Miramar. No, you're not, not doing that. Here, this, I might not make it I here. can't put him in the wheel in good conscience. Yeah. He blows in here every now but and then. But he's got to do something better than just, you know, bring us breakfast. Correct. Like, he's got to get his fair. you got to punish. He's going to have to have a punishment. Exclusive us get a little further into the season. It's not even April yet. I know you're not. That's why we have punishing to... them walking down you're... university to come. <laughs> you're not walking to work. Literally that was death. one of a rare. Th- th- I, I mean, my God, the punishment is getting just harsher every time I talk to you. <laughs> we'll slather them up in mayonnaise and make uh, another Stewart sandwich yeah. if you want. <laughs> there should be something. I don't know if it, I think those three. It's a wheel spin. Uh, it's always it's not. If, I think if, it is. If we're in last, <laughs> yes. But if we're in third and he's in last, there's no wheel spin. You see what I'm saying? Okay, then he loses and he has he, to do something. Correct. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. So something that way embarrassing and costly. Correct. Or both. Okay. And perhaps. Wait, who finished last last year? Last year, this Jeff did, but he refused time. to spin no, the wheel. No, that's we've never done it that <laughs> way. It was controversial. Yeah, don't you remember? It was a controversial it, ending. It, it, was con- con- it was very controversial. One controversial. I mean, I don't want to it was, bring up an yes, old story. It was very controversial. Okay, fine. It was controversial. Was it controversial? It was controversial if you have a P brain. Uh-huh. And you have not been doing the show for 20 years. So then me and he have pea brains? Correct. And so. When it comes to this, <laughs> when it comes to this, you're either bold-faced liars or you're dumb. And I don't believe you to be dumb, and I don't know you to be bold-faced liars. I, I think if, I'm just telling you, Jackson, it was controversial. Pea brains. I think if I finish dead last, yes, the walk down university, but someone has you're to- You're not sh- walking to work! <laughs> but here we go. Tom Alter has to walk the terrifying streets of Old Ponte Vedra. <laughs> That's scary. Hang in there. He'll With be- all that said, Jeff has the first pick. I wonder yeah, who I'm he'll gonna take. Yeah, I'm going to go Scheffler. I'm going to go ahead and take no, no Scotty. Way. I'm sorry. Is it Scheffler? Yeah, Scheffler. I'm going to take oh. Scheffler. And I'm, I'm is assuming, he a gray? I'm assuming that that means he'll finish about 12th this week. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I will go Wyndham Clark. Sure you will. When, hey, fun fact, oh. Wyndham Clark's 19 under last week would have won every player's championship that's ever been played except for this one in Norman's. That's right, yeah. Fun fact. That was a fun fact. You, you like to think the guy representing the tour would have dropped that in on his well, body. I would have called it last week because that was Valspar. It had been two mm. weeks ago. Oh, my what? God. You are just so God, I'm the dumb. worst. That's just terrible. Oh, oh Lord. E, hey, you're up, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, Fino ain't even made the cut last week, so nah, I'm going to go with the bean, Will Zalatoris. I kind of wanted the bean. Good luck with him. I've had him a couple times. He beaned me, all right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Son of a bean. Who's the defending champ at Houston? Twenty-two, but the different course. No, same course. They didn't play in twenty-three because of the move to the spring, so they couldn't have two events. In okay, well, I'll, I'll gladly take Fee now, and I'll also take uh, uh, Sahith. All right, Sahith Gala. How are you gonna? Those guys are like big lumbering twins going down there. Yeah, hopefully they play together on Sunday in the final round. That'd be final fun. pairing. Jason Day, come holler at your boy. Mm. 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 Uh, I don't like that. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to go with Keith Mitchell. Keith Mitchell played yeah, well he, last week. Yeah, he finished strong. <laughs> Until Sunday coming in on a roll. What did he shoot, about 85 on Sunday? I don't know. That was a bad pick. God Taylor Montgomery's that. playing. It is a bad pick. What did That's you just do? Pick. He might withdraw. I think he got I think he got all – he choked when he learned about the consequences coming up. He's thinking nothing about striding into work, which isn't even going to happen. Um, I can see you go with uh, Kiz. Kiz is back playing this week. Oh, probably yeah. playing well, too. I'm I'm torn between a I'm couple like of guys. Dolly Vanderbilt. Oh, love Dolly. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Um, boy, we got a bunch of. Is this designated or no? 
No. Yes. Signature. No, signature. No. Yeah, I call it whatever I want, you know. Elevated. Um, <laughs> we'll change it again next year. Yeah, you will. That's your fault. All right. That's your fault. That's the agronomy SVP. Yeah. Not you, but oh, you represent the tour, therefore sure. it's the tour's yeah. fault. Um, is it my turn still? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. I will take uh between two. I'm gonna go see Woo Kim. Oh, I like Si Woo. Yeah, I'm gonna go see Woo Kim. I like Si Woo. Yeah. Eh. Eh. We'll see. I need to make some money, boys. I need Sheffler to come. So let me get this straight. Sheffler's gonna win this weekend. I'm gonna win like one point two million. <laughs> Correct. Is that what happens? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is the payout this week? The good uh, news is uh, the good news no is, one knows. They pay them in like what's the tokens. Purse? The good news is that would be a chip away, <laughs> by the way. Because huh? because you'd stay last and then you get maybe Scheffler for the Masters. Perfect. Right, Which is what, Tour when you really want him. for the purse. Oh, 9.1. What does that mean for the first place? Do you know? Probably 1. 1.62. 1.62. 1. I need that 1.62, Scotty Scheffler. I need that one point. We do have a lot of golf left, but here's the problem. If you have one more of these where they hit the big one yeah, and you know, don't, you ain't catching up. All right. Uh, that's our brunch for the tour. Appreciate you, Stuart. Thank have you, a great Stuart. week. We'll hey, see boys. you next week. Uh, the man. Can you do great work with the agronomy and horticulture? Um, Keep it we'll, up. We'll come back with more on the other Keep side. Keep green. It's a Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday on The Drill. The Drill. From the studios at Republic Services. We'll handle it from here. 1010XL puts the ball in play-by-play. Kick on the way. Impeccable today. From way downtown. That ball's ripped. For play by play, it's 1010 XL. Hey, sports fans, this is Hayes Carlion for QC Kinetics. This is the time of year to enjoy life. Stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you love to do this spring. Call QC Kinetics now, set up a free consultation. Call them at 904-274-5522. They've got two great locations, Mandarin and Ponte Vedra Beach. Go see them. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. It's a fact. QC Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your own body's ability to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, but now this life-changing treatment is available for you. So you can walk and run and climb stairs and play golf and move again pain-free. 904-274-5522. That's QC Kinetics. Call them today. It's March basketball. That means a host of top teams will be competing for the NCAA title. When it comes to commercial painters, there's also some healthy competition out there. Jason Parker with Performance Painting. To help you know the right questions to ask any painter competing for your business this year, visit performancepaintingjacks.com. Or if you're ready for a friendly quote, give us a call and ask about our free pressure wash promotion for your next project. Performance Painting, quality coatings applied with pride. Performance Painting. Chicken here. You know at Zero Rugs, they love rugs. Fine oil rugs need to be cleaned with the right equipment and careful training. My guy at Zero Res, Gerard, is a certified master rug cleaner and has been cleaning rugs for more than five years. Don't trust your fine rugs to anyone. Call Zero Res right now. They are offering a BOGO on rug cleaning. Have Zero Res clean one rug, get a second rug for free. What a great time to get your rugs cleaned. Zero Res, man, spell it forward, spell it backwards. Zero Res, it's the right way to clean. Zero Res. WJXL AM Jacksonville Beach. WJXL FM Jacksonville Beach. This month, Best Bet transforms into your ultimate pot of gold, dishing out over 600000 in poker prize money across our Jacksonville, Orange Park, and St. Augustine card rooms. Feeling lucky? Try your hand in an array of exciting card games from three-card poker, Texas Hold'em, Omaha, and many, many more. Best Bet, perfect for poker aficionados and casual players looking for a fun time with friends. Players must be 18 or older. For more information, visit bestbetjacks.com. That's bestbetjacks.com. Hello here for Smunez Vision. Why Smunez Vision? Well, I've been with Dr. Neil Smunez now since I got back to Jacksonville in 2006. 37 years of experience he has. Smunez Vision is a family organization that focuses on personal high-quality medical and surgical eye care. Dr. Catherine Smunez is fellowship-trained in cornea and cataract surgery and all refractive surgery. Combined, that's 30 years plus in laser eye surgery. Visit SmunezVision.com today. Here you can see. It couldn't be any happier than to join the George Moore Chevrolet family. And when I say family, that's how they treat you when you visit that beautiful showroom down there off Atlantic Boulevard. You'll find out exactly what I'm talking about. No pressure, just friendly help. And what are you in the need for? Do you need a car? 
Go to George Moore Chevrolet. Truck, uh, George Moore Chevrolet. SUV, George Moore. Electric, pre-owned, George Moore Chevrolet has it. Uh, I have my boy Blue. I couldn't be any happier with my uh, beautiful Silverado. If you can't make it over to Atlantic Boulevard, no problem. Don't worry. Just go to morechevy.com. So easy to navigate. Transparent pricing. It's all right there. Sales, service, parts. Never been more easy to use. It's George Moore Chevrolet gang. Together, let's drive. Bueller Air Conditioning presents... Are you cool? Today's lucky contestant, a cheese negotiator from Jacksonville, Florida, meet Margaret Drent. How do you like my costume, Bob? I'm Gruyere. Well, you smell great, Margaret. But here's your question. What's wrong with your air conditioner when you hear this sound? Oh, um, that's a toughie. Are you sure you don't want me to tell you the suggested retail price of a box of rice a Five seconds, Margaret. Is it a compressor motor starter failure? That's right, Margaret. And if you call the coolness experts at Bueller Air Conditioning, we can fix that faulty AC to make sure that you are cool. Surprisingly stuffy inside a giant cheese. You sign the waiver, Margaret. Stay cooler with Bueller. Visit BuellerAir.com. Mike Dempsey here for Awaken 180. Many companies promise results, but how many actually stand by it? Well, Awaken 180 sure does. I dropped my 25 pounds, Matt Hayes 40, and Hacker now 35 pounds in his first month alone. Find your results at Awaken180WeightLoss.com. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Here's your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist local sports update sponsored by J. David Tax Law. NFL annual meetings are taking place in Orlando. Several of the Jaguars are engaged in contract talks, a subject head coach Doug Peterson touched on. I know they let their agents handle all the all the dirty work and the heavy lifting, and they just, they just have to go play. University of Florida football after two seasons under Billy Napier. This season's spring camp, the head coach evaluation includes looking for experience to lift the program. I would just say I'm evaluating Florida experience. Experience matters. It's a veteran team. There's a different level of leadership, accountability, the character dynamic. Just look forward to coming to work. The Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp 2024 season begins Friday, March 29th, with a three-game series against the Gwinnett Stripers. That runs through Sunday, March 31st, at 1 to 1 Financial Ballpark. At your Southeast Orthopedic Specialist Local Sports Update, I'm Sam Nelson. At 9.06 and 69 degrees, time at 10, brought to you by Bueller Air Conditioning. Stay cooler with Bueller. 1010XL is presented by Farrah & Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. Woof. Time to get when nasty. Oh, and life is you lonely, you can always go. This always reminds me of George and Seinfeld. Oh, yeah, it's in there, isn't it? Go where you go. Downtown. He's trying to Downtown. Would you like this party? E, did you watch that American fiction movie I told you to watch? Which one? American fiction. You guys watch movies? I do. It just got to be in the mood. The guy hasn't watched Rocky yet. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. All right, big part here, E. Play it up. I got an idea, Jeff. When we when we build the new stadium, we do like a, a, a black and white commercial with this music underneath encouraging people to go back downtown. <laughs> what do you think? You gotta give us a yeah, reason to slide like down here. Yeah, just maybe it should just like be played out the loud the speakers yeah. all day long, every downtown. day. We would be like some sort of dystopian movie. Yeah. Right? We're back, baby. <laughs> We're back. Uh welcome back to the program. Uh, it's time to get nasty E. Uh what can oh, you tell man. us about P. Diddy? Man. What do you mean, po, uh, P. Diddy? I mean, this <sighs> told guy you is... Told you I didn't want to be dragged into this. Well, <laughs> listen, I'm sorry. Uh, he's part of the culture. All right. Yeah, he is. Um, he is. I need some explaining. What this happened? Guy, the feds are knocking on his doors. P. Diddy? Doors. Yeah. Oh, plural. They well, can't... the key word there is, I think, Diddy. Um, 
I think he tried to hightail it on a plane to Antigua on his private jet. I'm not sure. <laughs> no, man. No? I don't think he was trying to clear it. Well, well, he was trying to go somewhere, but I don't, I don't think he was running from that in particular. Okay. However, yeah, the feds kicked down the doors in both his Miami um, estate and in L.A., uh, put both uh, two of his boys in handcuffs, and they raided the crib. When what the are they fed, looking well, for? Well, when the feds come calling, it's like 98% – uh, it's adios some, time. Yeah, when the fans come call, it, 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 it's some it's some fire with that smoke. Uh, Do we know me, what it is they're looking for, or man, what he's uh, wow. man, some sort of trafficking is, is uh, what are they saying. It's man? not good. It well, good. trafficking is can can be a variety of well, things. Some worse put than a child in front of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 That's and that's the we word. need to, we need to some we got to go back a little bit in time. I think. Yeah. We got to yeah. start teaching some people some 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 some. some some lessons on certain lines you cross. When you traffic children, buddy, that's going to last your day on earth the Man, day we catch you. Absolutely. That's it. We're going down yeah. to town, by the way. We're going downtown mm-hmm. to the square. You're all invited. Uh-huh. We're hanging this joker tomorrow. Man, I just I just hope it ain't true, man, because Diddy, like, you were speaking way too loud for the culture. Like, you were so prominent. And then for you to have all this this type of baggage, bro, you oh, you wilder, man. Yeah, it's not good. So, well, we'll see. We'll keep it. We'll keep you posted on it. But, uh, oof, boy. Mm. Oof. Saw that yesterday and was, we got that. We got the bridge getting destroyed in Baltimore, Oof. the key bridge. Just It's only March. I mean, good gracious. Bro. Yeah. Um, I'm going back to the mountains in Utah. Nah. They're they, they wilding just, out there in Utah, too. Shock right now over this, these things you're telling me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, well, there's like assaults and all types of things with P. Diddy, so. I mean, he there was a lot of accusations being lev- levied against him over the last what six months or so. He oh yeah, it was just coming out of woodwork. And it was like even like was it former girlfriends and such. Yeah, Cassie. Cassie was that a wife or a girlfriend? A long time girlfriend. Long time girlfriend. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. If you're trafficking children, you deserve to die. I, I, I've changed my mind. I don't want to hang them. I wanted to be longer, drawn out, and more painful. Mm-hmm, Sorry, mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. not. It's, that's that's fine. not a nice thing to say, but it is. What it at is. some point, man. Here's the Kids. problem. Oh, well, here's the deal, dude. And it trickles. I mean. We have, we have neighborhoods, we have areas in this country where they're allowing people just to go in and steal and beat and take whatever they want with uh-huh. no recourse. What the hell kind of society is that? I don't know how some of these people live where they live, bro, to be honest. Um, I got another one for you. Did you see, the, uh, did you see this UFC fight that was uh, stopped over the weekend? The guy bit him? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. And he got a tattoo where he bit him. Took a chunk out of him, man. Did, did you see he? that? No. Yeah, where he got bit, he tattooed it. Where the guy got bit? The bite mark. The guy got bit, tattooed it. <laughs> a bite mark there. <laughs> so, yeah, he's been banned now from a UFC after going carnivorous. One of the Googans, one of the Googans <laughs> pointed out, and I thought this is good in that Roadhouse movie, <laughs> the scene with Crocodile eating the dude. Yeah. That was about as dumb as a Dude, the whole thing, there's no, <laughs> listen to me, understand, It's a, it's, I, I almost considered the Roadhouse like a cartoon or the old Batman movies. Roadhouse remake. Yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not trying to say, oh, that's real, or yeah, oh, yeah. my gosh, or oh, look out. Yeah. I know what it is here. This is cartoonish. Those two, Hall and Conor McGregor beat the hockey sticks out of each other to the point that they would have died. Oh, God. What about, <laughs> 100 times over. And again, you know how these end, so it doesn't matter. We're not spoiling it. But when my man Hall, who's half, who's dead, basically, laying there while Conor McGregor's destroying him, pulls the the stick out of his leg, and then just start stabbing. Yeah, you know, over and over oh at the end, like God. a drum beat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we don't mean to give too much away, but you know how well, Roadhouse you know how goes. It ends. I mean, come it's on. going to end with Roadhouse dude still alive and the rest of the people dead. Just, Correct. It's a matter of getting there. Yeah, it's but how it's a, we get there. I've had some people quibble with me. It's nothing like the first one. What are you talking about? It's the exact. Like, they're changing the character. It's the exact same movie. Distressed bar owner calls on the guy to save the bar. Bad guys have other reasons, influences to shut it down. There are other side characters caught up in the middle, and ultimately Dalton has got to take care of business, Hick. Uh, we got some breaking news as we tell you the NFL's hybrid kickoff model has passed, according to the rap sheet. What okay. does that mean? What is the hybrid kickoff model? Well, I'm assuming that's the one where they're going to line them up down there at the 30. You're going to kick, and no one moves until the receiver catches the ball with the landing zone and all that nonsense, I guess. And if you're going to do an onside kick, you have to It eliminates high-speed it. collisions. Uh, kickoff coverage and return teams will be lined up close to each other. Seemingly could increase the number of returns for touchdowns. I would think so. I would think somebody's going to draw. E, we talked about this last week. Somebody's going to draw up a play. Have you seen what it is? Yeah. You line, Hick. Yeah. The, the receiving team will line up 10 guys at the 30. 
the kicking team will line up their 10 guys at the 35. Mm -hmm. The returner will go back and stand at the 10. They will kick the ball to him. No one moves until the returner catches the ball. One of these Andy Reeds of special teams. Somebody's is going, going to come up with something. something up. Yeah, where they're going to we're going to roll. Why not put a quarterback back there? Right. Roll out and then throw anywhere you want. Mm-hmm. You know, backwards, obviously. So they want to increase. They want to make it a play again. They want we to make do it have a play returns. Again. And, and now, if you kick it in the end zone, they've completely changed their mind. Now, if you kick it in the end zone, they're going to put you at the thirty-five. That's almost like kicking it out of bounds. Oh, I see what you're saying. So they'll penalize you for kicking. That's right. They, and if you kick it into the middle area, if they call fair catch or whatever, you get at the 20. So they're trying to encourage you to get the ball in play. Kickers will kick from the 35 yard line. Okay. With the other 10 players on his team starting at the opposing 40 yard line. One or two returners can be in the landing zone, the goal line to the 20 yard line. All the other players of the return team would be in the setup zone between the 30 and 35. Only the kicker and returners can move until the ball hits the ground or is touched. Well, the kicker, what if we get a good athlete as a kicker and he sprints down after his kick? <laughs> <laughs> what do we have one of those, huh? Yeah, I don't think he's going to run 50 yards in .6 seconds. And then teams have to inform officials if they plan on running an onside kick. Right, because you have to bring your – and now you're allowed to, to load one side of the line, whereas before they weren't letting well, you do that. Why don't we just go full, full bore – and say, and just, okay, you don't have to onside kick, but you get the fourth and 20 or fourth and 15. Yeah, I like that way of doing it. Yeah. I like that way. I, I don't know why. I don't, I, I, I don't know why. The return rate of 21.7% in 2023, the lowest in NFL history. Um, although league officials said the rate of concussions per kickoff was approximately the same. If the rule goes into place, there should be more exciting returns with fewer injuries per kickoff, is what they're saying. Well, you tell that when the guy's running – Cross the field and he gets blasted. Or but they or don't. The have, they can't get up much speed. Is the point the uh, the, the, the the most of the speed and the yeah. impact is going to come from the guy who's running the ball. Okay, but I you would think that some sort of bot. I, there's got to be guy. The mad scientists right now have got to be working on some sort. Yeah. There's got to be something at least initially that you can hit on that's going to open it up. And now you got this poor kicker. It might be time for the kickers to get more athletic. It might teach your linebacker how to kick because they're they're not going to be some. Subs- I did. I look. I will say this. Mm-hmm. This is a small. Okay, it's small. This is a small win for the UFL. You know why? That's uh, where it started. Originated. Not, not just that, but guess what? I'm going to do here a few times in the next month. Watch the kickoff. I'm going to watch the kickoff oh, and see yeah, exactly yeah. what it is. I mean, I don't recall it being a storyline that these dudes are taking it back to the house once a game. You know, I don't. I don't think that it was like. But, boy, with the NFL and the top athletes in the world, boy, it'd be interesting to see. I'll just take one phone call. We got something? Oh, I was yeah, just like, going to say, go ahead, E. Like, who do you think, like, on the football field, who is the most athletic, what is the most athletic position on that field, on the football well, field? Oh, you're talking about kicker turners? No, just in general. Uh, probably oh, receiver, general? running receiver, back. Or corner. Or corner. Yeah. Or why not, like, teach a corner how to kick or do something like yeah, that? You maybe, know? if you because you only got to land it in that landing area. Right. And, by the way, if it's bouncing around, then, you know, the guy's going to have to bend over. He's not going to get a running start. So you're, time. Yeah. you probably are going to try and land it over the line so, because you still can't move, right, until they touch it. Or can you move when the ball hits the ground? You probably can't. Yeah, when yeah. it's a ground you can go. So if you, you're probably going to try and angle it. For it to hit the so, ground. So, so it's hitting the ground, you know. And, and, right. And yeah. then the guy runs up and, yeah. I was just going to say, uh, don't forget tonight, and game sold out, but Florida FSU at the baseball grounds here in Jacksonville, yeah. FLA, so Ooh. that should be good. Well, Florida's Dude. midweek in their uh, weekend not very good. The games have not been the same, have they? All mm-hmm. right, let's uh, take one call here, and we'll come back. Uh, All for... right. Oh, wait. I, th- I thought it was 27-17. We're in good shape. Don't yeah. ruin it, Joe. All right, Joe. Top of the morning. Great. Hey, Jeff, you follow basketball, so I want to, your to everybody's take on this. How does team? I'm sorry, time out. That's kind of insulting. I mean, I, I mean, I, what the hell? Hey, Dan, sit this one out. Uh, Jeff, no, you, no. you know no, basketball. You Dan, I don't. You don't know squat. Uh, uh, don't worry Dan about follow, it. Uh, Jeff follows NBA. Huh? Yeah. NBA. All right, yeah. go ahead. Anyway. Jeff follows NBA more than ever. Yeah. How yeah. do teams get so bad so quick? I was. I went to the uh, the Pels uh, Pistons game. Yes, the day before yesterday. Mm-hmm. The Pistons scored ten points in the first quarter. They're the worst team I've ever seen. Well, they're they got uh, some guys missing with injury right now. Yeah, because we beat them last night. They had three guys. Cade Cunningham didn't play. He was their best player, and some other guys were out. But that's I mean, one reason. Yeah. I mean, we've had guys at the Pelicans. I mean, we sit Brandon Ingram's out. We always. I mean, yeah, they had ten points in the first. Uh, to give you an idea how bad they're, Zion was thirteen of fourteen. Didn't shoot one jump shot. Went to the hole every time. 
I mean, good for us that we dominated them, but I, I've never seen a team so bad. Well, let me let me read off some names, and then maybe this will help you understand. Uh, who is Osar Thompson? He's a rookie. Is brother. he any good? Yeah, he got yeah a twin he's brother. a lottery pick. He's got a twin brother. Oh, he's a lottery pick. Is he, he, his brother, I think, plays for Houston. He's scoring eight points a game. He's a fifth well, pick in the draft. Well, so that, that's, so yeah. did Kobe. I mean, yeah. that's early, but to your point, they're not ready to contend. Kate Cunningham is out. Jay right? Nivey. Uh, it's not it not lived up to it. Cade Cunningham is a good player. Good player. Killian Hayes, where's he playing? Uh, Killian is uh, old school. He's been around forever. Every team's got 2020 him. he was drafted. And that's not that old oh, school. Oh, I'm, I'm mistaking him then with someone. Siku Dumbuva. I mean, these are their first-round picks, bro. That's what I'm telling you. Luke Kennard, Henry Ellenson. Uh, these are first-round picks of the Detroit Pistons. So that's why they're okay. so bad. I mean, I, th- I well, think... Good. I think that would explain. Hey, here, here, here's a uh, oh yeah, so that that's how. But I don't know when you say so quick. The Pistons haven't been good. They've been on this, you know, this debacle. Uh, Cunningham was number one pick. Ivy was the top three pick. They've been bad for six, eight years, and they've just not made the right picks. I guess I don't know how else to describe. You look at other teams like Oklahoma City, and they you know they blew it up. Donovan got le- uh, left. They went bad for a year or two, and now they're. One of the better young teams. Well, this is, yeah, Detroit, the last, gosh, Joe, the last five years, they've won 20, 20, 23, 17, and 12. So it's been a while, yeah. But, Ooh, but wow, you, if with all those high picks, they should be getting uh, They're supposed to be hitting. Quickly. If you don't hit on them, that's, that's what happened. Now you're really in the, in the abyss. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I knew you guys would have the answer. Oh, yeah. and as a quick aside, Jeff, I wear long pants when I play golf. Even, I'm a 20 yeah. handicap. You must have terrible legs. See? Have a good day, Joe. <laughs> um, Joe, you likes the style and profile. I, 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 or he has little spindly little chicken legs or something. Something going on. If you're living in Jacksonville, Florida, and you're playing golf, and you're wearing pants every time you play golf, you're a sociopath. By the way, I saw this um, about I saw this about my New York Knicks, as long as we're talking basketball. Uh-huh. The Knicks have a shot at getting 50 dubs this year. I think they'll probably get to 50 wins, maybe. Okay. They've, they've only won 50 twice in the century, in 2000 and, like, 2013. See, the Hawks, we've – oh, this century in 2000. We've, but we've done it more than twice. Yeah. I mean, we. Huh. Well, I told you we're the worst franchise in Not sports. Not very good. Yeah, and it's very, very, and I would definitely say underachieving but too, because you're like, in a mecca. I also, yeah. There's no that's, reason. That's the bigger. Yeah. That's the addition right. to it. That's yeah, what you're, makes you're, you the worst. Your New York City basketball. Yeah, you I'd should say be good. The basketball. If you go through basketball history and hot spots in the United States of America, New York City is top three, if not number one. Hundred percent. So, so, it's 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 just. But I do enjoy this, and. uh Somebody put a, a compilation on social media. I don't know if you saw it, but it was when Brunson signed with the uh, Knicks. And every one of them were like, even Stephen A., you know, uh, you know, it's, uh, he's okay. Okay. Jalen Brunson, and by the way, he's been great. A baller. But he's been better than ever. He's better than he was in Dallas. He's playing unbelievable basketball. But Jalen Brunson, uh, I mean, he's our, he's our Allen Iverson. I mean, he's like pound for pound. So talented and so good. Very good player. He's one of those that because he's not sexy and a high riser, he, right. he doesn't get the love, but he's been every bit as effective as Dame Lillard to the Bucks. Probably yes, more. More. And yeah, he's carried more. he's carried the Knicks during their injuries and kept them afloat. And Hawks had an unbelievable comeback last night. And it's more in the did you hear the stat I had earlier though? There's been two thousand six hundred and a in in the last twenty five years, two thousand six hundred and fourteen times in an NBA game, one team has gotten a thirty point lead. Six. Six times out of that 2,408 have they blown the lead. 2,408. Yeah, I mean, 30-point leads. And what makes this, I could see, I bet you almost every one of the other ones, it's two terrible teams playing. In other words, the Pistons get a 30-point lead on the Rockets. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to throw, where's, can we go to the, the, to the penalty flag here somewhere? On me? Yeah. Why? I'm throwing that flag right now. What about it? Uh, can we spin it back and rewatch where Jeff moments ago announced that all oh, the Hawks have won fifty or more? Oh, we haven't. Plenty huh? of times. Yeah, same as us. Yeah, that sixty-one season in fifteen. Okay, where you went out in the Eastern Conference Finals well, in the beginning of two thousand, we were bad. I forgot about that. And I'm then you won fifty-three the... and ten. <coughs> oh, that's it. You... Yeah. What about the COVID year? Uh... That was a short season, but how many did we win that year? What year was that? Twenty. Nineteen twenty. Twenty and forty-seven. Oh, so that was year. before we got good. It yeah. was the next then year. Then you went to the Eastern Conference Finals with yeah. 41 wins. Yeah, um, well, that's fair. Yeah, you've won 50 twice. That's fair. 50's a nice season. Yeah, 50's a lot of wins. But, yeah. And, and outside of that 50, we probably have a couple more, to be honest. The 80s, the, the mid-80s 98, team. you won 50. 
on the nose. Mid 80s. 97, one. 98, you, you were hot. Yeah, we're number one seed. Lenny, Lenny had him going, man. Yeah. 56 and Problem 50. is, there's a guy named Jordan back then. 94, we, you won 57. Yeah. Uh, 57, wow. 88 and 89, 50. Oh, whoa. 86, 87, 88, 89 was yeah. Hawks heaven. Yeah, that's Dominique. Couldn't get past the Celtics. That uh-huh. was with Fertello, the czar. Yeah, couldn't get past the Celtics. He was winning 50, 57, 52, 50. Yeah. I mean, those were good times. Well, you probably had some, too, back in those 90s. Yeah, but not 90s. like, I mean, the Knicks. Not like the Hawks. God, awful. Since the 70s. Oh, the Hawks are nothing. Oh, look, again, we've been to the you conference just finals done one anyth- time. Yeah, you haven't done anything in the postseason. Ever. Like, whole we, life. we made a run to the finals yeah. in the spring. a couple of times. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, just some NBA talk to get us through. We got much more coming up on the drill. We'll turn it uh, to trending or New York City headlines or something when we return. And we got much more ahead. We're rocking and rolling on a super Tuesday on 1010XL 92.5 FM. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. Hi, this is Dale Murray with Murray Automotive Group in Stark and Kingsland. Save yourself from those big city dealers and their fast-talking flim-flam tactics. No matter what your automotive need is, we've got you covered. Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and nobody beats our prices. And I mean nobody. Shazam! Plus our exclusive 15-year, 150,000-mile warranty included on every qualified vehicle. And we'll trade anything from AirPods to fishing rods. Compare our prices online at ShazamAuto.com. Then come see me, Dale Murray. I'll be waiting for you. Shazam! Lamb of God and Mastodon live. Celebrating 20 years of Ashes of the Wake and Leviathan. July 23rd, Daly's Place. With special guests, Carrie King and Malevolence. Lamb of God and Mastodon's Ashes of Leviathan tour. Tickets on sale now at LiveNation.com. We're in Florida, and pest problems are persistent. Want them gone? Mission accomplished with Mission Pest Solutions. Veteran and locally owned and operated, Mission Pest will blow your mind with their communication and response time for all your pest, termite, and mosquito needs. Text or call 904-944-PEST. You'll speak directly with the owners. Mention 1010XL when you call 944-PEST. You'll get 25% off your initial pest or termite protection service. Mission accomplished with Mission Pest Solutions. Hey, this is Stevie Beechers of Beechers Plumbing. Growing up in Jacksonville, I was always proud when my dad would point at a building and say, I did the plumbing for that. That's the same kind of pride we instill in every plumber here at Beechers Plumbing. And that's the kind of pride you can expect when you hire Beechers Plumbing for your home or business. Right now, we're doing New Year's specials to get your project going. To find out how we can help you, visit BeechersPlumbing.com. B-E-T-R-O-S Plumbing.com. Beechers Plumbing, here to help. Catch the Jacksonville Jaguars every day. Jaguars today from the Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute Studios. With Mike Dempsey and Fat Tony talking teal every weekday from 10 to noon. Jaguars today on 1010XL. You don't have to be a football star to get a signing bonus. The team at Republic Services needs your skills, and they're paying up to $5,000 for you to join the roster. You'll be joining a winner. As an essential business, the Republic Services trucks have not stopped rolling with hourly and weekly pay and better benefits and vacation packages than the rest of the league. Driver trainees, $1,000 sign-on bonus. CDL drivers, $3,000. Diesel mechanics, $5,000 bonus. Join the winning team at Republic Services today. Visit republicservices.com. Equal opportunity and Divorce, menonly.com. This is Kenny Lay of Kenny Lay and Associates. Our firm specializes in representing men in family law. That's all we do. That's our only focus. We can help with all of your family law needs, such as divorce, custody, alimony, and child support. For over a decade, we have helped thousands of men with these types of issues. We even have an appellate division ready to challenge a judge's ruling. If you need a family law attorney, go to divorce, menonly.com. Divorce, menonly.com. Offices, Jacksonville. Yo, it's your boy E.T. And if you're still in the market for a sports book to call home, bet that nonstop action of the madness with my bookie. My bookie is your one stop for all your sports betting and casino needs, complete with real life Vegas experience right from that cellular device of yours. Take your viewing experience to the next level with real time live betting that lets you stream and bet the games right from the comfort of the crib. Sign up now and take advantage of the generous welcome bonus on your first deposit. All the way up to $1,000. Put in $200, get three. 
ready to play instantly using promo code 1010XL. And the fun don't stop there. You'll get up-to-the-minute odds, props, and this week's expert predictions to help you dictate where to put that cash at. And the best part about my bookie, you can bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. Come on, somebody. David Garrard here. Playing in the NFL can put a lot of wear and tear on your body, especially your knees. Southeast Orthopedic Specialist has kept me mobile and ready to tackle every day. Southeast Orthopedic Specialist. David Garrard here. I've had the PRP treatment from Southeast Orthopedic Specialist, and my knees are really doing well. Platelet-rich plasma treatment may be the answer for whatever is hurting you. Southeast Orthopedic Specialist. Hi, I'm Sean Monahan from Monahan Jewelers in Atlantic Beach. Since 1977, we've been Jacksonville's family jeweler where our true specialty is engagement rings and custom jewelry design. And now, buy your diamond engagement ring at Monahan's and get any diamond wedding band and men's wedding bands for 50% off. Come in and be treated like family for one of the most important purchases of your life. Buy your diamond engagement ring right now at Monahan's and get any diamond wedding band and gents band for 50% off. Come to Monahan Jewelers in Atlantic Beach or book an appointment at MonahanJewelry.com. 1010XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. All right, welcome back to the program. We're rocking and rolling on a Super Tuesday. You know, Major League Baseball starts in just a couple minutes. Yeah, I'm ready to break out a jersey. When is uh, opening day? I'm ready to break out one of my jerseys, man. It's Thursday, baby. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you got to get pumped up, man. Yeah, I got a jersey I'm ready to wear. A jersey I just got. I love baseball. I'm going to go watch the Gators and the Knolls tonight. Oh, you going? You going to be at the game? Heck yeah. Nice. I'm going to go over there. I want to see Cags before he go pro. Yeah, you. I mean... He's worth the price of admission, dude. Yeah. I like to watch him just hit BP, right. quite honestly. So, yeah, the, the the boys have all broken camp. You know, it's gone. It's it's time to head to the big cities. Get the rain out. Get the rain outs that we're going to get and all that. Does the season not open like Thursday? Yeah. That's awesome, man. It's go time, man. <laughs> That's awesome. It's time to get it going. I saw the tears in Major League Baseball. They got you guys winning 105 games, man. 105. You can't compete with that. How are we supposed they to win? Had, a, who? The Braves 105? Yeah. They had the Braves 105 and the Dodgers 104. Who did? The ESPN put out a, like a tiers. Your top two tiers. I believe the Braves. Listen, again, I, it doesn't take long, Dan, to go from the euphoria of finally winning after being a an underdog. Mm-hmm. Right? Listen, Braves had that long stretch where they were the favorite, especially in the National League every year for the 90s pretty much, right? Mm-hmm. And then they went away for a while, and then they've come back, and they haven't been the favorite, right? They've been winning the division. They've been a team, but it's you, the Dodgers have been the expectation or, or the Cardinals or somebody else in the league. Mm-hmm. And now that they're back into that fa- – and that was true all the way up until when they won the World Series. The Dodgers were the favorite that year, even though they weren't the top seed. Well, now it's been two years since, and the Braves have had the best record, and now they had home field last year. And winning from that favorite spot's a little bit different deal, you know. And so, in it, the 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 awesomeness, the awesome feeling. Well, of you finally up in Philly? Yeah, the awesome feeling of finally winning a World Series. Now it gets starts to get balanced by you don't get so many of these cracks, man. Got to make a run and win another. I'd like to be, you know, I want them to be a dynasty, Dan. I want to see them win three times in six years or. Ugh. Let's who are go. your who are your fourth we have a and really good team? Who are man. your fourth and fifth really, starters? Really, really good team. Who are your fourth and fifth starters? They're still kind of on the. Um, they they have you know they have not. I think the look. I think you're going to go, you know, sales four or whatever. He's a Strider Freed sale is the first three guys Morton, starting. Morton, a million percent. Oh, Chuck Morton. Yeah. Then who? Well, it's Elder or it's Lopez, the guy they got in the offseason. Right now, I believe it's Lopez. I don't think I think they have sent um I don't know they haven't sent Elder down. They sent some of the other cats down. But um I, yeah, I think it'd be I think it's Ronaldo Lopez is, is the guy's first name. I have not watched any spring training baseball down and I watched the first first uh, at bat well, that's not true. I watched a little bit, but I have not um you know me. I are you uh, Maybe you don't know me. The way I do spring training is I look at the box score every day and I see what my dude's averages are. I see who's hitting and who's not. And 
Um, and from the pitching side, I just I know that uh, Strider had an uh, unbelievable. I uh, gave up no earned runs in five starts, mm-hmm. pitched eighteen innings. He uh, gave up eleven hits and and no earned runs. Yeah, Ronaldo Lopez Hick, uh, three starts for the Braves, sixteen innings, uh, just four earned runs. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sale was decent, four starts, just five earned runs. Mm-hmm. Um, and Freed, but look, AJ Smith Shaver as a guy who's going to contend. Um, I'm looking at the roster. I don't see Tyler Matzik's also back. That's a nice little. I don't relief see pitcher. Shaver, and I don't yeah, see Shaver's Elder. been sent down. I, I I wasn't sure if Elder got sent down, so maybe Elder's probably sent down, and they'll go with uh, uh, that means Lopez, Ronaldo Lopez, who was mm-hmm. both a reliever and a starter. I believe they got him from the Tigers, maybe the White Sox. You guys open at Philly and the Sox. We got Milwaukee and the Tigers, so hopefully we can make some hay early. Yeah. Um, <laughs> What's the white at the White Sox? You huh? host the That's Mets odd. in the fourth series of the year for four Monday, Tuesday, kid, Wednesday, um, Thursday. Uh, one of my sons is at that is is at one of those games. Oh no, the host, they're at the New York games. They're, he's got to go to New York in uh, when mm-hmm. is that? Uh, in May, he's going to be at the Friday game, May tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. Yeah, May Day. That's your birthday weekend. That is my birthday. Weekend. Should be up there for. I'm going to watch the Mets on May sixth in Tampa, I believe. All right, so where are we at here? I'm going to go. I've already told Mrs. P, by the way, you know, we we did we did the cruise this year. Probably not going to do the beach house. That's usually kind of our family deal because we did cruise, so that kind of opens us up for a week. And I told her, you know what? You just got to be my baseball companion. I'll just take her. <laughs> you know, she got go, the deal. Yeah, instead of going on a trip, she likes baseball. Let's right, go right. to a city I've not been to in a while, like Pittsburgh, where they got a casino, and just like maybe do yeah. a, like a. I'm going to find a spot on here and do that. Mm-hmm. We've got our Mets trip planned. We're going to two different cities again this year. We'll be going to see the Mets take on the defending world champions, and then we'll be zipping up to Wrigley. That's a, not exactly a zip from Dallas to there Chicago. There are no zips anymore. The zips are the schedules uh, makers don't do that anymore. They don't care. It's yeah. very frustrating. You but know what? I'm gonna go see my fish played in. You should. Well, I might go slide. I might slide down to Miami though. Well, yeah. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go though. Like I could, yeah, here in, in May I could go to Pittsburgh. I, I don't. I want to go. I've not been to that. But here's here's my thing with Pittsburgh, Dan. Mm-hmm. Uh, spending middle school, growing up somewhat in in northern West Virginia, I've been to more games at Three Rivers than I went to at Old Atlanta Fulton County. Like I've been to Three Rivers Stadium to see the Pirates play. 20 times probably, mm-hmm. but I've mm-hmm. never been to the new stadium, which it's time to go. Not, well, it's not new anymore. It's been probably 20 years, hasn't it? It's been a while. It's been around. I hear good things about it. I hear about uh, good things about that whole downtown area. It's a good, it's a good layer. You can like literally stay in a really nice hotel, walk over the Clemente bridge and go to the games. Yeah. Uh, you want to see what's trending? Emmanuel. All right. It is brought to you by Pet Paradise. Uh, it continues to trend as the number one go-to stop. Don't settle for the imitators. That's what they've done. They've tried to capture what Pet Paradise is doing better than everyone else, and that's the deluxe spa treatment for your pets. And by the way, at a, at a at, first of all, you get what you pay for, but a price more affordable than you might think. And and more than anything, it's that comfort and trust that you have with your vet or your groomer or the attendants that are watching. Uh, your dog or cat when you can't. It's Pet Paradise. Go to PetParadise.com and find out more. Number five. Now, there's a stereotype that Jeff and I, we uh, we talk about, about chicken. Mm-hmm. Jeff, you know, like the, the stereotype is black people like chicken. And yeah, it's true. Black people like chicken. And mm-hmm. I can tell you, some black people love chicken, like myself. Okay. I like chicken as much as any black man you put in front of me. Come on, go. bring so, it. Jeff is one of the few people that I know <laughs> that will bust down some fried chicken from Popeyes at six o'clock in the morning. No shout, out, shout out, my brother. Yeah, no, no problem. Yeah, I mean, I, I would. You guys want to put that to a test? You start dropping off yeah, that Popeyes every off morning if you at six. Want. See what happens. We'll put it on social media at six oh eight. Where it's where it's, it's, where it's gone. Where it's gone. It's yeah. gone. Uh. Well, where I get to is a. Uh, well, let me go ahead. And do Number this. five. Chick Fil A. Okay. All right, Chick Fil A. When we go to Chick Fil A, what do we go to Chick Fil A for? Chicken. 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 Yeah, sure. Well, Chick-fil-A, they're experimenting putting pizza on the menu. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. Now, that sounds kind of odd. That's a mistake. Uh, it's a mistake. Well, I'm yeah. assuming it's going to be some sort of chicken pizza concoction. <sighs> That's what I would like to think. But right. uh, I mean, I'm I not going to Chick-fil-A ad. for pepperoni pie. You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, come on, Chick-fil-A. Don't mess it up, man. Let me get my spicy chicken deluxe, no lettuce, pepper jack cheese, and let's, let's, just don't mess with it. Well, let's go. That's fair. Number four. Florida. Gators. No, not Florida Gators. The state of Florida. 
okay. now has a law that has been passed. They will ban anyone under the age of 14 from getting on social media. This is a good thing? Um, I'm sorry. I'm looking at Nicki Minaj. Apparently, her oh, boot, boot oh, fell out oh. of her performance. Oh, oh, s- just, s- send me the link. What was your statement again, E? <laughs> so we can get the undivided. Attention. Florida bans anyone under the age of 14. <laughs> yes. Uh, from getting I, on social I, media. Yes, I don't have any problem with this. I don't have I, a problem. And, 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 and listen, here's why. Uh-huh. If you're 14, can you go into the 7-Eleven and buy pornography? Social media needs to tighten their ship up if they want everyone to use oh, it. Oh, dear. And they, what, what is available to children, not every parent is smart enough to put up the roadblock to certain things. No, well, it's yeah. almost impossible. They don't let you go stuff. in and buy cigarettes. They don't let you go in and buy Hustler magazines. They don't so I don't understand what's the... What so they yeah, don't let Tito's. you? They don't let you go to an R-rated movie. Uh-huh. There's plenty of things that are age appropriate. Man, they didn't say media, 18 year old. Social media might as well be R-rated with the it's, stuff that you. Oh my worse! It's wild. When man. I was a kid, if you were inclined to go see something dirty, it was usually hidden in the woods, underneath a tree log. Now, at the touch of a finger, the most perverse filth, which is not age appropriate. Oh, it's off the chain. They can't handle it, and these social media and these. These despicable people that want to capitalize and make money no matter whose innocence or integrity or any other word is lost. It's wrong. So if it, who is going to control it then? Uh, I mean, I, I don't need 14 years going to social media finding out the best way to shoot up a school. It's the kind of filth y'all put on there, not y'all. So I don't know. The problem is that ni- I'm sure 90% is Candy Crush, mm-hmm. you know? and, and But... Like the parents aren't stopping this this stuff from happening, but they don't even know. this notion that suddenly this is some, you know, dictator move. No, there's plenty of age appropriate restrictions in this country already. This that's all this is to me. And by the way, I would assume, or is my assumption wrong? Does this apply to blanket social media, social or is it certain nah, it, well, aspects or sites or? According to this uh, <clears throat> this this website or this this article that I'm reading, social media in general. So that's. All platforms, whether yeah. it's Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, well, all of it. I have to, you know, put in your age requirement, which you can get around it. Well, yeah, sure. You know, I, I, still look, get around it. Maybe at least it can just send a message to parents that, look, man, this is not leaving your kids in front of, you know, the price is right when they're 12. Yeah. And our parents could leave us in front of mass media, and it wasn't this onslaught of this, the, the, the polarizing ends of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Agreed. You know, we're watching just, you know, Bugs Bunny, dude. Uh, I don't know. That's oh, a note here. Oh, Number dear. three. Oh, man. Shohei Otani. Oh. Him and his buddy. What's his buddy's name? Ip, Ip, Ipe. Ma- Ipe. Ipe. Man, listen. And, and the math just You know what he imagine. says? Ipe, don't you worry. I pay. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, how how can you just not see $4.5 million, million disappear? I don't know. Um, a lot of the math isn't mathing, but basically what's going on, if you haven't heard, um, L.A. Dodgers star Shohei Utani basically has been finessed to four and a half million dollars by his best friend slash interpreter. So now, ain't no telling where Ipe is. They've done paid him. They've cut him a check. He's Ipe somehow, right now is in he's Fahiti, Fiji. man. He's in yeah. Fiji. He's Ipe. sitting on the beach. Ipe, Ipe by the way, is they start ties. to do some digging into him is a big time liar. All kinds of falsities on his resume and such. So. Anyway, interesting stuff. But uh, uh, Shohei's best friend, so you know, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. Like what they're saying is, uh, is my best friend. I can't believe he he would do something. Man, you know your best friend. You know your best friend. So, yeah. Uh, something just ain't right. Yeah, yeah, I I don't. Yeah, I'm not buying that. He has no idea. By the way, they're showing the picture now. Like, I I got Shohei at like a Gonzaga something like basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, by the way, the power of the drill. Our buddy Eric from Chick Fil A. Mm-hmm. Shout out, Eric. The uh, what well, San Jose location, I believe, is still where uh-huh, Eric uh-huh. is from. Uh, the pizza thing is only at one specialty location in Maryland. Pizza is not coming to the menu across yeah. the country. Yes. Thank you, yes. Eric, for your voice of reason. Number two. Oh, Shout out CFA. The NFL and the new rule change. Oh, All right. boy. Uh, we touched on this um, a handful of times. What are they calling it? The hip drop? Right. Huh, man. Um, Jeff, Jeff said it. Earlier as well, J.J. Watt sounded off earlier and said, hey, man, just put on the ropes and the flags. The players. How do you tackle? How do you Seriously, tackle? how do you listen, tackle? Listen, listen to the players. Right. With, with some, listen to the players. Right. It's unfortunate about what happened with uh, Mark Andrews 
and and that. But that's what's going to happen. It's, well, it's, it's not an epidemic. It's not like a, a, a fair. I mean, people pull hamstrings all the time. Are we going to outlaw sprinting? Right. Well, there's a lot more epidemical yeah. epidemic stuff going on it. that you would think you would outlaw okay. something. To, and also, don't get that they're the, you want an the, epidemic, bad officiating. You know, yeah. the players are way way. And by the way, they've gone too far on the quarterback. We need to back off if the quarterback is so much as brushed, you call a penalty. That's stupid. Correct. Um, but this, protecting the lower body, this seems like there's a lot of other. This just is just over the Seriously, course of the game. Seriously, how do you tackle? Game. I don't know I how don't you know. tackle. I don't know. If we, you got a 260-pound tight end catching a football across the middle of the field. You're a 190-pound defensive back. You grab him at the midsection, yeah. and you hold on. As right. you hold on and he's running, you start to fall down. Correct. That's All of a, a sudden, tackle. that's the hip drop thing. Right. That's, yeah. You described it perfectly. That's what it is there. So I don't I don't know how you're you, – were you supposed to let go? I didn't want to get a penalty, so I let go and let him run for a touchdown. I don't I don't know. And and Frost was right earlier. There'll be a penalty that's going to cost them again, and we're all going to go, oh, my God. It's like that – what was the interference rule they had a couple years ago <clears throat> where they realized, oh, this is dumb. Anyway, continue. I'm sorry. Number one. Number one. Uh, if you – like a lot of us woke up to this. Oh, yeah. Well, prayers out to everybody who's involved in, uh, in Baltimore right now as the Francis Scott Key Bridge was hit by a boat this morning. Shout out to all the first responders, the firefighters, uh, Coast Guard, I'm sure, is involved with uh, with with resolving what's going on out there, man. Just, uh, you know, prayers up and hope everything is, uh, you know, everything works out as best as it can. Thank- be. Thankfully, the time of day that it was one o'clock in the morning. So, and I, I've looked at, can, have you seen any, I haven't seen any deaths. I've seen they had to get people yeah, out. Yeah, of- it's amazing if they had no yeah. deaths. Oh, yeah, great. I don't know what you do when you start scrambling when that happens. Do you get out of your vehicle? Do you sit in it? I don't, you know, I if don't. If it's behind you, you floor it. I if think it's, it's seven. What did they say? Seven vehicles went into the water, or is it more than that? I don't know. I heard, I heard seven. Yeah, I've but, seen seven. I don't uh, have the latest update, but I do believe somehow, um, we're going to emerge from this with no casualties, but man, can you, uh, it's a good point. We live in a city that's full of bridges. Mm -hmm. Very, I guess we're, I'm lucky. I can come to and fro every day to work and not have to go over a bridge. Not many people can say that. Hicken, you can't do it. Mm -mm. I got to, I guess you could if if you went down to beach. Mm -hmm. No, not your boy. I got to go. Yeah, you got to go. You got to get over that river one way or the other. There's no way around Mm -hmm. it. So imagine if one of those bridges got knocked down uh, what was interesting when it comes to trending is is Hicken uncovering that we have the fourth longest. Is it called a trestle bridge? Is that what they said? I don't know. Remember that one was yeah. third longest? Yeah, Heart Bridge is fourth. So the point being, imagine if the heart was collapsed into, into the, the river, river today. Yeah. So. Got an right. honorable mention for y'all, too, as well, as far as trending. What's that? 14 years ago today, Fireman Apprentice Thaloran graduated from boot camp in Cape May, New Jersey. Yeah. yeah clap it up. That's my guy. Clap it up. Didn't know how to swim. It takes a lot. Nerves of steel to go into the Coast Guard when you don't know how to swim. <laughs> he <laughs> did it. It sure do. <laughs> he did it. That's, that's what's that, trending. Uh, all right. We, it's like you know, go to the Royal Mounted Police up there in, in Canada with a fear of horses. I mean, that's what we're talking about Ooh, here. Boy. All right. Uh, let's come back and uh, introduce you to Jaguars today. You are listening to the Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday edition of The Drill. The Drill on 1010XL. From the studios of Republic Services, we'll handle it from here. Basketball betters, it's March Mania. Hicken here to tell you about BetUS.com. I endorse one sportsbook and casino. That's BetUS. Man, they've been driving to the basket 30 years. This year, BetUS is going to give us an epic three-pointer. 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Yep, 125% sign-up bonus, first three deposits. Plus... 10% 10% gambler's insurance. Get started. Visit BetUS.com or give them a call. 1-800-MY-BETUS. 1-800-MY-BETUS. BetUS. It's where the games begin. What's 1010XL starting lineup? The starting lineup. Kicking and Prosser in the morning. Dempsey and Fat Tony with a jack. Josie, Matt, Nia, and Leon midday. Franchi, Brooks, and Carline afternoon. And Baloo and Hacker in the evening. Live and local all day. 1010XL. Here's Linda Beaver. Did you hear what's happening? Beaver Toyota and Beaver Chevrolet are screen cleaning. New inventory on the ground means we need to make more room. Take advantage of huge savings on thousands of vehicles priced to sell. New and pre-owned prices have been reduced and all sales associates have been instructed to give maximum value on all trades. But you better hurry, the best deals go first. 
Head to Beaver Toyota in St. Augustine. Or Beaver Chevrolet in Jacksonville to take advantage of our spring cleaning sale. We're here to wow you. Exciting news from All Pro Roofing. Effective right now, you can get an instant roof quote. Just click the Instant Roof Quote tab on their website. Whether you're in need of roofing, exterior siding, or windows, All Pro Roofing is your local partner for quality craftsmanship. Click the Instant Roof tab and voila, get an instant quote. It's that simple. Click on the Instant Roof Quote tab today at allproofingllc.com. License number CCC 1327056. CBC 060138. Hey, Hicken here. You know I'm a hometown guy. There's nothing like home in Jacksonville, Florida. What a great place to live. Spring is here and everything is green and blooming. But that means I'll have to cut the lawn soon. It also means that we'll need to do some deep cleaning inside the house. That's where Zero Res comes in. Zero Res can clean your telegraph, the carpets, your area rug, furniture, and more. Right now, they're offering 25% off telegraph cleaning. Zero Res, man, spelling forwards or backwards. The right way to clean. Zero Res. Race into Gate for big offers. By big, we mean great deals on Red Bull and a chance to win tickets to the big race coming to Miami May 3rd through 5th. Buy two 8.4-ounce cans of Red Bull, get one free. And if you're a MyGate Rewards member, you are automatically entered for a chance to win race tickets. Not a member? Download the Gate app and sign up today. See store for details. Go from good to gate. We don't have too many cold nights on the first coast, but when the temperature drops, you want to hit the heat button and warm up. That's where Florida Home comes in. They're the AC experts in Jacksonville, and the importance of keeping your heating system in good working order is really important. If it stops working when it gets cooler, Florida Home will leap into action and provide you with the best solution. Heater and heat pump repair service and new system installation. They do it all. Just call Florida Home AC at 777-4300, the official heating and AC partner of the Jaguar. Well, I'd like to think that you know this already, and I sure hope you've experienced it if you're a pet owner. Because if you're a pet owner, there is only one place that gets you the peace of mind that you want, and it's the perfect name. It's Pet Paradise. It's the ultimate home away from home for your four-leg family member. Whether your pet prefers a splash in the pool or just making new friends, Pet Paradise's team of pet lovers now, pet-loving pros, going to ensure the most important pet in your world has a great visit, whether it's day camp or an overnight stay. Oh, by the way, inside these ultra-modern facilities, dotting the First Coast, I believe eight or nine locations now, it's always any and everything you need under one roof. They have professional grooming services, veterinary services with New Day Veterinary Care. At Pet Paradise, it's top-shelf customer service and treatment for that member of your family, that four-legged member of your family. So go to Pet Paradise right now. Book an appointment and find out what they're all about at PetParadise.com. Electricians, innovators, and tech enthusiasts, listen up. Miller Electric is shaping the future, and we want you to be a part of it. From healthcare and data centers, corporate offices, aviation, and industrial facilities, Miller Electric is powering the most exciting projects in Jacksonville and beyond. We offer not just a job, but a thrilling career with great pay and incredible benefits. Visit us at MillerCareers.com to apply Miller Electric, where your skills meet our vision and equal opportunity employer. Ready to join the team? The Jaguars and our stadium partners are hosting a job fair Wednesday, April 3rd to find enthusiastic new faces to serve as ushers, ticket takers, concessionaires, security, and more for the upcoming season. Stop by the Fields Auto Group Terrace Suite at Everbank Stadium from 3 to 8 p.m. on April 3rd to apply. Professional dress, a pen, and a smile are all you need, so stop by the job fair to be a part of Jaguars game day. Equal opportunity employer. If you've played sports or still lead an active life, chances are joint pain is nothing new. This is Dr. George Barry of Barry Orthopedics, and we like to be your option when it comes to taking care of your body and getting back in the game. From shoulders to elbows to hip and knee pain, Barry Orthopedics can diagnose and treat a variety of injuries that are causing you pain. We are Barry Orthopedics and online at barryorthopedics.com. With more than 30 years of experience, our team is here to care for your entire family. Find out more at barryorthopedics.com. That's B-A-H-R-I orthopedics.com. 10XL is presented by Farrah and Farrah, exclusive injury law firm of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Protecting you and your family. Call 396-5555. Jacksonville. All right, welcome back to the uh, program. 
We hand it off to the boys from Jaguars today. Mike and Tony getting ready for two hours of Jag talk. A lot to do, a lot to go over, a lot to discuss. Tony, good morning. Good morning. What do we got on a Super Tuesday? We'll be checking in with Chad Ryder, who had mm-hmm. a four-round mock draft that oh. came out over the weekend. So oh. we'll be checking in with him and his thoughts on what the Jags are doing. And we we do have questions <laughs> reacting to what he did uh-huh. uh, with the Jags in that mock draft. And we'll continue to hear a little bit from Doug Peterson from a couple mornings ago from yesterday. Yep. Right. And our question of the day today, it's Tuesday. So we're doing our top five Yep. here on a Tuesday. And our question is, as the roster stands, right now Mm -hmm. who are the five most important players on the 2024 Jaguars who are not guaranteed a starting spot okay I like that I like that and it'll be interesting to see who the fans come up with there'll be a lot of names there for sure so a lot of different names uh have a great show Mike and Tony Jaguars today 10 o'clock each and every day right here on the Superstation Jeffrey that's gonna do it to it for a Catlin Chuck Accessories Tuesday we'll see you tomorrow morning The Drill, from the studios at Republic Services, we'll handle it from here.